So there you go. I did. That. I'm talking to myself and wondering why no one's saying anything. <laughs> Got to hit the go live button. Dolt. Everything else is automated. But I always have to remember to turn the YouTube stream on. Dolt. Complete freaking idiot. <laughs> All right, give us a thumbs up if the AV is all good. Absolute ridiculous. I don't do that too often, but when I do, I'm looking at it again, why, why isn't the text-to-speech bot announcing everybody, and why isn't anybody commenting? I'm like, well, what's going on? And then I realized when I looked over on this screen, it was it says offline. I'm like, oh, you freaking idiot. <laughs> Duh. Pebcat. I don't know what knows what that means. Problem exists between keyboard Simon and chair. So, I'll start G'day. again. So, welcome everybody. If you're in Australia, G'day. happy Friday evening. Stream elements. Happy Friday morning for everyone else. There you go, there's stream elements. G'day, Donald, Simon. G'day. Steam face. Julie. Hey. Ed. All good? Steam face, how you going, mate? Yeah, now it's working. Now, now it's alive. Please. Please. Unbelievable, eh? Hello. Yeah, there it is. It's working now. Yeah, it's working now. That just took like. Oh, yeah, but my end also wasn't working for a second either. Really? Yeah, mm. I just spent the last like freaking ten minutes trying to get this to work, and I had to like restart my laptop and everything. Yeah, I saw you popped in okay. and then you disappeared. Okay, so you could I couldn't see anything. Oh, okay. Random That's FPV. really odd. Okay, random. Random FPV. Just said hit Stupid the thumbs computer. up or I'll stop. Well, that's right. I, I I started the stream without Today. um well, 60 hertz. G'day, 60 hertz. I started talking to everyone without the stream running. I forgot to hit the start button, didn't I? <laughs> I was wondering. Oh my god. <laughs> my countdown, my timer, the intro, all that stuff, you know, it was all there and I, I forgot to hit the button. Uh, I blame my son because he was just about to go to bed and he was he was mucking around and he ran out of time so I had to give, say goodnight to him just as the stream was starting. So that yeah. must why it's threw him off, so I'll blame him. Yeah, your fault, Joel. <laughs> we can always so, blame the little saying, ones. Yeah, always blame the little one. You can blame little me ones. Like yeah, exactly. His fault. Mm -hmm. Not my old adult brain. <laughs> Blame the stars. So, um, the question I was saying that when I was talking to myself was, I've got two glasses, so do I do this review on a clean palette or clean palette? They are going, they are going to want the cleanest review the clean we can give them. That's what I thought. Because yeah. this is sixty-two point five percent. Yeah, so it's car yeah. strength, I'm guessing. Wow, I'm so curious about what they sent you. Yeah, yeah I have no, that's what I was saying, and talking to myself. I was like, anyway, so today and this afternoon, for everybody who doesn't know, the Whiskey Club here in Australia, which is a monthly subscription service where you subscribe, it's free to subscribe. Um, so if you're in an Australian and not part of it, I highly recommend you do it. Julie and myself are both part of it, and one of my clients has actually just signed up for it. So he is quite excited. He's like, have you, have you, have you get this one? <laughs> I have a friend, he's I, have a friend said, no, no. I got into it as well and he absolutely loves it. Yeah, it's great. So it's a subscription service and they release a bottle each month and then have add-on bottles, but um, it's an opt-out service. So if you don't opt out, um, you will get that bottle sent to you and it's between 130, 150 average price. So it's not too, not too crazy, but you can opt out of that bottle. So it doesn't cost you a cent if, it, if you don't want to. Um, it's and every, you, first you Friday, have, every first Friday of the month, you'll get an email and you have until yeah. midnight on Sunday to opt out. Otherwise, you will get direct debited. Uh, they cannot reverse yeah. it, guys. So if you get direct debited and you forget to opt out, you're just getting bonus whiskey in the mail. Yeah. So it's written in, in the terms and conditions. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it, goes through, it goes through. You're the one that has to opt out. Yeah. You yeah. have to make sure you are like checking your email every first Friday of the month. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. And it's really good. And they have really good add-on whiskeys. And, and then they have um, really good 
live streams, but they, you know, like the one we did with Glenn Fittick and with a tour through the distillery, that was freaking awesome. Um, hard to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. Well, we say glass here in Australia. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we say glass. <laughs> it's like, Ren, why aren't you saying glass since you're a pet? Our, pet eagles word steal, is a glass. our eagles steal small children, so. Oh, and I actually saw an email about the Morris stuff. Did you? The Morris is exceptional. Okay, yeah, I saw an email about the Morris stuff. Maybe a warm-up dram just to calibrate your pellet. Well, that's what I was thinking because this is 62.5%. So I was thinking something that's bland and boring that isn't going to be ruin my pellet. Mm. Warm-up. That's why you didn't say gla. Oh, fair enough. I suppose because your attack bird is a gla. You don't want to... <laughs> Be bad to you, to your bird. So yeah. So I've got a bunch of notes that I have to do. So yeah, originally I was actually going to film this um, request, notes request list. Yeah, so it's typical stuff that I do want to review a whiskey anyway. So it's perfectly yeah. fine. But then, then I want a couple of pictures, and I'm like, pictures with without my. So it doesn't have to include an image of you. I'm like, really? So it was just a glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want the same sort. They okay. want the same sort of stuff that JD posts. You know, the pretty stuff. The pretty stuff, but it's not like a sexy bottle out on the beach kind of deal. I can't, I can't do that. Well, I could have done a nice rainy sunset <laughs> over the water image. <laughs> so this is pouring down rain. Oh dear. Exactly. Two point five is pretty hefty to start out with. So I think that first sip is. Yeah, I might, I might go raw. I, I might start it fresh. I just, said that. Just to see what that first impact of the palette is. Um, yeah, so originally I was actually, because I when I put it, because they originally put this up on, on the Facebook and they were like, who in our members would like to review the next month's whiskey? I'm like, yeah, I can do that. But as long as you send me enough for three people, because all three of us will do a review, because that, that was my idea. All three of us will sit down here and we'll do a full episode on it and review it. So I didn't know it was coming and it arrived today. I thought it was actually another yeah. package of... Well, that's it. I thought it was going to take them... Place. Because they wanted quite a few of them, I thought it would take them at least a month or so to do it instead of, like, a week. Yeah. Right. Because they sent this on the 4th and it arrived on my letterbox, my mailbox today. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's roughly four or five business, uh, four or five days. So they send it at the start of the week, right? Yeah, like ish. And it says, please email review to the Whiskey Club by 9th of July. And today is 9th we'll of July. <laughs> so I've already sent them an email saying, "Well, I only just got it. <laughs> it's a bit hard to do a review, and I've only just got it when you want it now. So I will send you my notes tonight or tomorrow morning." <laughs> Yes. He bit my wife. She said, do you think it would bite me if you, if you walked past? And she finished her sentence. You flew off and attacked her. It was, oh, yikes. Well, well, you well, well, you well, carrying them. <laughs> Your bird is a major awesome attack bird. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. <laughs> All right, so I've changed the actual, um, yeah, what are you going to pour? What are you going to have? Oh, a Glen 15. God damn it, anyone's been having the Solara lately. It's driving me up the same. I need to get me some Solara. I will put aside some Solara for you. It's okay. I've had it. I've had it before. I know what it's like. I need to get a bottle. I keep saying. Oh, like, is like, that the problem? Yeah. Yeah, but I just haven't got around to actually get one. I keep saying I need to get one. I need to get one. I need to, and always grab something else. You know, it was like, oh, I'll grab that next time. I'll grab that next time. And the next time never comes. And then everyone keeps drinking, and I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> That's what's so awesome about your whiskey bird, man. <laughs> he attacks everyone else, hates them, but thinks you're the best thing in the world. Uh, I crazy. still don't know why. No. I think it's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it says on here, so here's the label. Thirty mil, sixty-two point five. I guess you can do it. Come on, do it, do it. Stop. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 
30 mils, 62.5, 1.5 standard drinks. And that's all it is. That's all that I know. So it could be Japanese, it could be Irish, it could be American, it could be Australian, it could be Scotch, it could be English. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yes. I like it when you guys agree with me. It makes me happy. <laughs> I agree with Todd, but what's that? About everything. About everything, okay. All right, we, we agree with you. <laughs> Someone has to. Someone has to. Someone has to. All right, so I don't need to lose notes. I'm I'm recording myself. <laughs> but I am going to turn my camera on to record it so I can take Reese some screenshots out of it. Good day, Chris. Good day, Chris. Thanks for letting me know, Kitten Whiskers. And I did actually see today that the Single Malt Whiskey Club, that that's agree. another whiskey club in Australia. Beardly Giant. G'day, Beardly Giant. They've actually got um, a Loch Lomond single grain coming out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's like, oh, be interesting to try that. So it's that all more nice. barley, but it's done in their cone still. I'm like, mmm. Mm. That'd be really, really yeah. nice, actually. I saw that today. I, mean, I, I have two. Um, I've got two in my vault, but one of them is just like the base original, and I can't remember the other one, but I know it's fancy. So, but. What, a Loch Lomond or Inch Murin or Inch Moan? Lomond. Just the straight Loch Lomond? Yeah. Yeah. What am I reading? Yay. And there's lots of um oh yeah, so anyway, I'm, I'm getting distracted myself. So Nightbot is out of here when it comes to doing any promotion, any moderation, any timers, any stuff. She's out. He's gone. But she does have a few commands like uh weather and stuff like that. So we were playing around with all this last night. It was good fun. If you go. Weather, Perth. We'll tell you what the weather is in Perth. Disgusting. Nightbot. Twelve degrees and thirteen kilometer wind. Conditions are mostly cloudy. It has been raining for three days. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing is, I don't know whether that's Perth, Scotland, or Perth, Australia. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Because it just says Perth, and I was like, mm, uh, I, I don't know, and because, yeah. Weather to Toronto. Weather is. Yeah. This is only one Toronto that I know of. She doesn't like you, Donald. Oh, no, we go. It, it takes a little minute. Does it come up? Yeah, I can't see it on my end. Yeah, it's, come up, on, it's come up on this. Oh, there it is. 18 degrees and 11 kilometer winds. And you can tell it's American bias because it's using that stupid imperial system that no one else uses in the whole planet. But anyway, freedom <laughs> units. <laughs> freedom units. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and there's um, there's dad jokes. It's accurate. Okay. There's dad jokes. No. Oh no! No 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 no! no. Andy, <laughs> as you know, walked barefoot most of the time which produced an impressive set of calluses on his feet. He also ate very little, which made him rather frail, and with his odd DI. Oh my god, what? Yeah. I don't get that, that's lame. <sighs> that's the most <laughs> stupidest... Most dad jokes are. No, the other ones are actually pretty good. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, no. <laughs> They were good. What 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 does the dentist get when they get an award? Just said some people eat light bulbs. They say it's a nice light snack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one last night. What does the dentist get when they get an award? A oh small plaque. Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, <right? laughs> 
Good old dad jacks. Mm. Six, up. Six bottles of Bourbon Mafia Old Pass Old Forester Single Barrel. Ooh, now to ship them. Yeah, that's the catch in it. Bloody shipping. Yes. And then, um, so, Stream Elements is actually going to be doing the the announcements. And I set it all up yesterday, and but it was starting to spam like bloody stupid Nightbot used to. But now I've reconfigured it. So it's all in one with multiple messages. So And it's set to every 20 minutes with a minimum of 10 lines. So it should not ever okay. do a spam because it's impossible. There's no, there's only one timer with a whole bunch. That, so it can't loop over anything else oh well, that's pretty good then yeah so i've been mucking around and then you see it down the bottom there if anyone donates or subscribes it drops a little coin in there and then you've got all the stuff up the top you got the chat and yeah i've got some pretty cool stuff that's how it works on only fans but okay <laughs> really no this is on twitter this was way before any of that yeah. <laughs> i have no idea what it makes what goes it on makes on ching noises and everything <laughs> oh god <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no ching noises. It Daddy just comes said, up with a quacker and says, thank you. Do you have a um, cha-ching on your soundboard? No. Does it take to change no. a light bulb? No. One, they are efficient and do not have a sense of humor. How many dermis does it take? <laughs> They're efficient and do not have a sense of humor. Pulling the piss out of the poor man. Jomans? Don't mention z Oh, dear goodness. <laughs> Again, it should just be just the tip. <laughs> no. 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 What? No. <laughs> no. If I had a spray bottle, uh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> what was that? If I, if I had a spray, spray bottle, it'd be like, no, bad kid. <laughs> yeah, bad kid, get in the corner. <laughs> get in your box. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's what he slash C is. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were talking about just a tip and then like get in your box. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, shocking. All right. That's enough of that. Let's get serious. All right. So I'll turn the camera on. Just for a go. Okay. While he's doing that, do like three of them. Ah. Oh, you know what? Well, fine. Fuck you. Do it yourself. <laughs> nah, it's too early yet. <laughs> Man, there's 13 people here. I mentioned the wall. Yeah, but there's 13 people. I mentioned mine at once, but I think I got away with it. No. No, you do yes, it. Please. Never mind. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna just wait. Yeah. You can have the night off. It's Friday. I'm in shit. I'll only do it later for Quested. No, you can do it. What is that, viewers? What does that do? Chris Tats donated $5. Exploding Quokka for Julie. Bourbon Neophyte. Exploding Quokka for Julie. Fuck you, Ken. <laughs> that wasn't me! No, I mean, like, an exploding Quokka! I mean, that's for me. Like, screw you. I got the first one. That was Chris. That wasn't me. No, no. I said, oh my god, why do I have to explain this to you? Oh. What he meant was the first one. It wasn't exploding, Quokka. That, yeah, that the was first the, ones were yesterday. That was the first thing for the stream for tonight. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I was like, exploding Quokka oh, yeah. for Julie. It was exploding Quokka for you. That's why I was like, yeah, fuck you, I got the first one for tonight. It has to be the funniest <laughs> exploding Quokka It is. I, I totally it's agree. It's my Monday. How is that Monday? Hey, Anthony. I'm so confused. Oh, it's it's Randoms Monday because he's yeah. probably he starts his work week today. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. I get that. Yeah. Hmm. But either way, good evening, everybody. There's a few names that I'm good not evening. familiar with tonight. So there is oh, a bunch of commands. For like if Simon changes his shirt, there's a ticker for Simon to change his shirt. Okay. There's one for bottle kills. There's one for man down for um oh a new pop cocks. There's 
G'day, Cooler Running. Hey. There's um, there's an eight ball, so you can ask the eight ball questions. Ooh. That's I a can do polls. Hmm. What's that? The eight ball. Eight ball is funny. The eight ball, that's added, added some um, some pretty um, Aussie ones in there, like, yeah, nah, as well. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Oh, they're in Coburn. Oh my god, okay. It's up for review. Just go. Why is it doing that? Eight ball. They don't have her the name. 17 degrees and 10 kilometer lens. 83% humidity. Low. Okay, I just ate. Asked eight ball, should I start this review? Let's see what eight ball's in. Oh, and I've added a little ticker down on the on the jar as well, so it goes up by the numbers. Mm. And in the latest subscriber, eight ball says perhaps. Well, that's not very good. And in the subscriber count, oh, it's actually gone up to 490, so I've got 490 subscribers. Yes. Yay! Almost about to hit the 500. Five years celebration coming up. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'll, um, I'm going to quickly share this in a couple of my discords. I'm going to, I'm going to. Oh, uh, we're doing the, the single malt whiskey club. I mean, the, whi whoops, the whiskey, whiskey club. Club. The whiskey club. I should get my official whiskey club glass. So, as I was saying, for everyone in Australia who's not part of the Whiskey Club, if you want to subscribe, it's free, and you don't have to buy the bottles, you can opt out. But there is a referral link in the description, and that will get you a free dram for me and for yourself. So, if you want to subscribe, you can get yourself a free dram. It says, hi, Julie. She's crashing as she needs to be up early for a quick turnaround for work. Here's this. Sorry, I was on live chat. Sorry, what I miss? Uh, she, oh, oh, Lil. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well. Um. Hello, sweetheart. I hope you have an excellent evening and you sleep fantastically. Yes. Did I? Should I touch up? Oh my god. And, and stream the, the the eight ball actually had the correct answer for that. Leaning towards no. <laughs> Oh dear God! Smart, very smart. Oh my God! <laughs> oh. Good day, Bourbon Baller. Good day, Bourbon Baller. Evening. So my initial thoughts on this before even opening it is sixty-two point five percent car strength. Yes, please. So you're already uh, impressed just by the fact that it's cask strength alone and it's a decent, like, okay. What are you thinking yep. color and take a guess at maturation? Well, I already said to the missus earlier, I'm going, well, I'm thinking because she goes, oh, she said, oh, it's probably non-chill filled. I mean, Filtered or non chill -filtered. filtered? No, it's probably non chill filtered because it is car strength. There's no reason to chill filter it. Really not, no. AGV. And then I was thinking, well, personally, I don't think it's finished in PX or Oloroso or Port or anything else. Might be in a white wine or, yeah, I'm thinking just ex bourbon cast just by looking in, in there because it's very light colored. But I'll have a more of a look at that when I pour it into the glass. <laughs> I'm glad you're smart enough to choose life random FEV. <laughs> Shoot Canadian, stop apologizing so, so much. Eight Ball says, whiskey bottle looks hazy. Try again later. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, the answer is no. Lil says, thank you, Julie. I still hate that I only like, met you after I moved. It still makes me so salty. Yeah, I know, right? Cliff, long time no see, mate. Hello, Hello kid. How are you going? How you doing, mate? Yeah, good. Been a while. What do you know? Oh, it's 
been a fair while. I've been working actually, and because you guys with the the time zone is quite different. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not as bad yeah. as the states, but yes, being over no, the east. But no. Random's over the east as well, and Chris and Lil that are over in the east, and yeah. probably drinks was over in the east, and now she's joined us over on the west side. Okay. Hi, well, Reese is here over in west. Um, Giant is over east. Oh, cool, fellow Aussies. Mm -hmm. Nice. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> so here to have a look at this review. Like, yeah. They're well, making, yeah, they're making humans. Excellent. Mm. It's a nice to see you, Cliff. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, guy, Edward. South side for random. South side. If you guys are new here, please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We would love to try and get Ken to 500 subscribers tonight, if possible. So I have shared the link. So please, please, please like, subscribe, share the shit out of this YouTube video because that would be so awesome if we could do this tonight on this live tasting of a Australian Whiskey Club whiskey. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going that one. <laughs> you laughing at me? I the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Why did Reese get timed out for 300 seconds? What did he do? You deleted message. Hey, what happened? Oh, West is. West is best. Oh, 10,000 dots. Yeah, okay. Reese, you're such an idiot. Simon. How's hey, that, Simon? Uh, Good day, everyone. <laughs> hey, door, mate. How is that, Solara? Yeah, and not Robbie. too bad, actually. Are not you thinking you too? No, no. Simon's going to tell you, it's a salad, but he's going to tell you what he bought and he's going to show you. Is it going to make me mad again? No, it's kind of interesting. No. It's not It's not what you would expect, put it that way. Should I grab it now? Yeah. yeah. You, need, you need to show everyone what it is. You definitely need to show it. So why does stupid stream allies? So sorry about that, Reese. Stupid dream. No, that's okay. Reese is fine. He can suck it up. It won't kill him. <laughs> I'm literally talking to him. He'll live. Oh, okay. He'll be fine. It's a life weapon to come on. He'll survive. All right. Okay. There we go. How are you looking, Julie? Julie. Ew. No, thank you. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but. I'm good. You can keep it. $200 Bundaberg Solara finished in port and sherry. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. You just wasted 200 something dollars. It's actually not too bad. I don't have any standards higher than my kneecaps for Bundaberg. I'm sorry. <laughs> I well that's the consensus of like talking about Fosters, but anyway. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> no, um, exactly. My very first uh, major, major hangover was because I was at a housewarming party in my early 20s. And in the span of like one or two hours, I downed a liter of uh, just dirty, dirty Bundy Red all by myself. And I oh. <laughs> ended up with alcohol poisoning and my mother refused to take me to the hospital and was like, no, this is a lesson. You'll never drink alcohol again, rah, rah. Well, mother, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all got messed up on yeah. Bundy. Yeah. But I never, um, ever, ever drank Bundy again. I I love, no, I love scotch. I hate rum, and that set me aside for rum. I just, I love scotch now. No, but that's the thing. I mean, I don't usually drink rum, but this one is actually pretty good. I mean, it's finished in port and sherry casks. And... Random FPV. Just said, oh, Fosters. <laughs> no, it's Fosters. Like love in a canoe. <laughs> Fucking close to water. It really is. Donald Rance. Just said, oh, Stream Elements is a major bugger. 
so uptight that you couldn't drive a pin up its ass with a jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, good day, cool runnings. Thank you for joining us. What are you drinking, Cliff? Um, it's called Glen Marnock. Glen Marnock. Single malt whiskey. Yep. Not sure if I heard of that one. It's a sherry cask finish. This is what it looks like. Hang on a second. No, oh, okay. I don't think I've got it. That's better. Hang on a second. So, Glenn Monash. That's what I'm, yeah, so that's what I'm having a sip of tonight. Sherry cask finish, product of Scotland, first cask. Okay, that's about, about all I know about it. I don't know a lot about it myself, to be quite honest, yeah. but I bought it ages ago. My guy, my guy. Oh, you got one too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Two of them. There you go. Yeah. Huh, never heard yeah. of that brand here. Yeah. Oh, I've heard of it. I've never heard of it. So, I, have two of them in case I, I have two of them in case I liked it and I couldn't get it again because they seem to have been moving quite quickly. Yeah. Um, my first taste of it, well, now it's opened up a lot. It's actually quite nice. I don't mind it. Yeah. Now it's half. Now it's half empty. It's oh, that's good nice. because I found it. Um, I found it a bit raw. It was a bit savage. I'm gonna yeah, say that's a bit young. That's pretty life. young, um, youngish hmm. stuff, isn't it? From what I yeah. remember. Mm. But it has. I've had it. Oh, I've had it for nearly a <laughs> year now. So it's settled in now. It's sort of half empty. Okay, well that's good better. to know because I picked. So, I only picked mine up maybe maybe three three weeks ago, I think, and I've only had like one yeah. drink out of it. Yeah, mine wasn't very good either. I have to admit, but now it's. I don't know when it opens okay. up. More air to it seems. So I kind of. Have, I have to suck it up and a little got, bit to get some out of it. <laughs> Yeah, just leave it. I mean, yeah, just try it. Just go okay. through it slowly and just see what happens in six months' time because mine's, you know, mine's fairly old now. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's quite often slide that with certain whiskies. They taste a lot better when they're half empty, the bottle. Just do a uh, bottle chug, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a bottle chug. It'll be whatever is left in your winter storm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, but, not too sure. But neck pores are never that great sometimes, you know, the first couple, you know, neck pores. Yeah, I don't find that that's great. Yeah. And I'm still back here. I'm still salty about that. <laughs> Winter storm. I'm so what sorry, what are we taste testing tonight, Ken? What, what's what's on the So agenda? this is the Whiskey Club and uh, August bottling. So other than a 62.5%, I have absolutely no idea what it is. It's got a super copper colour. But what are you thinking? Um, scotch, bourbon? I have no idea. I haven't smelt it yet or tasted yeah. it, so I have no idea. It could be anything. Um, it's just, typically it's it's going to be whiskey of some sort, but that's all I know. <laughs> Hopefully, whiskey, Hopefully. and it's sixty-two point five. That's all I know. Should be able to smell if it's bourbon. That'd be a giveaway. If it's bourbon, it should be. Well, yes and no. Yes oh, I don't and no. know. Yeah. Serving has a distinct, yeah, has a distinctive. Yes. Yeah, but if it's a single yeah. malt, or if it's a blend. Good day, Sugar mm. Kitty. No, it'll have that sweet smell, caramel smell. That's for sure. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah, no, not always. Maybe if it's not American bourbon. Dan Murphy's. What hell? No. I mean, I've got bourbons there that you wouldn't know that they were bloody. Yeah, well, bourbons have to be American. Know that they were bourbon. Fair enough. Oh, fair enough. I've yeah. always struck them to have a similar smell. Yeah. Well, it depends which one actually. Even the Russell smell, you could smell what was bourbon. Oh that's, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's well, Russell, one of my. Yeah. That's one of my favourites. Straight up, it's not good. If I can just get it. <laughs> Seems it's everyone else's favourite too, where I live. 
I'm sure I had more left, but my son was home for a few weeks and he's very particular about his taste buds lately. <laughs> so <laughs> I used to put out my um, cheap stash in his, in his eye in his, so he could see him easily, but he, he's avoided those and he's gone for something else. <laughs> he's not dumb. Yeah, I'm thinking that's definitely copper. I can't think of any other colour than that. That's just copper. A little bit of gold, but very copper. What are you getting on the nose? Oh, I'm going to let it open up a little bit. Um, It's very familiar. Very familiar. As soon as I nose, I went, hmm, this smells familiar. Okay. What, you know? As in something I've had. Something like I've had scotch? before. And I'm... Yeah. I'm thinking towards scotch. The more you smell it, the more you'll start to be like, okay, this note is familiar and this note is familiar. Scotch, what do I know? What what have I had that has these like all of these familiar notes and characteristics? Yeah, the, the first as soon as I the first little nose, it was like this is really mm. in my wheelhouse, as in something I've had in the past yeah. that felt mm. very familiar. And at this stage, I'm tending towards scotch ish. And I are discussing the new Starwood. Oh, okay. Thanks, Chris. I wasn't too sure. Which Starwood? Oh, oh the sing one. single uh, barrel. Which one? Well, if you're not sure, oh, send us the rest. Talking... Huh? If, if you're not sure, Ken, send us the rest. Of what? Of the bottle. Oh, this? Yeah. What bottle? We'll help you. We'll... <laughs> Whatever what, you're no. taste testing. Oh, I'm, I'm confused no. now. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you I'm had a big bottle. What? I thought no. you had a big bottle. So, you'd... so sample. No, no I, thought that was your little, I thought that was your little, oh, I thought that was your little water bottle. Sorry. <laughs> it's not... No, the water. The water is there. No, this is a sample. Oh, okay. This doesn't come out yet. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a bigger bottle than that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it, Simon? I was looking forward to it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, the more I'm noticing, the more I'm turning towards like yellow spot kind of realm. Oh. See, I'm also trying to. Like, it, did they say that this is going to be next month's whiskey? This is August. August bottle. Okay, I don't think they'll put up a yellow spot. No, I don't think that. But it it, on the nose, I'm saying it's yellow spot ish. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't say it was yellow spot. I'm just saying it smells like yellow spot. Donald gets to go shopping <laughs> uh, later today. Reviews August are coming with you. That's good. Donald, what oh, are you... This is the... Sorry, go ahead, Ken. Look for it up in the chat. I sent you the initial message about it. Uh, yeah. What am I looking at? What are we talking about? Oh, they were talking about the Starwood, and then Donald. I was just asking Donald what he plans to um, purchase while he goes whiskey shopping later today. Ah, oh, pick up Lord the new Starwood Fortress American Red Wine. Oh, oh, fair the whiskey club. Their last bottle add-on was the Starwood, a red wine one. I don't think it was called the Fortress. I think it was just a red break. Canadian. It's really dark, whatever you're drinking. It's got a real dark colour. No, it's not. It's copperish. No. It's raining. That's no, not dark. Mm. So you're thinking oh, Irish? Sub Irish. Woohoo! 491. Oh. Woo why didn't it come up in the... Oh, Lil already ordered. Lil, she ordered that hat on. Yeah, she ordered the Starwood. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm eyeing some limited mm. edition writer's tears. Oh, hey, that's really cool. Good day. Jason mm. Busey. Oh, good day, Jason. Good day, Jason. 493 just sub with my other account. <laughs> your other account. <laughs> Noise. Fucking hell. 
Why isn't it the, the thing should should announce it? But maybe it's not coming through. Alright, I'm gonna put this down and let it open up a little bit more because I'm just <coughs> so the ABV isn't too strong on the nose. <coughs> Not too I got a bit of a ride away. It's nasty. So the, the ABV isn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yay, that's so cool. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the sub. Cheers. So that's Jason's account, is it? So we're up to 494 now. It's up the. To- up the top right there with the latest subscriber I'll put a little counter up there a very tiny one just so I can glance over so I don't have to look at the open oh, yeah okay I see it it's on my yeah. screen but it's above where my head is yep uh, it's right there yeah oh yeah there we go yeah, I see it <laughs> yeah right there you can point at it yeah <laughs> it's quite literally right above my head that's no, that way that's <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> when I get yellow spot, I go to the doctor right away. Damn nasty that. <laughs> Already 35 and going to hit 45. Yikes! Mm. Nope, thanks. Yeah, I think I need to put a lot of ice on whiskey. Yeah. Oh, whiskey fuck on that. Whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree. Fuck now, 45 degrees. Old man Joe. Come on, G'day, Joe. Subscribe with all your troll accounts. Yeah, I don't know about the troll accounts because yeah. YouTube will probably be unsubscribed them. Because it'll be on the same IP and yeah. stuff. Yeah, because this is only 46, I'm like. The yeah. nose is, is yellow spotish. Like, I get where you're coming from, random, but, you know, at the same time, there's a part of me that's like, you know, let's make it count. Yeah. Yeah, let's make it count. Make it count. <laughs> How are your phones to- going, uh, Cliff? I want to hit to 500 and so, stay sorry, alive. Sorry, Simon. Drop down, go up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up. Uh, how are you, your gemstones going, Cliff? Oh, good. Yeah. Um, I'm actually uh, going to be cutting gems for an international fasting competition. We're trying to get into the Australian team, so that's going to be um, a challenge to beat the Americans and the Chinese. But... Uh, if we can get enough members in the team, we'll have a shot at it this for next year, 2022. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's a uh, traditionally we've always won it, but uh, lately the Chinese have been dominating. So, <laughs> um, so we're going to have a try to get them back at at, at their own game, because uh, to get into the competition, you're dealing with the best gem cutters in the world. So just to get on the team is just hard enough. Um, so we're working on it, but uh, that'll be my challenge. But apart from that, all the other gems I'm cutting, I've been selling a few um, and uh, working on another competition, just a Victorian competition. So hopefully I can take out the free form competition for the third year in a row. That's what I'm aiming for. So I see how I go. Yeah, it's going well. Yeah. Good luck to that. And I've noticed you've grown a beard too, Simon. Since I've been oh, on, he's trying. Semi, yeah. Good on you. You're, you're, you're joining the rest of us who are becoming beardsmen. Well done. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's what I think of when anyone says Scotch now. What the hell was that? I don't know. What was that? Nice. Well, that was anonymous. Who just sent twenty-five dollars? So thank you very oh, much. That's lovely. And that was an awesome message about Telescope. It's mm. awesome. There you go. Lick the like and like the lick. I'll give you yellow spots all over. <laughs> See, I'm sorry. I could have sworn you said something about Telescope a second ago, and then you started with the like the lick. I was like, oh my god, that goddamn image. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm, yes, I'm the not, image. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm going to flashbacks right now. <laughs> but I don't know why my computer keeps yelling out the announcements when it should be. Yeah, why is it doing that? Oh, I know what it could be. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm trying to see if I can work this out. Anyway, I was just noting that while it was going on. Check the audio. The only thing I can think. There, there's nothing in there. In OBS, um, that would be doing that. 
the monitor is all off. All monitors are off, so it's not OBS. <laughs> so the only thing I can think of is the actual website, but I even muted it. So I don't know. Tell us, Grizz Scotch. Hell yeah. Like it's the only real scotch. I'll die on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good hill to die on. The Telescope's Scotch Hill. Debatable, right. but um, you know, I'll, I'll put I'll put flowers at the top of the hill for you. <laughs> I'll there send you it go, Jason. For a while. There you go, it works. There you go. So you can type views. Views. All right, so I... Oh, yeah. Views. So I got custard, lemon, and vanilla Ooh. so far. Mm-hmm. And there's a little bit of oak, but it's like a real light... Light oak. Light oak. I'm tending towards Irish. Oh, really? custard and vanilla. Or maybe a real Highlandy. Is it really? Um, is there lots of ABV on the nose? No. And it's sixty-two point yeah. five. But when I first put my nose on it, you can smell there was a little bit of ABV. But now I can dive right into. It. I'm not getting ABV, ABV on the palate. I haven't sipped it yet. I'm still nosing it. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Custard and vanilla. I want to see what I can get on the nose. Okay. We might need to open it up a bit longer then. So I mean, it's a bit to play with being 62.5, so. Must be a bourbon cask. Mm. I mean, if you're getting custard That's what and I'm vanilla, thinking about. Yeah. Like before I even opened it, I'm going on the no on the colour, I'm thinking it's just bourbon cast yeah. american oak it does have, it, it does have the bourbon in kind of like those deep mahogany notes like looking at the color from my perspective yeah. from like through my screen that's what i'm seeing but i don't know yeah but coming through that it's pretty hard i mean that looks real dark yeah it, yeah, does. it, it dark. is yeah yeah it's well, not could that be dark. sherry then on my screen no, it's dark. dark not not on the nose definitely not on the nose i mean oh, oh, there we go. A lot. oh no that's a lot yeah look at it yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, of exactly. It's copper. It's quite like light. copper. I don't know. That yeah. looks so, like a yeah, very um, coppery. Oh wow! That looks that's like a, a, that's yeah. actually really pale. It's good that you're doing it on a white background yeah. too, because that's when you really see the color. I don't know. Yeah. That looks like it's no. um got some sort of a wine cask. Yep. Well, that's why I initially said it might have a a wine cask in it, but I'm not Ooh. picking up super sweet wineish notes on the nose. It's not whining like a child, are you? <laughs> I mean, there could be a slight whine. Don't laugh. Don't laugh at me. I didn't uh, hear what you said. So bad. Don't laugh. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. Uh, it's okay. Man, yeah, it could be a star with the wine finish, but I'm not getting too much on the nose. Ken in his white pants. Hell yeah, Chris. Thank God I'm not <laughs> holding my breath for Verdi. <laughs> no, I'm taking my time. There's no rush. <laughs> hey, you could drop dead in the next minute, mate. You, you might waste it. <laughs> uh, we could all drop dead in the next minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hate to see that happen. That's okay. Right, I, I, I know where he's going. I'll, I'll go drink the rest for him. Okay. <laughs> And by oh, the way, no. anyone in chat who's wondering, I bought stat jokes. <laughs> Is it a grain? No, I don't think it's a grain. I think it's it's a single malt. The other color, I reckon, it's, malt. I reckon it's got a wine finish on it. Some sort no. of wine finish. Uh, um, it's not very much of a wine finish. But that oh, color, you look. Yeah, but what you're seeing here is not very accurate. No. Fair enough. I mean, seriously, what what you're seeing and what I'm seeing, look at that. <laughs> that's, that's two different things. 
Don't forget, because we're looking at it through our screens, our contrast and everything, and color saturation is going to be completely different to each other because of our uh, laptops and computers. Yeah, and I've and I've I've got a lot on my camera, so that's actually a lookup table. So I've coloring, I've colored my ah. stream. It's a bit darker and a bit more contrasty and oh, a bit okay, more yeah. extra saturation. Right. So, contrasty. Yeah, is, Let it be known. Contrasty is a word now. Okay. Contrasty. That's a technical term. <laughs> I was going to say, if that is a bourbon cask matured whiskey, that is fucking old to have that colour on. But I did say there might be a wine cask in there, but I don't. Mm. It, it says 62.5%. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't even sipped it yet, so I, I don't know. I mean, there is... Um... And by the way, anyone in chat who's wondering what Kenny is doing, he has sent a random bottle and he's trying to find out what it is. It's not a random bottle. Well, it's not random. Is it? We know all about it. We just don't know exactly what Actually, it is. I think Kenny's already making up shit. I'm always making up shit. So, yeah, this is the Whiskey Club in Australia. It's a subscription, monthly subscription-based service. They've sent next month's sample of their bottle they're releasing. All I know is that it's 62.5%. That's it. So I'm doing a tasting and a review on it. So it's a structured send. Like yeah. they know exactly yeah. what they were sending. It's not just a random pick. They know what they said. No, it's not yeah. random. So it's a mystery yeah. bottle. Mystery. There we go. Mystery bottle. So in other words, it is a bottle that was sent from Colombia and he has no idea what's in it. <laughs> Drena, exactly. I'm a photographer and videographer, and exactly. That's when people say that looks really dark. It's like, no, you can't judge that. Sorry. <laughs> Only I can tell you what I'm seeing. Good evening, Drena. Uh, what I'm seeing here is quite light and coppery. It looks different on every screen. Yeah. And my light is exactly set to 600 k so. No, I'm not munted. I haven't even had a drink yet. I've been sniffing 62.5 ABV. I've had more to drink than he has. Yeah, everyone's had more yeah. to drink. Exactly, but yeah. A lot but more Simon to drink. myself, yeah. was still drinking till 4 o'clock in yeah. the morning. So 4 5. There might be some residual oh alcohol in my blood. <laughs> yeah, I felt that after last night, man. I, I bet you did. I did. Yeah, you were pretty happy. <laughs> <I was. laughs> All right, let's have a look at the legs. Magic's in the morning. Hmm. Oh, they are slow. They are so, thick. So I reckon it's definitely so thick, so thick, oily thick, or yeah, oily thick. Mm -hmm. But how thick? Well, it it's it's not the easiest thing to judge when it comes to a whiskey with the legs because. It you know, wine is a much better uh, thing to look at when it comes to the legs, but it's definitely clinging to the glass. They're not sliding down real fast. I only and... have I only have a small handful that that do that, and they are incredibly pricey, high quality whiskeys. <laughs> Simon, get out! <laughs> Just get out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your whiskey and get out. <laughs> oh, Zach, if you want jokes, type exclamation mark dad joke and you get a random dad joke. Life's better when things are thick. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> as long as they are I, a I, big black thick tube as well. Stop talking. <laughs> stop. Oh, Jesus. All right, there is, there is, now that's opened up a bit, there is a finish. You need to go on the timeout chair. <laughs> Go in the naughty corner. We don't we don't specify colour here. We are inclusive to all. He said two beers, please. One for me and one for the road. Oh my god. Nah, fair enough, Chris. It's fair enough. Like... No, the dad joke. Did you hear the dad joke? Yeah. Man walked into the bar with some asphalt on his arm. He said. Two beers, please. One for me and one for the road. 
<laughs> oh, Zach likes it. <laughs> I'm going to put long... Hello, day. Zach Andrews. I only have one thing to say. Raise your standards. <laughs> Sticky. Sticky. Just... Sticky. Sticky. Just That's the adjective you're using. Sticky. With an empty bottle. <laughs> yeah. I reckon Chris... Should be slapped night bottle with an empty bottle. My suspicion is, Chris, I think they're sending us... Um, lower proof and younger Blantons. Oh, what makes you say that? Well, I've just had a, um, the, the Blantons I got is pretty much the lowest proof I've ever seen. And even Chris, Chris is saying that in Queensland, yeah, they're getting low, low proof Blantons as well. Okay. I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen any to be able to have a decent input on that. So that's why I was like, what makes you say that? Because I'm really curious. Yeah, I think what they're doing, because it, dis it disappeared for a few months. And then yeah, because was, all the, hip all the yeah. hippies were buying it out and they have no appreciation. But even that, all of a sudden, it just appeared and it looks, by the sounds of it, we're getting, yeah, lower proof and um, younger age plantains. Because the market had a demand. Mm -hmm. Yep. And again, oh, light post. And again, because the people that were purchasing it and pretty much destroyed the market yeah. for us. Yeah. Exactly. They don't care. They're just yeah. like, oh, look at this pretty yeah. bottle. It has this value. Blah 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 blah. And it's it's they are creating this obnoxious demand. Mm -hmm. Same thing that they're doing for Port Charlotte. Yeah. As I, Fuck, yeah, going in. Fuck okay. those hipsters. Hang on, Simon. Everyone watch Ken. It's definitely finished. No mm -hmm. shit. On what, though? So you're still <laughs> thinking uh, single more? <laughs> Single malt. Uh, it's not finished. It's still going. <laughs> no, it's finished. It's finished. It's been finished in something. Ah, so a really uh, long uh, mouth. Uh, <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, goodness. Oh. Like, I'm trying to see, but it's not a cognac. <laughs> it's not a rum. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is between uh, <laughs> whiskey. I'm tending towards a red wine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the planters. But hmm. how long was the mouthfeel, Ken? <laughs> I only let a little sip go through. Oh. I just want to want to tighten my palate, and the next one oh. I'm going to let it stay so, in for a little bit. It's what you're supposed to. That's how you're supposed to. That's how you're supposed it's to. It's quite buttery and smooth. Oh. <laughs> like it's not sharp. There's no no pepper. Um, there's no, there's a general heat, but there's no spiky pepper notes on the side of the tongue or at the back of the palate. It's actually yeah, not surprising for sixty two point five. Hmm, interesting. Exactly, Chris. I reckon they do the same. That's exactly what I just said. Yeah, I reckon they're fucking bending us over. <sighs> yeah, light oak. Still got some butter. Toast. Light oak. Toast. I mean, if it is finishing a wine, it's not very long. <clears throat> it's definitely not long. But you said definitely finished, you reckon? It's got some kind of finish to it, yeah. yeah. It's not a just straight American, but unless it's exclusively European casks. But you reckon single malt? So far, yeah.
Yeah, good night, baby boy. Yeah, hello. Cheese for mansplaining. What I already said. <laughs> I love it when people do that. Hey, didn't uh, Bourbon Baller try to join yesterday? He did. Couldn't get his phone to um, play ball. Mm. <laughs> All right, so it's a little bit of... What? Bourbon Baller wouldn't play ball. Oh, sorry, that was not intended <laughs> pun, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to think about this. <laughs> Oh dear. Gonna... Yeah, it's some fancy. It's either American oak or some light, short finish and some fancy wine dusk. So we're talking bourbon, are we? I don't want to talk so, about someone else. No, it's not that. Yeah. I think I'm all. So you've got your little column and your little ticks should be leaning to one side, bourbon or non-bourbon, whether it's a scotch or not. You said earlier on, you mentioned the word Irish. But I think that's dropped out of the conversation. So... On the palate, yes. On the nose, it reminded me of an Irish because of the... the, yeah. the side of but you've mentioned nothing about sweet. You've mentioned nothing about oak. sweetness. So no, nothing on the sweet. Palate then, I did get honey on the initial palate. Okay. Yep. Right. But it's short. It's a very light, honey. Wouldn't think that'd be Irish. So, is it light and present, like ever present, or is it light and short lived? Light and short lived. Okay. On the honey. Yeah, but it's still quite buttery on the palate, and then there's a long, very light. Like I've still got it now. Definitely buttery, not oily. No, it's not too oily. That's good. It's buttery, yeah. It's not oily. But is the mouth feel like a thick mouth mouth feel or Yeah, Medium. Is, it, is it heavy? Does it coat? Not too long, no. No, mm. it's a medium medium coat. Mm. Medium density in the viscosity on the palate, yes. Mm. An actual mid palate isn't that um, that wasn't a Freudian longer. flip. That no. was a Freudian face plant. <laughs> Freudian face plant. <laughs> Goodness me. So you reckon a short mouth feel? I mean, medium, short, fin medium finish. Simon, short mid palate. Up. Short mid palate. Shut up, Simon. <laughs> no, it's not grain. It's definitely not grain. Sounds so you like reckon. Unless it doesn't have that grass. He's not to talk anymore. Doesn't have any of those grassy notes. I'm gonna pour another bit and add water in a minute. So it smells high proof, but it's a short. Finish. No, no, it doesn't smell high proof. Yeah. I said earlier, it does not have a high ABV on the nose. But the color. Did you even get that high? Did you even you can't get judge that anything high by it? Second. Did you get that high note though in that very first quick small sip? Did you did you get that initial punch that the higher whiskies give? No, no. That's, really That's what I said when I first did it. It was buttery and smooth. There was no high ABV alcohol burn. There was no um, like heat going down the back of the, when you swallow it. And there was none of that. On the second ball when I had it. What's that fucking funny? <laughs> Simon's a dick. On the second floor. Oh, mouthful common used prison term <laughs> that <I> used in. <laughs> Julie has pocky. Yeah, Julie has pocky. Yeah, I want some pocky. Um, so the viscosity on the first. <laughs> Shut up, Simon. <laughs> God. I'm trying to do a semi serious review and everyone. <laughs> No, no, okay, sorry, sorry, give you some context. Simon is talking like a teenage boy who's just gotten his tip wet, and it's hard yeah, exactly. to concentrate on what you're talking about. I read in the comments, no, he's my phone is going off, which is distracting enough in the best ways, so, so I'm just like, I'm just... 
Oh, so you're getting bombarded with innuendos left, right, and center. Okay. I really, really am. <laughs> I have no well, right right And Enjoy. Enjoy, then. <laughs> I'll go back to my mundane tasting. <laughs> God damn, this is so familiar. I've had something so similar to this. It's driving me insane. It's like I I might even have this on the shelf or something so similar to it. That it's driving me up the wall and I can't pick it. Like, what is this? Yeah, Simon, what is it, you cheeky shit? I mean, it could be, an, it could be a, like an Australian. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> could be a rum. I was going to say, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, fuck now. Could be the rum you're drinking too, Simon. <laughs> well, he, has, he was drinking rum earlier. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Could be the yeah, might be one you're drinking. <laughs> Well, that <laughs> rum I was drinking was a really old and dark coloured rum. With an ABV of 62.5%. <laughs> I was about to say, can we not add the terms old and dusty to the conversation? <laughs> now my phone's. I mean, my pen. I can't even speak English. <laughs> my pen died. <laughs> Where did be mine? I had nothing to do with this. It was all Simon's fault. You started it. <laughs> no, you started it. Fuck off, man. I'm telling you on the bus. Fucking. All right, we're yeah. adults. We'll continue yeah. as adults. Simon's fault. Simon did. <laughs> adults, eh? Yeah. <laughs> For those watching, I did not start it. <laughs> yes, yeah, she did. Fuck off! <laughs> it's like 15 minutes. Yeah. I had nothing it's to do with it. It's been going for like an hour. <laughs> I don't need 50 minutes of me dribbling shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have this last sip. Pause them. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, there's one sip there. Alright. I'm going to let this... Oh, I need to get my pen because I was going to write. What was I going to write? I was going to write something. <coughs> Oh, it's light flower mode. That's it. <laughs> no, his fucking pen won't work. <laughs> Fuck up, Simon. <laughs> Did you have funny. <laughs> Maybe it should have been drinking for the last four, four hours. <laughs> Can I see <laughs> shit? You should have. <sighs> Scotch barrel entry typically around 63 ABV. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> been that high ABV after three years and I like it. No, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Okay. And you got Abelers. Flux is 105, is 60%. Um, there's, yeah, there's quite a few car strengths around that. Meanwhile, Mutley over here can't breathe. <coughs> like, yeah, I know. Do we, need his art, do we send someone to check on him? <laughs> no, he's just broken. There's not much oh, you can do. I'm okay. Broken. I'm okay. <coughs> just continue. Just breaking. <clears throat> I'm going. To. Don't worry about that. Stop rubbing that pen like that. <laughs> Shut up. Get out. Just <laughs> no, because the moment he was doing it, I thought it, but I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> well, you thought it. That's. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I can. He's over right here. Bloody right children. Here these ones. This is what we have to deal with, Cliff. I kept my mouth shut and <coughs> said it. Let the internet know. But you were thinking it. That didn't include it. <laughs> All right, there's some charred meat. Oh, 
I can't even right now. It's... Well, it's coming up more than what that toast was. No, I'll I have to buy next like, month now just like so we can do this again. Mild toast. <laughs> mild toast, and now it's almost like a slight charred meat, almost like a burnt in. Did you say very, mild very toast? What? Did you say mild toast? Mild toast. 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 Yeah, so those are your, yes, those are your cereals. That's your grain. No, not a cereal note. Burnt toast. Oh, like burnt toast. toast uh, not burnt, but mild toast. So it's not undercooked. It's not overcooked. So it's burnt. It's in between. It's just a mild toast. So it's just toast. Just toast, yes. Toast is a mild cereal because a toast is a grain. That's what I was saying. No, I'm talking about toasted bread. Oh my god, what's bread made of? Yes, I know, but I'm talking about when you're toasted. I'm oh, not talking about cereal me. grain notes. I'm not talking about cereal grain notes. I'm talking about the toasty smell. Okay, so you're talking about like that yeah. that fiery, toasty char kind of smell, but associated with bread. No. Just what you typically smell on bread. No grain. No grain, no yeast. Why is that okay? Uh, oh, yeah, so yeah. Have you, oh my is, lord. Have you sort of worked out? I was is going it with grain yeast dough smell. I would have said grain yeast well, dough smell. So, have you actually That's why I said it's broken. oak, like oak char slash toast? Well, it's probably got to be bourbon, some type. Well, that eliminates. No, it's not bourbon. <laughs> oh, well, so it's not bourbon at all. No. Mm -hmm. Not you say it's not bourbon. Okay, let's rule out bourbon. No. I've already said that like five times. <laughs> well, you, when you mention chard, then we start talking an oak. No. No. You can get millions of scotches with good char on them. Well, true. But you said charred meat. And then you said charred toast. Yes, yeah, like charred meat difference. on the nose. There's a big difference what? between charred toast and charred meat. Somebody's going to watch the words charred meat well, is triggering Simon. So if someone says to me charred meat, if, if someone said to me charred meat, I'd automatically start thinking about the Lafroy, that bacon taste. But I said a very light oh, okay. hint Well, then I'd meat. start thinking. Then I'd start in the background. Okay, so if someone said light meat, then I'd start thinking Isla because of that, you know, that peated taste. Yeah, yeah, but if I, if I said there was a, yeah, but I'm saying super light. This is Jim Morris on the out edge, outskirts, around the edge of the honey. The, okay, so, so the it's, lemon, it's, the vanilla, yeah, the custard, okay. it, all it's those. No long, it's no longer charred meat. It's definitely a charred, no. toasty cereal taste. You just kicked Simon out. <laughs> yeah, I kicked him yeah. out. <laughs> okay, so it's. Definitely a scotch. You guys sit in the corner and settle down. <laughs> Definitely a scotch now. Well, that's good. At least we know it's a scotch. No, I didn't say it was a scotch. But you said it wasn't a bourbon. So what is it? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that it's a scotch. Oh, my God. I said it was a scotch malt. Oh, well. Got me confused. You said it's a bourbon. I said, no, it's not a bourbon. <sighs> well, it's definitely not a bourbon. I said... It's a single malt. You said it's a scotch. No, I did not say it's a scotch. Oh, well, then, yeah, it could be it Australian, could be Irish, too. It could be Australian. It could be... It could be yeah. Yeah. I need a cookie or something because I'm going uh, through... I'm going through something <laughs> with all of this. Australians make ABV up to 62.5%, do they? If oh, way past that. I was like, yeah. yeah. Um, One bit um, as dark as winter is 69.5. But not sold on, not sold in bottle shops. Yeah. 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 Oh. I can, okay. I can, walk, I can go to my local and pick up a lime burners. Oh, lime burners. Yeah. Um, well, dark as well, winter on the shop well, right well, now. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, that could make it interesting. Might be an Aussie one too. If this is a lime burners, I'm going to laugh my ass off. <sighs> okay, well, rattle through your head the Australians that you've had, just in case. Like, try and see if you've got any major comparisons. 
you said before it tasted very similar to something you've got on the shelf. And you've mm. had quite mm. a few Australians that you've had the before. The nose was very familiar. Yeah. Not the palate, the nose. I said the oh, nose okay. was very reminiscent. The first sniff I had, I'm like, this is super familiar. This is reminds me of something I've had. Oh my God. Chris. <laughs> Oh dear. Yes, it's worse than that, but Chris, don't forget it. There's Klingons on the starboard bow. Don't get me started on that. He started. In my head. I'm going to leave it. Not going to stick in my head. Not going to stick in my head. Is it? Yeah, it's super buttery and smooth <laughs> on the. All right, so I'm going to leave this bit in the glass and then sniff it. Oh, the little tiny drag that's in the bottle. I'm let that open up. Okay, so you could you could add in well, you've got no peat there, Thank so you. You, could, you could probably eliminate anything from Isla. You could add Australia or Irish or Scotch into. Well, it uh, could be. It still could be Isla. It could still be. You reckon? Isla. Okay, oh, fair enough. So, yeah, it could be a Bloody. It could be a Kalila. Unpeated, it could be, yeah, it could still be around that world. Have you settled down now? I'll put you in the naughty corner. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> <about>. No comment. <laughs> That's right. I'll, I'll kick your ass out if you lose it again. <laughs> Settle down in the naughty corner. <laughs> but Simon, he did definitely mention charred meat, didn't he? <laughs> He did mention. I did that. say charred meat. Yeah, <laughs> but he was right was, was, the corner. I'm like, just, <laughs> like, just <laughs> checking the characteristic <laughs> in the distance. I'll just, just go in the just corner and check my drink headphones. some charred meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's whiskey, can hey, not easy. Hey, no, some a lot of whiskeys do have that charred meat taste. It's no doubt about it. That, I, yeah, but is sure. it? But is it a nine-inch charred meat? <laughs> Sometimes you just need that meaty feeling in your mouth. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> See, what are you? Okay, okay. 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 When you right. camera, into the naughty when corner. <laughs> when you went on camera momentarily, you probably had a bit of beef jerky in between. Oh, beef jerky. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck, I'm trying to pick what this shit up. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Beef turkey. Cinnamon. Fucking shitload of cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon. Yep, cinnamon. Could it be Japanese? <laughs> nah. No, I love it. I love it. Yeah. What he's already mentioned <laughs> completely ruled it out. Okay. Yeah. But I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, this is, yeah, this is definitely a custard tart with cinnamon on top. And we actually did an episode where we, one of the episodes that were coming out soon, where it was like custard tart with the cinnamon on top. Hey, what, what was that? <laughs> what was that episode? I'm trying to remember. It wasn't that because that had a, a very distinct characteristic that this does not have. I'm not going to touch the milk. Have another drink. <laughs> have another charred meat drink. No, Donald, it's definitely not needed. No. This is very Highland Speyside ish. I would I'd say Highlands. I mean it could and then again it could uh, no. No, I'm not thinking Bladnock. I don't think it's Lowlands. It's not well, there's only three lions. There's only Blade Knock, Kill Home, um, Akatoshin, and um, the one that starts a K that I've just had a mental blank on. Eh, brain fart, brain fart. I've only had two Akatoshins, and you haven't. Not K, I went Kinchy, Kinchy. It's not that. There's way Akatoshin are not that complex. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. It's not them. Not that complex. Kind of like Simon's brain. <laughs> <laughs> Do -do I'm not sorry. Very, yeah. There we go. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, this is like a pastry. Pastry and charred meat. No, on the nose, on the empty glass, it's pastry, pastry and cinnamon. And meat. Beef Wellington. There you go. No. God damn. The meat was a slight toasted character relationship and the distance. Greg's whiskey guide. Outs G'day, Greg. Outside of all of the hints of oh, maybe a red wine finish with the custard, the lemon, the vanilla, mm. the light oat slash toast, and then a slight charred meat, but distant, almost like a... When you put a a steak, shut up. You put a steak on a grill, and it's a hot super grill, and you see it on either side. And you get that. Bloody children! He's gonna do my Greg. I'm trying to I'm trying to be quite serious and actually do a review. And every time I talk about mouthfeel and charred meat and stuff like that, you got stupid Simon here and Julia are losing it. So I got oh, sent no. a sample. Yeah, it's all it's no, it's Simon all Simon's father. Father. Yeah, he's the child. Thank you. I got sent a sample of an innocent bystander. The, whiskey, the next bottle to come from the subscription service of the Whiskey Club in Australia. This is going to be the August bottling. All I know, it's sixty-two point five percent ABV. That's all I know. And so, it has a great mouthfeel. Yeah, shut up, son. My guy. Uh, it's very, it's very copper on the color. It's like into gold note um, on the color, but very copper. Um, the legs were quite thick and long lasting. So I can't, I can't even English people. because of this fucking guy right now. Like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, yeah, Cliff, what have you done to us, Cliff? <laughs> When I first nosed it, oh, sorry, yeah, I didn't want to embarrass you. Oh, no, 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 Greg, that's not you. I'm sorry. That's Simon <laughs> being an idiot. <laughs> At the back of my head, it's really familiar, and I almost went, oh, it's kind of orishy, yellow spot ish kind of hints on the nose. Uh, first off, on the color, I thought it was American oak cask, but now I'm tending towards maybe European oak. Um, I wasn't sure yeah. that it was finished on the nose, but after having a sip, I have to take it's definitely put out a nose, from the nose and palate. Maybe a red wine finish, but short um, maturation or oh, finishing. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely only a finish. I don't think it's been fully matured. Okay. Uh, but lots of custard, lemon, vanilla, mm -hmm. light oat slash toast, chart mm -hmm. meat for Simon, make him laugh. And definitely on the palate, it's very low ABV on the palate. It's kind of buttery and smooth. A bit of slight honey, but short on the beginning of the palate, on the mid palate. Other than that one meaty nugget, that sounds like an amazing what? dessert whiskey. Oh, it's definitely a, a, a good um, digestive whiskey, yeah, for sure. Mm. Um, very slight heat on the side of the tongue if you leave it on the palate for a little bit. Simon, I swear to God, I'm going to mail you a glitter penis if you don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Medium mouthfeel, long oak finish on the long finish. Quite nice oak. Yeah. Are you blind supposed to be only US or world? Um, no mean? idea. This is a, this could be anything. Oh. I'm tending towards maybe Australian, maybe Scotch, Highland. Yeah. Maybe. Um, there, it, there are a few not, people who have right. popped in since you started. So, do you want to do a quick recap on what you're actually doing? I just did. <laughs> okay, so I'm reviewing. I got sent this afternoon from the Whiskey Club here in Australia. I got sent a review sample of the August bottle. So, it's 62.5%. That's all I know. And it's coming out in August. So, I have absolutely no idea. So, I've gone through. I've nosed it. I've taken the first sip of it. I haven't had any water yet. It's quite light. It may be American oak with a white wine. I mean, a red wine finish, a short red wine finish. Um, it could be European oak um, with also maybe not a red wine finish. Mm. It's a very short red wine finish. Uh, I'm tending towards, it could be Australian, maybe a Highland, Scottish, maybe Irish. The initial nose, I definitely got um, Irish yellow spot custards and lemons and vanillas and stuff like that on the nose. So, yeah, I'm going to go in for another one. Even though there are some Australian 
dominant notes there. It sounds so, well, so Irish. It's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He keeps mentioning, well, buttery. Yeah. Irish. On the, yeah, but not on the nose, only on the mouth. Yeah. Talk about buttery. buttery. I'm, buttery. I'm, I'm, I'm trying nose. that, and that's really buttery. That tealing. Tealing so, can be. Yeah. Tealing can be. Are you getting any shortbreads or anything like that? Any of those biscuits as well? No, I'm not getting like shortbread. There's okay. a little bit of pastry. Okay. Oh, oh, gee. That's why I said like cussed, but I was thinking like cussata. And then when I was an empty glass, I got that little bit of cinnamon, but it's gone now. And until I, so you're not getting cinnamon anymore because that to me, a lot of no, that was only on the empty glass. That was yeah. only on the empty glass. Oh, and then okay. back in those empty glass, then it was gone. That was only on the empty glass. Um, <laughs> yes, Donald, he's having a lady chattering mm. crisis, and that is exactly what over. So he's been sent to the corner to go think about his actions. Well, he's gone now. He dropped. He kicked himself out. He, he bugged out. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Um, he'll be back. He'll be back. Hi, by the way. Hi, Greg. I'm sorry. It's it's been incredibly. Fun. I'm with you, Greg. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking youngish. I don't think, but it's not sharp on on the mouthfeel at all. There is no high ABV spikes. It's quite buttery and smooth on the palate. So I'm really, really intrigued so, by how high proof it is compared to what you're actually getting. Well, I'm I'm not a good judge of that because I'm not one of those people that gets hit by high by ABVs. I don't get high ABV hmm. spikes. Whereas, I know Simon. Okay. I mean, Cue Ball and Scotty, they both get hit. Yeah. Whereas I don't. Can be a lot of things. Sounds exactly like. Recast warehouse stuff, young. Yeah. yeah. And that's there. The ABV makes me think it's too high for an Irish as well. That, that's exactly what I thought. That's what on the nose it reminded me of an Irish, but as soon as I had it in the palate, and then yeah, I think of the ABV, it's like, nah, it's, it can't be that. But it's got those kind of characteristics. I'm not saying that that's where it is, but those kind of vanilla y, buttery on the palate, the light oak toast custard kind of. Mm. On the nose. Yeah. Okay, what Irish have you got behind you by any chance? Because I'm really, really, really curious about what high ABV. We've got Bushmills, Blackmore 16, 2006 Causeway, Green Spot. What's the Causeway? On the red wine finish. What? What's the Causeway? It's Causeway collection. That's car strength Bushmills. But it's only like 56. Okay, I was going to say I have two Bushmills, but I don't have that one. I've never tried to oh, this, this was the Whiskey Club. This was a Whiskey Club one. Yes, I, no, I, I recognize cool. that. I didn't get it. We had that discussion a few weeks back. Yeah, I wish I'd grab two. That's 47 for two. That's done in Masala. Hmm. But this is more of a, yeah, this is a red wine, but. And you mentioned no honeycomb. No. Nah. You keep nah. going back to custard. Custard was mentioned a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and light, light, and, light, and buttery. Light vanilla custard. Yeah, I was going to say, so yeah. like fresh that, lemon. That nice, like, mellow but creamy, sweet, slight honey kind of feel. Yeah, slight like honey on the, yeah. of the mouth. Keep thinking Irish. No, it's not peated. Hmm. No, I don't think so. No? Okay, well. No, it doesn't have that butterscotch honeycomb like you were no, saying. No, that's what I was wondering it whether it had that honeycomb yeah. butter. And it's yeah, way too high ABV. Way too yeah, high ABV. So, well, yeah, okay. We've known the Irish would not. Yeah, did they make about high? They probably would. There are some distilleries making high ABV. No? Okay. Well. Triple distillation we'll, and... When, you just, so you're going to find out next month what it is, aren't you? So you really yeah. Well, we'll, find guess. Out. we'll actually well, find out. we'll find out in a couple of weeks because what they do is they have a Facebook community. They will photo, horribly, horribly Photoshop an image with 
hints at to region, um, the name of it, the, the finishes, the year, that sort of stuff. So you, we have to try and guess what it is. And then yeah. a few days later, they will actually let us know what it is. In a- no, it's not Gervin. It's not, it's not a single grain. Mm. And what they do then, so- once they let us know what it is, they'll then spend a week or two promoting it along with other content. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have any of that grainy, um, grassy kind of mm. note. It's, it's I might really, have to try that myself. So you've, lim- lim- you've lim- eliminated, lim- you've eliminated Irish by the sound of it. Mm. Well, I haven't, I haven't done any guessing yet. No, because I haven't even finished. But, I haven't even finished tasting okay. it and nosing it properly yet. I'm just going to ask because I haven't drunk, I haven't drunk a lot of Australian whiskey, so I'm not a great expert on that. But does it taste like it could be Australian? That's what we were wondering. I don't know. No? I don't know. You don't know? Don't know. Okay. It could, be. Yeah. it could be, but I don't know. But, I, I haven't but, delved into it enough yet. I haven't even added water yet. Yeah, fair enough. That's a good fair enough. So you're not you're not eliminating anything quite yet. No. Apart from but I'm, I'm like tending like. towards it, on the characteristics I'm getting so far without thinking about ABV and distillation and it's it's Highland Scottish slash Irish Australian wine finish ish. Okay. Ish. Single malt ish. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Very ish. Hmm. Hmm. I should start buying more Irish whiskies. I just love them. Greg's thinking it might be a lot. Right, cross drinks. I'm curious. We had a lark, we had a lark in the add-ons recently. I think there might still be one there. We had two. Re- yeah, but I, I haven't had I haven't had a lark mm. in God knows how long. So I couldn't tell you. I yeah. Tell you. Well, we had a lark. The Whiskey Club had a lark in June and July last year because I got both of them, and it doesn't sound like either of them. So. I haven't had the chance to try Lark. I'd like to. Pretty expensive for my palate at this stage. I'll wait till my son's out of uni. I might buy a few bottles then. West Court Cast Drink is the highest ABV to come from. Ireland is available. Aware of 62%. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not Irish. It just has those. Ben Demon Hunter. When I first Good noticed day. it, I was like, oh, Irish ish. Hobbit Who Drinks. Okay. Well, Thanks, good day, man. Thanks, yeah, I'm sensing a wine finish, Greg. That's what I was j- just about to say. I'm definitely tending towards more towards a a wine finish. It's interesting. I really wish I had some more to. Uh... Oh, Simon has gone. It's too... mm. Yeah, it's not too complex on on the on the nose now. Like, I can't really pick up too much. It's kind of almost right. youngish. I wouldn't say prickly young, but youngish. Like, there's not too much complexity in depth. <coughs> there's not that much going on. From what I remember from your Australian reviews, you keep mentioning an earthy smell from most of your Australian. You don't, it's just different than the earthy smell from the scotch or peat. And you haven't mentioned, you would, does it have that type of smell about it? Nothing earthy? Because you keep going to cinnamon or. Well, the only reviews we've done on Australian ones is lime burners. Yeah. And, 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 and it doesn't have. And so, it doesn't have Star Wars so, don't have that thing. So it doesn't have that type of smell. 
No, nothing like that, no. Okay, Viv, you might be able to eliminate line burners. Good day. No, it's not a line burner. It's not any line burner. No. From a smell point of view. Because I remember watching that. I haven't even said it. I'm not even saying it's Australian yet. I'm not even saying it's Australian yet. Good evening, Ben. How are you, mate? Five to six-year-old could be then. Some wine cast order tend to raise malted barley just to read characteristics from the original list of people the wine finish on Metro. I don't think it's a strong wine finish. It's kind of subtle. Peace. All right. Have a, have a good sleep, mate. Yeah, grab some sleep, mate. Mm. Hi, Fred. Hi, Let's add some water. Get out, shoot, kitty. God. I need more. <laughs> and that's the thing. When it, when it comes to... I'm going to go... God, tiny little sit wet. And to do a review, you actually need to, you know, come back to it. Are you going to add water? Yeah, I'm going to add water. I'm going to one more sip and then I'm going to add water. It's a little bit young on the before you head into the finish when you swallow it comes across as a little bit young but when you first swallow it or before no sorry before you swallow when you got it on your palate it's quite creamy well not not creamy but yeah very buttery custard sensation no i'm not getting the custard or anything on oh, the palate. i'm not getting that anymore okay gee no that's Keep on the it. nose not the palate no, yeah okay buttery on the palate not not flavor, just the mouthfeel. Yep. The flavors, not really much going on, to be honest. Okay. Well. So, as in a little bit lackluster. It's. I'm thinking it's young. Considering how high it is, and it doesn't have. Is, is it? I know you said the honey is quite short lived. It's like a small burst, like a small little nice mellow burst of honey. Um, is the overall, those overall flavors? More, more of the sensation of the honey. Okay, so those, no those actual flavored notes that you are getting, are they all short-lived as well, though? So, which is helping you... The only long one is the oak that hangs around on the actual finish. So I was like, so that's, it definitely implies that it's been finished in, what, new oak shells, maybe? No, not new oak. Definitely not new oak. And There's no tannic. I oh, know the fourteen. My fourteen was done in the new oak barrels at the end, and it's really, really oaky. No, this is not. This is very, okay. subtle, very, very subtle oak. Like, you're no, getting no. You're getting no charred no. taste anymore. No charred mm. taste. Like you mentioned earlier, really you're, you're getting it. No, toast. I got a charred. I got a slight toasted note and yeah, a slight toast. charred meat note on the on the outside oh. on the outskirts. No charred yep. taste. Slight meaty note toast. Wow, that's pretty. It's funny you mention all no, that not, because you say um, not... impressed. Like... I'm, I'm not blown away by it. I'll give you that. A young Del Winnie. Oh, I hadn't even thought of nah, that. Nah, it's not a Del Winnie. It's not a Del Winnie. It's way. It's Del Winnie is a lot thinner on yeah. the uh, mouth. That's why I was like, yeah, oh, I it's got a lot more I honey in it. This, this, this doesn't have any honey sweetness on the palate. Yeah, it's more of a. It just it's it's like a young high ABV American oak cast with a slight red wine finish. It's very subtle. Mm. 
red wine finish that goes into finish and oak. So right, let's open it up. It, 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 you say it doesn't have a very like it, to, to me it sounds like it's complex, but you, you're not even there. No, it's not. You say you say it's got nothing like that, yet you keep mentioning all these different notes like like okay, i've written it down okay so finish all the notes i was getting on this on the nose i'm getting uh, custard okay. lemon vanilla light yeah, oak, okay, rose, but, yeah. light burnt meat light that's all on the nose yeah, on the that's palate, like the, the buttery on I'm the mouth getting a slight honey oh, burst oh, oh, oh. short light heat weight on the, on the medium mouthfeel long light oak finish yeah and that's it i haven't that's given what? any Tasting slight, on the palate, as, I can't really well, pick much up. <laughs> what slight red wine on the palate? Uh, slight meaty on the no. palate? No, no, I, I didn't. No, I didn't say peaty. I didn't say red wine. Meaty, meaty, not peaty. Okay. No, not meaty oh, on the palate. So I'm, just I'm, really, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm, no. I'm multitasking, and um, oh. our, our, our darling friends over east who. Um, have different bedtimes. G'day, Mike. They're, they're actually ahead of us yes, in do. our time zone. So the, f the few that I go out of my way to make time for, I'm, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. So I'm not being rude. I'm sorry. Right, I'm not being I'm rude. I, I'm reading all your comments. Um, so I'm really sorry. And thank you so very much, by the way, for the birthday wishes. I'm really, really, really sorry I didn't get there. I'll be less shit next year, okay? I promise. <laughs> I'll find a way to make it up right, to you. Water added <laughs> on the nose. What have we got? Yeah. Let's let's do an elbow sniff. Actually, I'll have a vape before I do that. I'll, we'll have a rest. There's no stress. There's no rush. Oh, uh, live wire. I also just so you know, I also have YouTube running on my phone, and I like it's paused. I put the comments here because the comments are clearer on my phone than what they are on this screen. I keep saying the last few days, almost week, that everybody's birthday is like, you've had your birthday, Brian Kilko has had his birthday, Jason Mash and Drum's birthday is today, bloody Mike Livewire Whiskey's on Monday, um, my mom, mother-in-law just had her birthday and her friend that she saw at the restaurant had her birthday and then someone else I can't remember right now had their birthday. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Crazy birthdays. All right. Oh, there you go. Donald had his birthday last week. There you go. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> Someone else was this week as well. Yeah, Greg. My oh, shit. And Joe's birthday's tomorrow. Are you Are you serious? Nice. Are Greg, you serious, my Joe? Four, my birthday was four days ago, Greg. Hmm. Are you yeah, serious? It was, it your it was birthday my birthday more? when I was straight when I was streaming. Yes, Jason's right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's Jason's I make the best babies. Happy birthday, all. Happy birthday, everyone in planet Earth at the moment. <laughs> Happy birthday to all the July Very babies. Popular. Yep, all the July babies. All the July babies. Mm. So. I accidentally inhaled. There is a note from... on... There is a note on this that I'm. My little girl is one next Tuesday. Oh, congrats, man! Oh, that's awesome. Give you, yeah, give your little one a big hug from all us. God, it, it definitely reminds me of something. But there's a there's a couple of notes that I'm just finding hard to pick out. I'm like, I'm trying to identify them. It's like, what are you? What the hell are you? That's why I'd really love to come back and try this on another day. And then it just pop. Good day. In a different time of day. Richie and... said, Good day, Richie. France. Just said, I guess people get bored and Randy in the autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, that's what Kilko was saying yesterday. <laughs> that's exactly it. We're in the Southern Hemisphere and yeah, we, we're in Australia. We don't really have anything better to do. I, yeah, but we, we shag this time of the year, and then we have all the kids at the end of the <laughs> beginning of next year. 
Yeah. yeah. So this is our shagging time because it's winter. You guys, yes. it's the opposite. Yeah. This is our yeah. summer. Very yeah. true. Hmm. I have to think about that one. <laughs> Richie's birthday is the end of July. Oh, God. There's another one. <laughs> yeah, my little sister is 19 days <laughs> after mine, so she's the 24th of July. Yeah. Uh, well, one of my best mates mm. <laughs> in, the, uh, in the army and stuff. And yeah, he's yeah. end of July. Actually, in my brother in law, so he's end of July. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. There you go, Julie. You've got lots of birthday love. Oh, thank you, guys. It's okay. Don't stress. It's all good. Lots of love from Tom. Thanks. All right, so on the nose, I'm not actually getting much when I've added the water. Kind of, maybe my nose is completely cool. Uh -huh. Hang on, sorry. How much water did you add? Because you could have just killed it. No, it's sixty-two point five percent. Come on, you already let you added know, about six drops. I added well. It's a decent. There's about three mouthfuls there. I added about mm -hmm. six drops. Okay. I wanted to br bring it down. I actually want to try and bring it. It's, it's probably only sitting around. I don't know, forty-five, fifty. Mm. The amount of water added. Mm -hmm. I didn't add much. Probably like ring, I, want to it down. I want it to open up. I want to try and get to that spirit. Found some Glenn Scotch Victoriana for good price and I'm really enjoying it. Hell yeah, that's some good shit. That's some good shit right there. This is definitely not any Campbelltown. All right, there's a very, very subtle, like, bread dough super subtle it's almost no it's not even it's not bread though it's more like toast cereal pizza dough no it's not cereal it's doughy not cereal fruity grainy it's like dough okay okay just dough no 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 real subtle that's what i'm trying to pick something that it's it's like pasta it's like pasta it's more like that mm -hmm. fresh pasta mix pasta dough Pasta dough, Top yeah, dough. pasta dough. That's why, that's why I was saying pizza base because it's not not okay. grainy, mm -hmm. yeasty, that's okay. doughy. That's okay. More. We don't have yeah. to mix. Yeah. Cook the raw. Cook the raw. 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 Okay. Well, that's... Yeah, it's like pasta dough. Yep, I'd say pasta dough. Yeah, there's no grainy, yeasty kind of characteristic there at all. Has the Nashville been on lately, Ken? I haven't. I've been watching his channel, but uh, has he been coming on lately? The last month or so, because I've been out of action with work and all sorts of no. No, no, oh. no. He's taken. He's taken a, a sabbatical from because oh, having lots of work and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, he's been popping up on chats on on streams, oh. but he hasn't been doing any streaming or popping on oh, on streams. Yeah, I think because see, daylight saving is over, so um, it's been pretty hard to get on to onto your streams actually because it's so late for me in the southern states um usually i'm in bed at about 11 o'clock 12 o'clock so you don't really come online till about 10 30 or 11 in victoria which is yeah. probably what well, 8 30 9 o'clock your so, time yeah. yeah it makes it very difficult I, I even for australia i'm in the worst spot yeah the united states i'm in the worst spot it's just you probably get more stuff. more aussies in summer when daylight saving savings changes in the summer well, it's only states. one hour doesn't make bugger all difference yeah but at the moment it's two hours isn't it so it's a little bit yeah you know, yeah but it does make a difference yeah, but i start like, at 8 30 which is 10 30 11 30 depending on yeah that's what i'm saying if you start at 8 30 or five o'clock in the morning when you start at 8 30 it's like 10 30 for us where most of us start going to bed <laughs> like midweek or wherever. Yeah, if you're not nocturnal. Yeah. If you're not yeah. nocturnal. Well, I've got to get up at six in the morning for work, so I'm not going to be having a whiskey at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> but it's Friday night, so it's not too bad. I've been trying, after I uh, you were saying 
you know, finish your whiskey off in the year. I've been trying to finish what I've got off, um, left over, so I buy some more. Western Australia does yeah, not need right, right, representation in Cuffing. They're loud enough. Yep, we're definitely representing West Oz. Hell yeah. yeah. That's it. 60 Hertz is here and is in New Zealand when it's already 2.30 in the morning. Oh, oh yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like. Have you guys noticed the price of um, some of the whiskies jumping up by about $10, like the Lafroig? Minimum, and that's demand. Yeah, I was paying about ninety dollars about four yeah. months ago, and now it's gone up to nearly a hundred. Sorry, how many months ago? About four months ago, three or four months ago, Lafroig was about ninety. Well, we were we were due we were due for a, a, a typical Australian bend over the barrel and take it up yeah. the ass. Yeah, I'm going to say they haven't screwed us over in a while, so yeah. we get two 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 shaftings a year with the price. Yeah, again. I reckon they've jacked up the price again. I don't see God knows why, but anyway, um, it's all about revenue because they're it? greedy, yeah. money hungry. Yeah, like to hear us about it. that should be executed at dawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really getting much. It's kind of okay. So the water is taking more away, isn't it? Well, I'm trying to pick something up, and other than the pasta dough, I'm, I'm I'm getting that slight. There's a slight hint of a red wine finish, but other than that, I'm not getting any dark fruits. I'm not getting any berries. I'm not getting any um, yeah, citrus. Not getting, yeah. yeah, none of none of that. There's nothing. And what about the cinnamon on the nose? Has gone too, has it? No, that was only on an empty glass. Oh, okay. Pick your poison, Canada or Australia. Yep, exactly. It, just, it was just on the nose when you first smelled it, okay? Right now, they're all as bad as each other, mate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, America is also just as bad. They're just in denial about how shit they are. I'm happy to say, yeah, Australia, welcome to Australia. You're most likely going to die. <laughs> Maybe I'll start with single. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm heading towards. I don't know if it's a Starwood single barrel because they just put an add-in bottle, which was a Starwood red wine finish. Are we talking about star signs again? No, Starwood. Oh, no, 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 no! Look at the chat. It's an Aussie one, isn't it? What? Oh God. I'm like, what's happening? Are we are we suddenly back on the stupid astrology conversation we av avoided last time? Yeah, come on, astronomy. Only astronomy chat here. No astrology bullshit. We 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 talk in reality, not fantasy. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm nowhere near drunk enough to be involved in this chat because when I'm sober about this, I I get obnoxious because I think it's all a load of bull hockey. Of course it is. Like, I don't care who you are, if you think that the random position on our perspective on planet Earth of a bunch of stars that we <laughs> turned into a character of an animal or something in mythology influences you on your data, but yay, go ahead. It's like, congratulations, you were born when you were born. Nine months, roughly, give or take, from when your parents fucked. The stars have nothing to do with it, guys. <laughs> the universe has absolutely no fucking hell idea that you exist or care that okay. you exist. It is completely apathetic to human existence. Julie is and lovely, not as lovely as Ken. Oh my no god. Way. My god, that is so sweet. You have no idea yet. And that's okay. Julie's lovely. Not as lovely as Ken, though. Oh, I'm getting promoted again, am I? And that's because Ken's a, Ken's a pretty kitty. Meow. <laughs> Fucking meow. <laughs> no, okay. no banana. No. No, no <laughs> banana.
Are you still getting that buttery taste, Ken? No, it's not a taste, a mouthfeel. It's a feel. Oh, mouthfeel, mouthfeel. No? Yeah. Are you still getting no. that? That's gone. Well, I've only had one sip with the water, and it was kind of generic and bland. Mm. Had to throw a thing on there as the... Buttery <laughs> mouthfeel. <laughs> so, okay, finish an oak. Finish an oak. Has that remained? So it wouldn't be floating. My one. Oh. Slight red wine in the finish. Has that remained? Oh, give me a second. I'm just trying to... I was going to say it's live wine. Oh, hey, hey, I'm writing notes down. Give me a second. I yeah, know. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. But because oh, on that on that first palette of oh, with the water, I, I I pretty much got nothing. Yeah, it was no. just like generic, boring whiskey. It was um wasn't much interesting at all. I didn't really get anything. If this whiskey club mob are watching this, they're going to be thinking, what are we giving this guy some crap? Yeah, they're like, hang on a second, there's two whiskey club members here and they're useless. No, it's not that easy to pick a whiskey. I mean, um, and it may be one that is new, maybe a new a new batch that's never been released. Who knows? Something new. Hmm. Hasn't been released in the market, so. What have I missed? Why is my face been yellow? Yeah. What have I missed in the chat? Oh my goodness. I suggest it's not a terribly oily viscous whiskey since it doesn't hold up to water. Okay. Mm. Not, not oily. I mean, it's not, okay. it does. It, I disagree, Jim. I wouldn't say that it hasn't gone thin. I've added water, but it hasn't gone thin. But oh, the okay. palate is boring. I don't boring know. I've got I'm now drinking Italian. Boring well, we palate. Were about pasta dough, so <laughs> I'm going to write more notes here with my stickies. I'm just glad you're not calling a pasta mix, so it's okay. Boring no, non pasta dough. So pasta dough. We had. I, I was I was visualizing a very white dry type of pasta not i mean dough not that, not bread it wasn't yeasty grainy raw pasta oh, it's a, dry, a dry dough you're talking yeah. about something like a tagliatelle or are you yeah, still going one, are you still are you still going in the young direction kind of it's very does generic it still, what was that cliff sorry does do you still with the water added is it still got that young are you still going into the young direction it's not aged. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't have any sharp, obnoxious, young, young. ABV on a yep, prickly young. It doesn't have and any no, of that. And no I don't think it's been matured for very long. I don't think it's been matured very long. See, it's that's not interesting. Much. Okay. And then the pasta dough note makes me think of the Italian single malt that's out there. Nah, I wouldn't go that. I wouldn't go that far. So, what distilleries in Australia are very new? In the last year or so, year, year or two, that would uh, make a high ABV. Oh, there's that cinnamon. That's fucking. But that's uh, but that's only on the smell. Mm. On an empty glass. On an empty glass. Yeah. I really like that. That if that was in the palate, that would be amazing. So what would that be reminiscent of from anything you've drunk before on an empty glass? Something Aussie. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's almost, yeah, it's like a cinnamon, it's definitely a cinnamon spice, but it, it doesn't, it's not there for very long. It kind of evaporates. I mean, I've got a little bit of, Liquid. The hands of this club run very far across the world, my friend. Yeah. Yes, yes, Jim Morris, I am. Any questions? How big is the hands of this club are to get rear whiskey or non generic ones? Very. Oh my goodness. Big. Okay, hey, can, you know, the, can we quickly put the link you know the to the whiskey club on there and they can actually access the archive? 
description. It's in the description. It is. It's in the description. Guys, jump into the description. Yeah. So check, check it out. You'll be able to jump. This jump club on. was the first ones, the first ones in the world to get the Bushmill, the cause, Bushmills yes. Causeway. We were the first ones in the world to get that. Oh. We got the Glen Scotia Caribbean rum cask. We got the only allocation that was allocated. We got all of the allocation that was allocated to Australia of the Glen Morangi yes, Malaga cask finish. Um, we got a Glen Farkless Australian Whiskey Club exclusive. The Actually, the Glen Scotia Caribbean rum cask was a Australian Whiskey Club exclusive. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, we were the first ones to get the Glen Grant 15 year old. That was an exclusive. Yeah, yeah we, we get it's a big club and they they get master distillers. We got a personalized tour through Glen Fiddick. We get master distillers. Two. Oh, two of those. Yeah, we, we get master distillers, blenders, ambassadors, you know, all, all the people in, in. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a good club. It is. It is a good club. We, yeah, I was going to say we were the first in Australia and we are the largest worldwide with the with the most active members worldwide. Yep. Mm. And we only just got the, like, it's not a great whiskey, even though Julie loves Glen Fiddick, but we just got the Glen Fiddick 14 year old, which is an American only. Okay, okay. No, it's not that. It's not that. You just avoided that horribly. Yeah. Well, it's not that good. It's meh. Okay, no. So, so we were able to get our hands on the first one of the first releases that Glenn Fiddick had released for worldwide distribution of a once American only fourteen year yeah, exactly. bourbon cast finish. Okay, now yeah, we have since like before that we have had some of the best Glenn Fiddick have had to offer. Okay, so the fourteen year did not rise to the occasion that or the pedestal that some of us me <coughs> had put it on <laughs> it's still a nice whiskey it is quite lovely but it's okay so, but we, <laughs> uh, the whiskey club was one of the first in the worldwide rollout to get our hands on a once us exclusive we were the trial. We were the trial run for consumption, so they could also they also kind of use us to gauge roughly uh, future distribution. Yeah, I, I have to remember not to mix up because I'm part of two subscription clubs in Australia, so I'm trying to remember which bottles came from where. Yes, <laughs> I remember the ones with the got the whiskey the whiskey club exclusives are bloody good though. Yes, they yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys jump on the uh, jump down into the descriptions, you will be able to see. A link to the Whiskey Club. You can look into their archive. I think they call it a gallery. I'm not 100% sure. But you look into their archive, you'll be able to see their monthly release. And then on top of the monthly release, they also have their add ons. So anything that says. Oh, Richie, che cheers for the link. But if you're going to do that, if you're going to send me a dram, use the, the Stream Elements link. It's in the description where you can type tip, exclamation mark tip, and that will pop up with the the little um little pop up alert and you get a coin in the glass and you get your name up there so you get more for your for your bang for your buck as as they say <laughs> yep you just tip that's it cheers jim mm. Yes, for everyone that is still with us, um, there are some new, there are some changes that Ken has made, which uh, include these really, really kick-ass badges that exist now. Uh, we now are able to see, as you can see with the different layout at the top, you can see top donation, latest donation, latest subscribers. We would love, love, love to try and get it to 500. So please do not forget to like and subscribe. Where the self-help section was, she said if she told me it would defeat the purpose. Oh my God, you fucked this up. Yeah, there's 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 a dad joke thing now too. <laughs> right when Julie was doing her little spiel. <laughs> oh, but yeah, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Please, please share it because we would love to get to 500 subscribers tonight, if not by the end of the week. 
Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Sorry. Well, should I put my? Should I, I? I can put up a goal thing then. Let's do it. That's it. So like, what? subscribe, share on your social medias. Please just don't forget to share. Julie has a voice quite similar to Louise McGuane. I, re I remember when you had under hundred, Ken. Gee. Oh. I know, right? Really Back in the days, man. Things have really moved up. Well done. Hmm. Well, it's, it's it's been a long slug. I've been going for a year and a half, but yeah, yeah. we're getting there. It takes yeah. a while, though, mate, to get the subscribers going. Yeah, the um the tip oh, link thing in Australia. <laughs> the yeah. tip link has just been posted by the stream elements. Um, so if you do feel and it's also in the description below. If you do feel ever so inclined, yeah, please push that, and it will actually appear now on the screen, and you will get a huzzah. With with a cute little quokka holding a little love heart leaf. Yes, it's a little. Um, if you don't know what a quokka is, it's this beautiful, beautiful marsupial that will smile at you, and if threatened, they will take their babies out of their pouches, throw the baby at the predator, and run away. Yep. G'day, Frederick. Welcome to Australia. Yes, you can join in ten minutes. I'll be here for another it's hour or so. Oh my god, around. Kitty, stop it. Licking the button has a great mouthfeel to it. <laughs> it's probably better than the mouthfeel. Well, the mouthfeel is pretty good on this whiskey, but the palate's kind of boring. So I'm going to I'm gonna finish the rest of this sample in a minute. And I'm going to see if I can get anything else out of it. But, um, my initial thoughts, I was quite excited about this 62.5. That sounds cool. Uh, this favorite bits about the nose, I love on the empty... <laughs> this, this is not a really great... Um, Characteristic saying, Why am I frozen? Oh. This is not a really good characteristic when I'm about to say that my favorite nose on this is when it's an empty glass after you're drinking and you get the cinnamon nose. It doesn't sound good, does it? When it's empty, <laughs> no, <laughs> but I do like the vanilla custard on the nose on the initial nose, that was pretty good. And the finish, the finish is actually pretty good, it's a nice, light oak finish. I, I do like that, it hangs around I'm, quite a bit. I'm sorry, without the who, is, who is Richie Zane? Richie Z is a freaking legend. Don't you go dissing Richie Z. I'll have you. Richie Z is a legend. <laughs> have you not Z, seen Richie Z? Richie Z quite literally just typing exactly what I just said. Like He's allowed to. He Richie Z is like the god of whiskey YouTube. He's on every stream. He greets everybody. He will put links up. He, he he's a legend. Don't you be distant. And do guess you where to, do you need me to leave you alone Mike so you can have time with your boyfriend? Oi, no, I'm just giving props where props are due. Okay. <laughs> You're giving props to someone I've never heard yeah. of, and that's okay. I'm, I'm happy to explore that later. Okay, well, I'm, that's why I was, that's why I was yeah, educating you to the legend that is. You were incredibly it. forceful, so I'm like, do you need a minute? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's I'll, okay. I'll my head that's in. okay. I'm just I'm saying, do you need a minute? Like, I'll I'll give you a bit of privacy. Well, the Americans must be going, gee, you Australians are fucking very snarky and bitey. And I was like, yeah, this is normal. <laughs> you don't know, Ricky Kenny. Julie, you're embarrassing myself. I have zero embarrassment. None at all. <laughs> we don't get embarrassed. We just get drunk. No, it's just, it's not even that. You're embarrassing yourself. Why should I get embarrassed yeah. about, God forbid, I lack a little bit of knowledge that someone else has? Or I've never heard of someone, God forbid, someone else has. Zero embarrassment. Hey, Ken. Yeah. yeah. Ken, do you think your vape might affect, affect your taste? taste? You think you're vaping? No, I didn't. I wasn't vaping. I wasn't vaping during that until I went through the middle because I wasn't getting anything. Okay. So I was I had a vaping. But I'm so used to this vape. It's similar to me smelling my elbow. Oh, okay. I'm so. I don't. I, I hardly get any flavor or anything of this because I'm. I, I do it all the time. I'm so used to it. It's like someone else coffee or whatever, and they're so used to that. It's exactly the same as when you smell the elbow. I'm so desensitized to it. The only time I smell is if I took a vape breathed it out, walked out and came back, I would smell the vape in the air. And I go, oh, that yeah. smells nice. It's quite sweet and stuff. So what but type I always make sure using, using when I juice? do vape, when I do vape, if I'm going to nose a whiskey or taste a whiskey, I make sure I vape and then I let it, yeah. and make sure it's gone yeah. before I do it. So I'm not getting influenced. Because if I vape and take a sniff, I'm obviously going to smell sweetness that isn't there. Yeah, I was just wondering because yeah. um, I don't. No, I'm, I'm def that's something I'm aware of. I gave up smoking over what over twenty years ago, and uh, your taste with everything changes with food and drink. You just 
So I never really had that problem. I wasn't that much of a heavy smoker, but I've noticed that the vape does not influence anything I taste or smell. Oh, okay. Compared to compared to tobacco, tobacco coats quite yeah. strongly. This doesn't. Yeah. This 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 is gone. Once you breathe out, it's gone. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing lingering in the palate or on your clothes. No, that's or, good. Yeah. Yeah, smoking yeah, does so affect your palate. Big time. Oh, smoking definitely. Like if I'm having a cigar, I forget about trying to nose and taste a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just one. You want to pair it with a with a whiskey? That's a completely different thing. But yeah, trying to evaluate a whiskey, forget it. Unless you want to. It probably it. goes with when you're eating food too. If you're eating sweet stuff, you don't want to be drinking a whiskey and trying to do a, a review on a whiskey when oh, you're hot, eating spicy. some. Yeah, you're yeah. eating some licorice or something. It's not going to work out too good for you, is it? You know. No, exactly. Um, so what? What? So what else have you got, Ken? I've written down. What would you rate it overall? Your uh, last entry was cinnamon on empty. <laughs> that was your last. Seven and a half, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty low, isn't it? What is it similar to? Similar to some Australian whiskies like Starwood Novarish, maybe. It's not like I've had that in a very long time. It's been a long time since I've had that. I'm just okay, the Nova is incredibly accessible, so I highly doubt they'll go down that line. Yeah, no. Hey, that's only a 500 no, the, bottle, I'm, isn't I'm, it? I'm, no, no. What is it similar to, as in yeah. flavour and, and stuff like that? That's this only 500 mil, mil, isn't it? That's only 500 mil bottle. That's Have a guess what it is. It's whiskey of some sort. Um, no, it's not 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 yeah, not impressed, it's guys. No, it's fine. I honestly, I, I don't live my life based on what other people think of me and my lack of knowing one whiskey person uh, in the com in the this? community. I have yeah, a life. Really I don't live on YouTube people. all the time. I don't live on my phone learning and watching everyone's channels. Well, I'm big on with Julie. Some don't know that the world's most famous whiskey mm -hmm. reviewers and I don't blame them on Yeah, exactly. Nobody knows everybody. I'm a lot like, it's okay, mate. Thank you so very much for, for like defending that. I really appreciate it. But I don't need to know every single top whiskey youtube person and influencer i don't need to know that person i know there's um a, quite a few bourbon based channels i can't fucking stand them because i can't stand their personalities it's not that they don't know their stuff i just don't like the people so it's all good I well, it's like the whiskey we drink. It, it, everyone's people. individual, isn't it? Everyone, everyone's different to what they drink. Yeah, I will 100% go to Richie's channel after this, after we're done. Because, yes, I I have not heard of this person. And that's okay. I now get to spend the rest of my night. No, no Richie, Richie, doesn't, Richie doesn't have in a channel. He's just on everybody's stream. Oh, my God. Chat. You it's cannot amazing. be fucking serious yeah. that I don't know. Like, yeah. Guys, get your hands off I, I was just... Like, I, I was picking on you. I was just saying. Sorry, right, but in that case, get your, hands, get your hands off and grow up. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was meant to be doing something. I can't remember now. So you, you got you got up to your last something. comment was on cinnamon on empty glass. So I was going to put a gold thing. Let's, let's move on oh, with the review. We sort of get sidetracked here. Can I just make a side comment that I always like to watch uh, Scotch Down Under because I am Australian and the ABV of the whiskies that we buy are totally different off the shelf, different if you get them elsewhere, I guess. So it's good to get a review of stuff that I can buy off the shelf rather than American review, which is good also, but um, they've got a higher alcohol content on most of their stuff mm. on the shelf. So, okay, keep going, Ken. We're still waiting for a few more comments. Yeah, um, this is the last bit. I poured the rest of it. And I'm oh, going in. I go oh, add, are you going to go water color. or no water on the last bit? No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go native. The water didn't do anything for it. Yeah. Okay. So. I need to take a photo. They want a photo. So, Let's see if the, yeah, the raw dough thing comes through now with no water. I'm gonna suck it up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna suck it up, and I'm gonna take a little bit more out of the bottle because you got me really, really, really intrigued on how this is gonna age in another six months, like how this is yeah. gonna up. 
Yeah. I found the first quarter to be a little bit rugged, rough, and then after time it mellowed out. I love uh, the cork though. Like it's really yeah. it's good. So uh, look at it is something it's pretty aggressive nice. when it's new, when I first opened it. I won't deny that. But then it did mellow out a lot over time. Yeah. Um, so hopefully you get the same thing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, Greg. I'm first generation born in Australia. My mother was born in Sicily, and she was born out of wedlock, which in the '60s was not acceptable. So she was um, she was shipped to Australia, and she was adopted out of three weeks to a lovely, lovely World War II veteran couple who couldn't have kids. Oh my god, it smells so burny though. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it probably will. It is a little, I know, I'm not saying, I, look, the first month when I drank it, I just wouldn't yeah, keep, I'm, I'm I, I wouldn't drink, drink it. I want to, I want to yeah, get at least two more drinks out of it. So yeah, you barely, it. it's I'm barely like, open up to the oxygen. Let it, let it open up. Yeah, it, it, it look, I'm not, <laughs> it was rough, it was so rough when I first opened it and it's still going to be rough, I reckon. Uh, look, I can't it's deny that. It does. Yeah, yeah it'll get better. Is... Most whiskies do get better when you open them up longer. How much so, is it? it? Look, it's not my all-time favourite whiskey. That one. Hello. But, um, I won't be buying it. Oh, mate, look, if it came up for a good price, I'd buy it again. But I kind of would people be able to hear me or what? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we, we can hear you. I just asked the question, how much is it like four times? G'day, Frederick. How you going? G'day. Oh, G'day. Uh, I got mine for G'day. 49 I think. Yeah, that sounds what I got mine for. Yeah, Where did I get it from? I thought, I thought I got mine at Aldi from memory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Aldi. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Ken, Cheap I don't yeah. like it enough to keep the second bottle. Would you like the second bottle? No, thanks. I don't want you to see I've only heard of it. I've never had it, but I heard it was cheap and nasty, and I'm like, yeah, no thanks. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> buying it again, but hey, we'll mellow out and um, it, it'll get better. I might gift it to a non whiskey I'm, friend and like, I've got a, I can talk I've got a bottle of that. I've got a bottle here. I'm trying to, that Singleton one. I'd, I'd like to give that to my son, but I don't think he even wants it. <laughs> What whiskey are you talking about? Oh, uh, uh, I see. Um, what is that? Blended. A blended. It's trash. Okay. Um, it's trash. It's it a is a little bit. Okay. It'll get better. <laughs> well, well, cheers. It's, it's cheers. Cheers. Cheers, much. Cheers. It's Friday and it's really the like it. weekend. So, cheers. It is Friday. It is. Mm. Hey, all you munted, munted drunks. Munted, muted. Sorry. Hi, Dustin. Dustin. Hey, Martin, oh, yeah. Yeah. Drugs. <laughs> so for, G'day, Aaron. for everyone that has just entered, uh, as you can see, there is a different layout to the screens now because Ken has done some amazing tinkering, which is going to help the panel. Uh, please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button because if you can see above me, there is a latest subscriber that is and right in the little corner is our live subscriber account. It would be amazing if we can get Ken to 500 tonight at the latest on the weekend. So How many subscribers do you have? 493. 493. Yeah, so hit that like, subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. And if you would be so kind, please share this video, this, uh, this live stream to any friends who you think might be interested in the content. Hmm. Do you have like one uh, that's gonna call unsubscribed as well? It did unsubscribe. There was four ninety four about half an hour ago, and that's oh. I saw that, and yeah, I was a little pissed like, off yeah, when yeah. I saw it. That's normal. That's yeah. normal. Yeah. That's probably YouTube. Do you want to tell them about the tipping, Ken? Chief Miles O'Brien, Ken the Tinkerer. Well, is that Charlie? Tell them about the tippy tipping. What? Oh, the tip tip. Yeah. So what if you play? donate a tip to the channel. You'll get your name in okay. in the middle there and latest donations. You'll get a coin in, in the Glen Khan, which I made custom yesterday afternoon. 
Right. And you will get a pop up with the cute little quokka holding a little love heart leaf to say thank you. That's <laughs> and a big cheers for me. To, thank you. Yeah, to help support okay. the channel. Hmm. So, what are you guys drinking? Except uh, crap whiskey, apparently. Except trash. Um, trash. Yeah, pretty ordinary. Isn't it? I'm doing a lot blind on this okay. Australian whiskey club um, sample that they sent to review. I don't think I'll be buying it, to be honest. Okay. Oh, really? I've been, I've been drinking yeah. mm-hmm. tea Lim. Is it a small batch? Yes, it is, actually. It's I'm nice. Actually really, really like it, actually. I mean, yeah. compared to the one Julie was currently drinking, um, it's a lot better. Mm. I, I'm really impressed with this one. I was surprised. Um, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it a is. good starting whiskey. It's, it's uh, really good. Bad. Yeah, it's a good one. You're, just, you're sipping. The, you're sipping. Yeah, I'm sipping it. And um, <laughs> at the price, it's actually a good. Yeah, it is a nice Irish starting whiskey. It's got a nice buttery, slight honeycomb taste to about it. It's smooth. So mm. um, nice. Look, I don't think it's. I don't think yeah. it's bad. Mm. I'm actually leaning a lot to the Irish whiskeys. I do. Lo- I actually nice. do like mine. I like my Lefroy. There's no doubt about that. I love my Lefroy. Um, but um, really, over the last three months, I'm leaning more to a lot of the oh, Irish whiskey. Yeah, I'm going to have some of that after this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this okay. is what I'm drinking. Edward R. 12 is one of my favorite whiskers. Oh, good. 12 Highly years. recommended. Before I move them to trash. I've never seen any. Like, no one is trash. No one is trash. I'm thinking Solero. About a 50 year old. Wow, Glenfiddich. Nice. The only reason I moved on to trash, though, is because I've been told if I take a bit out of the bottle and then I just like abandon it in the back of like my vault for like maybe six months, it does improve a little bit. Mm. But to get to that. And, point, and then, I, yeah, I totally hear you, man. No pressure. I, I can't support my habits. So, yeah. <laughs> There's no pressure for anybody. <laughs> it's only if you want to. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got your puppy in your lap. Oh, puppy! I love the puppy. Hmm. Dealing small well, batch. Anyway, cheers. 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 Roll. Lancia. Cross. Cheers. Yep, Greg rec- highly recommends uh, I- Caledonia as well. And <laughs> Just, I also highly recommend the Caledonia nice, as well. <laughs> it's, it's rough. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, get, it'll get better. <laughs> that one. Huh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ow. Is it burning as it goes down? I inhaled. Green elements. Yeah, I know. I know. I had the same thing, I have to admit. And don't know what it is. It <laughs> oh needs to be matured a bit more. What did you do? Did you okay, shrug so it all down? Something that I like to do um, after I have an initial sip and the, the those base flavors are, are no longer on my palate, I breathe in through my mouth. And that was a mistake. Oh, my God. Oh, you don't want to do the retrohale thing. That's what you did, didn't you? Yes, I enjoy doing it. I actually, like, I seriously enjoy it. Sometimes I get the nicest burn and it feels you so do, frigging good. You do it with cigars? Do you retro hail the cigars? I have. It really depends on the cigar and the quality of the cigar. Yep. Yeah. It depends on the quality of the cigar. If it's wor- if the cigar is worth it and it deserves yeah. all of my attention, sure. Um, but yeah, so. Otherwise, meh. Uh, Ken, if you want to, we can do one of the samples. If you want to. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, and he dropped out. God damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so last time I was online, uh, I was going maybe two months ago or more, we were talking about, I actually bought it, was the 101, the wild turkey um, oh, suggested. Okay. I actually really liked it. I, I, I bought it twice. Um, there's another gentleman, the Mashville. He liked the he liked the wild turkey rye. I would be going more for the 101. 
and then I'd be going, if I had a choice, I'd definitely go for the Russells, that's for sure, and then the 101. But the Wild Turkey 101, it's actually not too bad. I thought that was a good, solid bourbon. Um, and I wouldn't 101 is a staple. It. Yeah, it's a nice staple bourbon. I would disregard any bourbon like Jack Daniels or the Jim Beam and all those generic type um, I would stick with the wild turkey and mate, the rye was not bad, but I would lean to the 101. Um, if I can get the Russells, which is kind of getting harder to get, and Dan Murphy, so I have to go out to no, no, go to celebration. Celebrations have, yeah, celebrations have it and um, yep. choice, choice liquor, I think. So I can get it there. So, rare breed, oh. yep, rare breed is another one. If, if you like the 101, grab the rare breed. I haven't tried that yet. That's been, we're talking Every about another month. another forty dollars plus. The rare breed, I would think, would be a nice drop too. Good day. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mike Saul. Yeah, so I've pretty much I've eliminated all the other bourbons yeah, in the sub. I don't know, the sub forty-five. Yes, and Jim's thing. right. Once you get once you get Jack JDs into the single barrel expressions, that's when you start getting good proper JD. Yeah. Hmm. Not your generic. But all those sour mash and all, I've eliminated all those out of my whiskey diet. Um, no, sour, sour mash is a style. Yeah, they're not a great fan of it. But um, anyway, that's up to the people who like it. I mean, it's not for me. Um, but yeah, Lafroy is high on my list. I love it. <laughs> hmm. Have to use your phone to type because oh, your doggy's taken over. <laughs> 10k's taken over. <laughs> um, and I still do like. I'll grab it because I still like. I bought this. I think I'm on my. I Have still, you tried um, Glen Scotia double cask? Uh, I don't know your name. It says Vintage Time. What is your oh, name? Sorry, but sorry, my name Cliff. is Cliff. 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 Okay, my name is Frederick. Hi, Frederick. How you tried um, Glen Scotia double cask? So this was one that um, some Scotch Down Under Cliff, gentlemen, Cliff. they reviewed Cliff, that, Cliff. and I'm still Cliff, a fan Cliff, of this Cliff, one. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff. So this is one Cliff. you guys reviewed. I still like that. Yes, yeah. Cliff. Yes. We, Frederick just asked you a question. Have you tried the double cast from Glen Scotia? No, I have not. No. I would highly recommend oh, you to try it. Yep. So this one. Oh, okay. I've got a review coming out. It's seventy oh, bucks. Oh, good. Oh, look that up. Okay, when when you've oh, yeah. done the review, uh, can yep. you get it, yes, Dan? Yes. Mur yes. Where can you get it at? Celebrations or Dan Murphy's or? Uh, or no. Both? Um, the one that starts with L, the liquor something or other. Oh, Liquorland. Liquorland, yeah. Yeah. Liquorland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Seventy bucks. Liquorland. Is it called Liquorland? Liquorland, Liquorland. is a cause affiliate. Liquorland. It sounds like a so, theme park or something like so that. So you really, yeah. so Fred, I know, right? Liquorland. You really let's like go to Liquorland. No, let's go to yeah. Liquorland. <laughs> let's go to Liquorland. Okay, ones. all grown ups, let's go to Liquorland. Oh, well, I'll look forward to that review. <laughs> yep. Yes, we get think... we do get double stuff Oreos here in Australia, and I think double stuff Oreos should be the only Oreos you can get. I think um, also last time I was online, there was a, um, gee, um, which one was it? Yeah. Oh, geez. Johnny, there was a Johnny Walker, some special edition you guys were um, it's talking a about. Celebratory blend. Yeah, couldn't, I couldn't get hold of that. They sold out everywhere. Oh, so. missed out. Yeah, I missed out. Celebrations, anyway. celebrations have it. I went there. Checking all had, the... Checking all know. the celebration stores around you. No, online. I did. I did. It. I went to oh, my the local store and then they checked out all the other surrounding stores and that. They all sold out. Nothing. That was a bummer. Yeah. Anyway, such is yeah, life. Yeah, I put Jim onto that and he likes it. I think a lot of people bought more than one at a time when that came out. I've got three. Well, I have two because I killed one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually talking about... Um, Actually, talking about Johnny Walker, the Johnny Walker Green, I really do like too. That's one of that's well, that was a recommendation of your. You can you, you guys recommend oh, yeah. that pretty. Got to I actually that. do. It's pretty good that one. So, Johnny Walker Green is my go, is my go to gift. It's a nice one. It, I like it too. 
Yeah, it's my go-to gift because you can almost always find Johnny Walker Green in a gift pack with glasses. Yeah, and it's a good if you one. want it, it is probably there's only really two Johnny Walkers that I will drink openly, like go out of my way to to drink if it's an option, and that is Green and Gold Reserve. Oh yeah. We, we own a couple of bottles, because, mainly because we have been gifted them. I have no idea how it has found its way into my goddamn vault, but I do have a bottle of red, and I am disgusted every time I look at it. We got, <laughs> we got gifted a blue label when my son was born. There is no point in its existence whatsoever. The bottle is literally just filled with the same quality that Gold Reserve is. There's just no point. They've just jacked the price up another $100. No. I just I like the the green label and I'll stick to that. Um, it's a really good night. Nice nice whiskey actually. Yeah. Surprisingly good. Yeah, you're right. There. All right. And you always know when you've got nice last, whiskey because you last will drink it. Last of this of the review. Yeah. Okay. It was a little peppery on the nose. Peppery. But nice. Okay. Great mouth. Great mouth feel. The palate is kind of but, bland and generic. So still same wine, mouth right? feel. Buttery on the mouth. Yeah, yep. great, okay. great mouth feel. It's nice and buttery. The palate on the on the just the palate Finish. as, as you put on your palate and before you swallow is kind of bland and generic, subtle red wine notes. Um, but there's no dark fruits or raspberries or any of that kind of cool wine kind of characteristics. Did it, did it retain it any of the raw dough pasta taste? With the no water, no, that was a nose. That was a nose with the water. Oh, nose, okay. it wasn't on the palate, right? Oh, not on the mm. palate, just on the nose. Um, it's got a great long, subtle oak finish, but other than that, sounds like to be honest, not, my review not, not impressed. It would be no, nah, depending on the price. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy it, to be honest. It's seven point. Five out of ten, I would say. And that's very low for you guys, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's it's kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, kind of There's not much there. But but saying that, I've only had a thirty mil little sample, so on one session with it. So and yeah, and it hasn't had much time to sort of open up either. It's a little bottle. Not it. Not much air got well, to look, it. How long have we been going? How long have we been going? An hour and a bit, an hour and a half, longer, two hours. Uptime. Yeah. Mm. Commands like uptime and viewers and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. It'll, it'll, the bot will tell me. The new better bot. Hmm. So I can. Two hours and 30 minutes. So, so that, it was 30 this, minutes to go in. So yeah. I've spent two hours with this 30 yeah, minutes. Does that mean when you get when you get this bottle in August? Um, I'm not getting. Oh, you're not getting. So I was just wondering whether it would you would get it now as a bit no. like the world, a bit like the World Record Club. You or you put in your, you become a member and they send you whatever they do each month, as long as you pay your membership and your fees and all that. So you're not well, going to get the it. Club, there is there is no membership fee. You automatically opted into each bottle. And yeah. it comes out like Julie said earlier. It comes out on you get an email on the first Friday of the month. Then you've got till midnight Sunday mm -hmm. to opt out of that bottle. Otherwise, it automatically gets debited out of you, and you get that bottle on yeah. the Monday. Yeah. Um, comes out, and then it gets shipped to you. They're between 130 and 150. Usually, they're pretty good bottles. Occasionally, they you know, I mean, everyone's individual tastes and palates are different. Actually, it's a little, it's a little less than that. Um, I, think the, I think the lowest you're going to pay for a bottle is 110, 115, because the lowest I've yeah, ever been yeah. charged total was 135, and that's $15 for shipping. Yeah, that sounds okay. Yeah. yeah. So there's I I haven't I haven't really regretted any of my purchases from them. Um, we do also get distilleries in Australia. Change your shirt. We do also get distilleries in Australia. Yeah. Um, that change your shirt. Yeah, go change your shirt. We do get distilleries uh, in Australia that will be working. Like they know we exist because we've been around for quite a few years. They will go out of their way to start making 
a blend that will in like they'll talk to the whiskey club for years and collaborate with them and they will organize a certain um amount that's allocate of this specific line that are going to be allocated um there's a distillery in tasmania that released a bottle called infinity last year uh no not last year the year before for christmas and they'd been working on this whiskey for a couple of years and it was a strictly whiskey club only whiskey oh, okay yeah so anything that is a it, it is released specifically for the whiskey club like if it is just a batch release for the whiskey club only the bottles will actually be like the labels will be branded with the whiskey club exclusive brand and in your email you'll actually it'll be made aware to you in the email that it is a whiskey club exclusive this one that is on our on the way to us for this month for the july one is a whiskey club exclusive so when they arrive like we can jump on and we can taste them and do all that sort of stuff and we'll actually be able to show you that on the uh, I'll, I'll just correct i'll correct i'll correct you there what that um are you talking about the tomato or the starwood the tomato hmm. That wasn't a that, is, that was no, it wasn't made for the whiskey club. No, no, that I know that one wasn't, but this that batch is a whiskey club exclusive one. That release is a whiskey club exclusive release for that specific run. What for the whiskey club? That was made for the whiskey club. So that that release is a whiskey club exclusive release for that specific run. So what do we got now, Simon? Okay, well that will have the whiskey club branding on it then. it's an actual exclusive one so it's a limited one oh. so what oh, okay. is in our bottles, some english mm-hmm. yeah so oh, what is in our bottles is not going to be the same as something like their other products oh no it's, it's definitely a, like it's a kind of rare one that vajo cast is, the tomato vajo is kind of rare you yeah. can't get that one too yeah, well, I know it is. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But our what we've got the ones we're getting mm-hmm. are, have been strictly allocated like that release has been strictly allocated for whiskey club members so if yeah. they didn't all go in the month subscription they will become uh add-on whatever add-ons. however many are left for that allocation for us are going to be add-ons later yeah. yeah so simon you need to go back and watch roy aquavite because the one of the bottles they had was a cocktails oh really yeah <laughs> Yep, but it was world whiskies, and it rated very highly. Must have been there. Yeah. Was strength one. Was there any McMara? Uh, I think McMara? there was no McMara. No. <laughs> they had they had Good they job. had uh, the um, African or uh, South African three Beans, ships. Beans of three, oh, three ships. The three ships one, and what else did I have? Um, an Indian John Paul, and then it was a decent twelve, and I'm giving it away. Everyone should go back and watch it. <laughs> it's okay. But there was a Cotswolds Odyssey. I think it was the Cotswolds Odyssey. Mm-hmm. If I remember. So, like, Ken, what samples we yeah, have? Yeah, that... so I can get. Yeah, let's do a sample. So we got the. The Long Road 21. Hmm. The Spring Bang 8 is the one I fell in love with. I'm, I'm yeah, I saw that. Yeah. The Ben Romack 8, 59.9 sherry cask, heat smoke. Hmm. That sounds awesome. The Inkston 9, 2008, 58.7. It's a Bordeaux red fish. Born to have a 90 slash 25. What does that mean? It's a Brookladish. It's a Brookladish. Is that a 25 year? Yeah, it's a 25 year. It's a travel retail. I can show the bubble. If you, you haven't tried it yet. It's a 25 year old Brookladdy. Yeah. Oh, really? It's just been shared cast material. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get the bubble. Yes, wait. <laughs> I reckon you smash it on the table to celebrate, Ken. <laughs> I'll smash you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you out, Dan? Cheers, mate. 
Yeah, don't smile too much for the replay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go and watch it. It's, it's interesting what everyone rated and what everyone thought was their favourite. Yeah, because when I read this, because it says 90 slash 25, I was like, is that the 25-year-old Brooklady? No, it says that on the bottle. You've said 10 can here. 90 slash 25. Yeah. 90. Or 90. I love that. 90 slash so. 25. Yeah, this is the color. Oh, uh, me and Emma actually did a Shit. review on it. Is that natural color? Tasting. It's natural color. Mm. Really? It was uh, only man. made six thousand bottles of this for retail. It's all gone now. So how did you find that one, Frederick? Oh, my parents tried it in the border shop, of course. <laughs> so they bought a shit ton of it just because of it, because they really liked it. <laughs> so they bought one bottle to me. Tell oh yes. Me. I oh, did. I, I knew there was one, but I was, I was stopping myself because I didn't want to keep talking yeah. about it and ruining it for everybody. Yeah. It's okay. It's good. You got a nice necklace, a little metal necklace and all that. You know, just to make it feel more prestige and more better, I guess. More prestige. Well, I can smell this already. Yeah. So it's a maturation of two different casks, I think, or, or uh, they have been doing. So there is some bourbon in it. But the most of it is uh, Sherry Cask or Pedro Eximines, or what's called Eximines, or whatever you pronounce it. Oh, my name is PX. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice color. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice. They also did a 27 year old one, but that one was just a red wine cask matured as well. Yeah. So. I think that one, this one cost around 190 euros when it came out. Mm. So it's actually quite cheap for what it is. So, yeah. Uh, Mike? Grab this. Definitely. Have you got your sample yet, Simon? Uh, which I haven't sent it yet, no. The, oh, you haven't sent it yet. Oh, you're probably not going to send him, right? You're going to drink it. <laughs> No, um, I'm gonna send it. I haven't opened it. I've yeah, still got half of okay. my one. Yeah. No, I think I might have to do a road trip up to Ken's. Yeah, because he's talking about we're gonna do a road trip. Because when Julie comes up as well, we'll both of them will come mm -hmm. up and we'll hang out and get drunk, and we'll go up, go up to Calberry and camp. Yeah, and... exactly. Fishing in Calberry yep. is apparently ex excellent. Nice. Yep. So, what are you drinking? We'll have to bring, you'll really? we'll have to bring your boy because my two will be with me. Yeah, no, the boy will come. We'll go camping. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, go, got to make a thing. Hmm. What well, even if we don't go camping, we'll just no, no camping. Even, we'll, 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 even if we just go out for one night, it's like you know. Even if one night, yeah. But I'm thinking we we should stay like try and stay one night, even if we camp one night in Calberry, support Calberry after the cyclone and all that. Yeah, exactly. Mm. That's yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's just it. Everyone's like, oh, you know, what are you doing to support your local communities that have suffered from natural disasters? I'm like, mate, you should see how locally I fucking shop. Yeah. Like, I make a point <laughs> of I find something I want. Okay, cool. Then I do everything I can to see if I can find it locally made. Good choice, Ken. Ooh. Yep. That's the that's the one to get, Mike. Yeah. And then you can grab its sister, the Belgian, <laughs> which is the Peter. Make sure you. Say it. Yeah. I mean, he didn't mean anything. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> She's... Yeah. Are you blushing? <laughs> I was being nice and just making it very quick, please! <laughs> can I type that in chat? Oh, shit. Oh, by the way, can someone type um, exclamation point shirt? Because Simon had to change his shirt. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get comfortable again. Because I got up. Right. Hmm. Simon looks in, Simon's looking very summery for winter. Can, yeah, thank you, Jim. Because Simon's a lizard and he doesn't feel weather like yeah. normal people. He's got a looking very Hawaiian. Looks Hawaiian to me on my um, on my feed. 
I feel pretty Hawaiian. Um, Cliff? Yeah, Hawaiian. I've got some Hawaiian shirts that would make you vomit. <laughs> I've, got some, I've got some real classics. <laughs> well, they're the best ones. Yeah, they're, they're well, great. Mm -hmm. How is the smell? How is the nose, Kim? Oh, I like the smell. So we've Got moved on to another whiskey. So, Ken, oh, I was away for a little bit. Bloody. I was away putting wood in the fire, Ken. Um, so what was your what was your final analysis on this whiskey, what you think it may be? My final round off yeah. my notes, I put 7.5, meh, maybe Australian. Meh. That's it. Meh. Maybe, maybe Aussie, okay. Are you going to do a follow-up on this later on when you find out what it is? Well, I'll just know what it is and I'll go, yeah, I, I don't like that. <laughs> no, but, like, just to let people know. Uh, well, it'll be interesting. To, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put, I'll put, I'll talk about what it is, wanted to find so, out what it is. Um, I'm thinking it's a young Australian. That's what it no, comes across. Young, as. young, yeah. A young old. Really, really, really interesting to see what hints they put up in um you think, in you a week could, or so. Oh, well, I'd be interested to see what other people review it. Yeah. Do you think it could be do you think it could be Starwood? No, we kind of ruled that out. No. Okay. Ruled that out. It's I, I couldn't pick it. I'm not that au fait with Australian like Simon would have a better idea with Australian whiskies. I'm too yeah. biased Which with lime burners and and a few Starwood finishes. I haven't tried enough Australian whiskey. Oh, gee, I hope it's not Lark. What's wrong with Lark? I have no yeah. idea. Well, well, I'm saying no I hope it's not Lark because they have such a great reputation. Repu I was going to say, I beg your pardon, sir. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, but cheers. But saying that, I mean... <laughs> no, but... Yeah, yeah, sorry, well, sorry, Fred. Cheers, Fred. Ken no, has been thanks, so I've, only, I've only had a 30 mil sample. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah. But it's been pretty somber sort of review. Like it's nothing out of the like seven point five. But I could good. be off. I mean, my palate, my nose could so, be completely screwed. Yeah, it could be. But would uh, if it was something like Lark, it would not be looking. So did you find out but what that was? Ten. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know. Hmm. Hmm. Let's hope it's not Lark, mm. I should say. Mm. <laughs> mm. Do you need a minute? Mm -hmm. Hands over the table, please. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Hands. please. Oh, my God. That's how we can see them. <laughs> oh, that is good. Yeah, no. The first thing I got was tobacco, like fresh. Yeah. Tobacco? Fresh pipe tobacco, just mm. generic pipe tobacco, but then beautiful leather note on it it yeah. it's like the the mahogany and leather and and you know mahogany wood and leather bound books mm. kind of thing it mm. this comes across in this so it's like you're sitting in in an awesome reading room library room with a fucking beautiful big leather recliner with mahogany and fucking leather bound books no, making a fresh with a fresh can of fucking good pipe tobacco. Yeah, Ken, wow. I agree with Jim. Yeah, it's good. Ken, I agree yeah. with Jim. Hands above the table. There, there is a lady present. Simon, cover your eyes, darling. I don't want you to get offended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Just don't fired. get me started. <laughs> <laughs> think of the quarkers. It. Yeah, that's. I didn't say it. Yeah, think of the quarkers. Yeah. Jim did. Jim did. Oh, thank you so much, Frederick. No worries. I mean, Jim I'm glad that you did like the Springbank eight-year-old one. That one is. Oh yeah, that that is good. Yeah. That that yeah, I really did like that. And this, <clears throat> this is. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Some unique stuff. I mean, I'm just still surprised it actually got through all the way to Australia. And, and how is the uh, mouth feel on it? Like seriously, like good. not joking. Not, no, it is. It uh, it is, is pretty it, damn good. And it's forty eight point one. Is it oily or? Um, it's not super oily. It's not super thick. It's just like the perfect viscosity. Mm. I'm gonna go in for another. 
not a bit. It's some heat to it, some heat and dryness to it. Yeah, the, like, it's, the heat I was getting was almost um, slight white pepper, but like dark yeah. fruit as well. Yeah, it's like uh, raisins and sultanas. The plums, slightly, yeah, yeah, plums with a slight little bit of white pepper. Mm. Very slight like task. Like, mm. No, no, it's forty-eight. Yeah. It's twenty-five. So years, it's twenty-five yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. Julie, you have a dirty mind. What are you doing? Best sample yet. About a head tonight. Yes. What do you do anything? I oh, know. As soon as I asked Ken what the mouth feel was on that whiskey, you. Oh no 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 no! That had nothing to do with you. <sighs> oh, good. Was good. So I was going to say. I spilled my bourbon, and it oh, had nothing no. to do with you. No, I was going to say. Did you spill the bourbon? Don't get me wrong. Hang on. Don't get me wrong. Yes. Yes, I did think that. But no, that is not what you did. <laughs> you, you did think it. Hi, Mike. You did. Oh, yeah. Richie C. Fan Club. It was an innocent Hey, question. Mike. <laughs> Richie C. Fan Club. <laughs> Can I join that fan club? How much is the membership? <laughs> I don't want to I mean, talk it's the biggest you. fan club on the YouTubes, but whatever. No, I don't want to talk but to you. I don't want to talk to you. We're not friends today. It, it, it's because... Did you hear that, Mark? She doesn't want to talk to you. She's not No, no, here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Richie Z, Richie Z has never been on any stream ever. Mm. And on Live Wide Whiskey, when Mike wasn't there, guess who turned up? Yeah. But it wasn't yeah, live. I, I remember a little bit of it. It wasn't live though. It was in the background, mm. but still, yeah. it was on post. Yeah. Like why? Yeah. When Mike wasn't yeah. there. Yeah, I got the picture. He and I have chatted on Instagram before. No, I actually stuff. did see him for a few seconds. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So the mount going back to the mouthfeel without any yeah. endowendos, it is a good honey style mouthfeel. It's like a, a good medium honey. Did you get that, Julie? It's a good medium honey. <laughs> so it's a good medium honey. 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 So it's not like yeah. a super yeah. cold, like an Aussie red gum <laughs> honey that's like super thick and sugary. It's not like that. <laughs> it's almost like your, your generic <sighs> shop bought honey. It's okay. I'm, watch, I'm just watching the, the comments now to see who picked up on what Sneaky said in them. Oh. Yeah, what did you say? No, I'm not repeating it. I want to wait and see if anyone actually heard me. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. No, if no one, if in five minutes, if no one has said anything in five minutes, I will tell you what I said. All right. Hey, Ken, I'm going to get on my PC instead of this Mac. What so you don't have to keep dealing with the shit. Big honey. Thick oh, right. <laughs> yeah. there we go. I'll be right back. I can hit the button. All right, mate. All right. Stupid yeah. Mac. <laughs> well, I'm going to finish off the night on, because oh, I've got to go to bed soon. You guys can stay up mm. forever. Mm -hmm. Old reliable. I can't. I have to get up early in the morning. So old reliable, <laughs> Glenn Fiddick. Good old bog standard, lovely yeah. Granny Smith. Yeah. Why am I still, oh, exactly. Why am I still thinking this shit? Oh my god, it's so bad. Well, let it wait another well, six months, and it'll be a lot better. You couldn't even you give gotta, it away. You got to, you got to drink it a little. You got to drink a little bit more for it to oh. enrich itself. What are you complaining about? I've got one over here that I just can't even give to my son. He won't even take that to you with him. Yeah, but well, I'm I'm that. Give me let, me, let me bring yeah, it out. Of, let, let me bring it out. Of Is the that the Glenn? Oh, actually, Glenn sorry, Glenn. Julie. I might, I might, I might go back on my word and actually get that because I want to put it in my cask, the and mind then mind. I can give you a sample back. Yeah, I'll yeah, give you a whole bottle half a bottle back. This, this, back. this is. This is, in my opinion, the worst whiskey I've ever bought. This Singleton. I was going to oh, say, no, yep. Singleton. I love that. That is oh, so nice. Geez. I've literally, no, I've, I've done what Ken says, and it actually makes it a lot better. Add a little bit of Ardeng to it just to make yeah, it more it. palatable. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I've got, got a, um, that's a, a shirt. That's a sh the one oh. I have is the Glen Ord. Yeah, which is I'm sure there's better ones. There's better ones than mm. this. This is the um, that's the duff down, isn't it? Yeah, no, duff and down. delicious. Yeah. Oh, it, it's shocking, it's rotten. Yeah. Anyway, well, um, there's the singleton from duff down, there's the singleton from Glen Ord, and there's mate, another one. Gonna give it away soon. I mean, I can't, can't bear it any longer. Maybe if I let it sit for another 10 years, it might 
do something. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's like, no idea. I reckon um, you just, just a... you just have it on a hot summer day with Cliff? Coke mm. and ice, Cliff. You, you need to get yourself a barrel. Get one of these little five little barrels. <laughs> yeah. Stick something in it, and then you can yeah. just mix it, and it'll actually taste. I think it. I might add this with the Highland Black yeah. from Audi yeah. in a barrel. And just have an infinity barry, I'm, barrel. I'm I don't know. This. this is my second barrel. Okay. This is really what is it? Nice. Which one? This is the Malt Masters. Oh, really? Oh, really? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is my first bottle I bought nearly nine, ten months ago, oh, and yeah. it, I've, I yeah. added Ardbeg to it. It was up to about here, and I had oh. little bits of Ardbeg to oh. it, and uh, I just can't bear it any longer. Because you added Ardbeg nice. to it, you idiot. Yeah. You no, bunch hey, of animals, had, how can you drink that? I had to make it a bit palatable. <laughs> well, no, I like it. I really like it. I might add it to coffee or something. Just just to... Mm. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, it, it's, it, it's interesting. It's interesting with that singleton because a lot of people do like it. What happened, Ken? Is Ken okay? I just had a moment. <laughs> oh, with the whiskey? Oh. So no one was reacting. I, was, I, was, I had a sip of this cream. 25. I had, yeah, I had a 25 a sip of this oh, 25 yeah. roll. I bet that's a lot no, better, Simon. Better. I can oh. guarantee you. Definitely is. Uh, yeah. I've been, I, every time I see that, I, I eye it off and then I talk myself out of it. <laughs> it it's, it's just a lack mm. of taste. It's got nothing to it, I think. It's just lacking. It's a really, really nice everyday drink. Mm. Like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Airport yep. <laughs> whiskey. Mm. The signal yeah. of, of, you just, of, you just want to have a whiskey. If you just it, want to have a whiskey it, and not sit there and have to, to pick it apart, it's perfect for that. It's like if you went to a pub and they said, what would you like, Singleton, Malt Masters, Mellow and Delicious, or Johnny Walker Red? I think I'd go for Johnny Walker Red. Ooh, it's really? really? Oh, my God. God. oh, my God. It's not very nice. It's not no, nice No, no, no. I'd grab both and blend them together. Mm. Exactly. At least I have fun exactly. to work out which which ratio goes best. Oh yeah. my god! Uh, Julie's like fuck. I, I I Julie, you can drink it. It's okay. <laughs> drink it. Seriously, I'll keep it. Just drink I'll it. Yeah. And just you... to prove it, I think you have to bottle chug it to him. <laughs> I think in general, Johnny Walker. Is not very good. You know, you know, uh, you know not the difference of me chugging Johnny Walker is good if you get the Cranberry blend or the green label. Get green. Actually, hmm. there you go, Mike. It's so sweet. You want another scotch? Grab the green uh, label. Seriously. Yeah. Can't worry, say no more about the whiskey. They have it. Yeah, grab it. It's Kalila Cragamore, Klein Leash. I mean, not Klein. Yeah, Klein Leash and um, Talisca. What was that? Sorry, I was just wondering what were you saying before about the sixty Rufa? bucks for Johnny Walker Green. You were saying something. You had a moment. Just interesting. That's a nice, nice. I did have a moment. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, I saw that because you just faded away. We just heard your sound. Yeah. So. We heard some weird. Yeah, exactly. Noise. I was yeah. I was trying to play on on the thing yeah. because no one commented when the camera went, so I just made that noise. Okay, <laughs> um, like, What's wrong with Ken? Can like, someone can someone, like, can someone in the comments please break down the Wild Turkey One Hundred and One for me, please? Oh, go and watch him? my review on it. I just did a review on it. I've had it before and I fucking hated it. And I'm really? trying to get uh -oh. it now. Oh. What? Were you angry oh, because of the sale, Tom? The problem, oh, I really the problem is we didn't really bottle rock. chug it, Julie. That's how you can enjoy it. I'll show you. If you do a live and you are naked, but I don't have to see it, I need someone else to fucking validate that shit for me. I will bottle chug something. <laughs> Mark, I sure oh, it Mark, Mark will validate it for me. Nice whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that if I did the show naked, you wouldn't need a big <laughs> bottle chug to make it grow up. You can secure. You don't have anything because you won't. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. the thing oh, by the way, Julie, did you see Mike's new uh, name? He's no longer known as Mike. Yeah, I noticed that earlier. 
That is creepy, Mike. It's adorable. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you can take a drive again, Mr. Whippy Van, with that. <laughs> I had to try Someone to make it weird. Yes. Somebody needs to kick yeah, him off. Yeah, you did, eh? No. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. You need to go in the naughty corner. Yes. I have been naughty, I admit. So I might, if you keep this up, Simon, I might even have to make a counter for when we kick Simon out. It would be the Simon naughty corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is fair. Oh, the Simon has been sent meter. 53 times to the Simon Naughty Corner. <laughs> What's that counter? It's in a um, it's in a South Park episode. It's the amount of it's the counter of how many times like Cartman gets owned or something. There was an episode of South Park and there was a counter and it was like every time one of the one of the characters like got owned or whatever, got their asses like verbally kicked or something. And I was like, it should be something like that. Every time Simon gets put back in his fucking place and sent to the kennel, <laughs> he gets a mark. I <laughs> wish I had a kennel. I'm not good enough for a kennel. My mommy took it away because I was being shit. <laughs> that is all right. To the na naughty kennel. I so much as then we're to my... Uh, then we are 38 visual working. occurrences of the word oh, shit hits the fan words shit hits the fan my it's a fan what i was just googling <laughs> to try to see if it would say that yeah oh yes oh that's what it was no hang on that's what it was it was um the episode when they were allowed to swear for the very first time on live television like on on the television program and every time they swore there was a counter for us as an audience to watch. There was a counter. And when that for counter- the times they said shit. Yeah, it was times they said shit. There was a counter. When it reached a certain point, apparently a portal to hell opened up and then Satan and all his- <laughs> Yeah. So South Park <laughs> used to be a customer of mine, by the way. And so <laughs> was- uh, So was the, the company that makes The Simpsons. And it was it's so Fox. completely different how they do work. Mm. This was when I worked in SoCal and it was like, they literally make an episode of South Park over like a 36 hour period. Yeah. Like oh. once. Yep. Oh, was that right? a movie? Was it? What's that? 60 Hertz. Was that a movie? Oh. <laughs> no. I don't know. That's just what they thought. I don't talking know. About this. All I know is the Imagination Land song. It's in my head like every fucking day. <laughs> Well, talking oh, about everyone, everyone, yeah. get on your knees and praise to the almighty chair and Cheech, the emperor who sits upon it. Are we worthy, Cheech? Are we worthy? I am not getting on my knees for anybody tonight. That <laughs> oh, no. was okay. Yeah. I didn't know it was that kind of party. <laughs> Cheech, did you go to sleep last night? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Just sitting there. <laughs> What's that, Mike? Did you go to sleep last night? Uh, yeah, for a little bit. I was up with Ludwig till four at past four a.m. Oh, you guys You're are bad We were up till four a.m. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's not untypical for me, but uh, I hadn't talked to Chris in a while, so we ended up like hanging out, just me and him, like on a back. Uh, Backstage stream for like oh, two and a half hours after everybody else went to bed. Yeah, he had a good stream last night. I thought that was pretty. Yeah, it was one of his best. I watched the whole thing. It was rare. I usually don't. I, I can have a little bit more because it's not fully halfway. Mm. There you go. Not even. No. It's good. <laughs> no, no, sugar king. No, not even for Chad meaty mouthfeel. I prefer seafood. <laughs> Chad, meaty mouth. I'll go off in the corner. What is? <laughs> you go at your corner. Yeah. I'll add another, <laughs> another counter. That's Simon one. naughty corner Child counter. Uh, What's the proof on that, Brooke Lottie? Jim Morris. Brooke Lottie. The Who's ten. There? Port. Oh, okay. Port Charlotte. That 10. was that oh, is Greg, yeah. 50, there 50 is, There's no limit, 50. mate. We can keep going until the computer. Burst into flames, so yeah. Come on in. Oh, Greg, there's room for much more than that. You should have seen how many people he had on his stream when he did the 24 and 48 hour streams. 13 people, I think it was. I think at one point, yeah. 
It was, pretty much. We need a Simon roll-off counter. Yes, that's exactly what it is. We need a roll-off counter for every time Simon gets sent to the box. Okay. Oh, 100 proof. Hmm. Hmm. There we go, Cheech. Oh, HBR's in the stream. Damn. That's because he's... Happening, Chris? Oh, actually, his premiere just went up. Yeah, you missed it. I did oh, see that. about it. Yeah. God damn it. I missed it. Yeah. How did it go? <laughs> it's good. First content videos are always a little rough. I've made a couple and never uploaded yeah. them, so... Mm. You know, not for you, not with that face and that every, voice. Every, everybody looks back at their first content and goes, what the hell was I thinking? But, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even put mine up. I was like, oh, that's pretty rough. Just, I wouldn't say he missed it. I did miss it. I was actually going to do a watch party because I was going to set it at 11 o'clock. We were going to put it up here and we we're going to do a watch party. And I completely... You can always watch it now. It's so that I'll have to go back and watch world. it. Hmm. Yeah, we can go watch it now. You know, I was thinking about that. We were talking about limitations of how many people you could have on a stream. If you could get somebody else to launch another stream with a bunch of people on it and offload some of the CPU process to their computers and then just have them do a share screen of their whatever nine people. I don't know. It could get exponential. Of course, everybody would have like tiny little, you know, faces and tiny little boxes. It'd be funny to see how many yeah, you could actually. Well, that's basically what I've done because my laptop is not actually doing the streaming. My desktop's actually doing the streaming. So I'm pulling the feed that you guys are actually seeing that's going out to the stream. I'm pulling that back in and sending it back out. Mm -hmm. I've taken the load off off the laptop, so my desktop's the one that's actually doing the stream. Oh shit! I said that was. Uh, I don't think I meant that it was your first content video, HBR. I was maybe <laughs> misspoke. Yeah. Wow, Cheech. That was cool. Oh, Cheech. Sorry, yeah. That was, I, uh, yeah. Hot buttery yeah, rolls. That'd be great. That was your was first really video, cool, Cheech. All right, I quit. I'm gonna go home. Wait, I am home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lime wire whiskey. That looks like Mike Stoltz here. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? Actually, you didn't yeah, notice. That's right. We got whiskey yeah. uncle. I dropped your link. Scotch yeah. and under. That's all right. We're already well, losing the subs like kind of crazy. We normally have Scotch down under when it is the Scotch down under my <laughs> sub strength. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, <laughs> four channels here. We've got Cheat. We've got Mike. We have Frederick, and you can. Well, everybody here on screen has got a channel. Not yeah, me. and Greg also on the chat also has a channel. Yep, Greg's got a channel. Please check them out. HBR's channel, obviously. <laughs> Julie has, actually. Yeah, yeah. Julie's got a channel. Yes. There you go. Oh, so everyone's got a channel. Oh, H is onto it. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself. I was doing it in private chat last night. I was dropping links <laughs> over hanging out. <laughs> 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 He's like, oh, was, I don't have to do that right now. It was just me and Chris Ludig, and I'm dropping links in the private chat while we're hanging out. <laughs> I'm addicted. I have to do it. <laughs> I can't help myself. My Simon, something to do. Simon has a channel on being a supermodel. Look at that he pose does. right there. Because hmm. he, yeah. and, and he changed his shirt and then shows them off. And then, yeah. Hey, hey, I just uh, dropped a link for a channel nobody follows. Greg, yeah, well, Greg just that? said I, um, I OBS that. doesn't work that. for him. Madeira Diaries. Yeah. A link machine. Indian Scott. I was saying last night, I was saying last night with my um, bot commands, I could set up all all every, all every of our channels with a shortcut, like you could say HBR for Hot Body Rolls, and you just go estimation mark HBR, boom, <laughs> oh, it just pops up the link and the social media and all that stuff. So I'm thinking of actually setting that up. So when people pop in, you just go. Oh, no, no, don't do that. It's, no, it's okay. It's <laughs> yeah, okay. come on. <laughs> Wait, I actually put oh. like more than one video up, please. Hmm? I need um, to. Uh, there's no, there's no point in following. There's really no point in following it right now. Just, okay. <laughs> you really so want to follow her on follow Julie's channel? Everybody follow. Everybody. All right now, Chris has got HBR. HBR is now mod. Oh, that's good. Is he going to jump on or is he working? Hmm. I don't know. Is he working? He's basking in the glory of his uh, premiere video. Today I can be on because it's my birthday weekend. Wow. Ooh, really? I'm just stretching it out. Technically, it's like three weeks away, but no. I'm just oh, kidding. really? <laughs> Dude, I, have I, have I have 
more warrant to claim this week than you do then. Maybe. Mine's not till Monday. It was my birthday. Oh, yeah, I've just, I've just reloaded the overlay so you'll see. Oh, all the yeah, because you, get, you went all of next week. Look at that cool little animation. You can't do after your birthday. It's got to be the lead up to your birthday. And yeah, then it's like Christmas, always. like right after Christmas. No, it's, it's not. Your birthday, over. Week, your birthday week is the seven days that encompasses your birthday. So it's either the few days beforehand or it's from your birthday. And that entire week, if your birthday is on a Monday, you have that whole week as your birthday week. Yeah, I, I can't claim today because my little niece was just born. I'm going to have to disagree so. with that. What's that to say? Mm -hmm. like, what was that? Sorry, Cheech? I said I got to disagree with you. It's always leading up to your birthday. Your birthday is the blowout. Everything else is leading up to the blowout. Yeah, I agree That's with you. My gender is the most selfish gender. Okay. Oh I yeah, agree. yeah. My wife gets. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Trust me when I tell yeah. you, it is. No, it's a here. Week, <laughs> that whole week is in our week. In our birthday is in the middle of the week. We get the before. The, we get the beginning of the week and the end of the week. Like, well, since um, I was just going to say, since do Mike break. is having his birthday week, um, I think we all raise a glass. Yeah, I'll make it that happy, 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 happiest ninetieth birthday, Mike. <laughs> Wait, which link was? I want to raise a glass to everybody who's having been <laughs> having birthdays last week, this week, and next week. I'm sorry, so everybody you know. has been having and about to have birthdays. Happy Thank bloody you. birthday. Salute. But is, is no one going to mention the fact that Simon just called called him 90? <laughs> I said 19. <laughs> Sorry, it was 19, not 90. Oh, fuck off. You said 90, bro. I heard you. Yeah, you did say 90. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking yeah. I'm growing you sound like 90 to me. Uh-oh. Can someone please like snap Simon? <laughs> Why did work block your YouTube Simon channel, now. Julie? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, someone's talking to me. What's happening? For some th for some reason, my company blocked your uh, so, YouTube channel. Let's see, can you do it like this? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did you put on there, Julie? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? That was the wrong say. That was the wrong say, Simon. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Frederick just raised his hand. Someone in like, chat. Someone in the yeah. chat. Do it. No, right, I I'll slapped slap. Simon, but it, it, apparently you did. Oh, yeah, I want to slap Simon. Do it again. There is a slap command. Okay. Hey, thanks, Jim Morris. Simon. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna slap Simon. Yeah, you need to jump no. on there, Chris. Just said Sugar Kitty slapped Simon with an empty <sighs> bottle. Oh, empty bottle. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> what did I do? No, I to Some of that. us are drinking the hard stuff. Mm. HBR. The coffee. Mm. I saw Simon just hide the yawn. Me? He did, didn't he? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. He just has that look. Right, I'm going in for my last slip of this delicious Brook Lady 25 year old. Thank you to the legend. Brook Lady 25. Oh, it's good for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Cheech, what were you saying? What, what just happened? tell me if you want to do another sample. We can do that as well. Could I do? What were, mm -hmm. you, what were you saying mm -hmm. from my channel? Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything about your channel. Yeah. I'm so confused. Oh, Mike yeah. said that it was blocked at work. But, uh, mm. That's because it had adult content on it. Yeah, I was mm. talking about adult content. Yeah. That's, yeah, not, Julie. that's not so my I'm YouTube. getting on my other computer to yeah. subscribe now. That's, yeah, Julie. Not my, that's not my YouTube. Julie, oh, if you heard what fans. Chief said about your channel, you would be angry. <sighs> I would probably promote it if I had the link. I'd be that is good. 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 Chat tonight. Thank you. It's amazing. You want to do another one? Portable, most Can of the brook body is. Yep. What are you thinking? What do you want to do? Which one? Yes. Well, well, oh, that Jim long way is funny. Nagging at me to do it. Then we we'll do it. Let's do it. I'm just gonna get the ball. All right, first. we'll do it. And then I'll be right back. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. And remember, so Frederick, you've got to smash it on the table for good luck. Frederick, do you have a channel, Simon? Getting in twenty-one. Simon, get your long row. Simon, do you have a channel? I, I killed one long. Uh, no, I, uh, unfortunately, no. Um, no, okay. I think you have uh, 32 subscribers now. Simon doesn't have a child because he is a child. No, I asked him, did he have a channel? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe being Simon. No, he doesn't have a channel. Yeah. If you get kicked off of a Scotch Down Under stream, you must be a child. 
<laughs> I, I did kick him off. I know. I put him in the well, In all fairness, I do admit I did. Twice. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was a bit of an asshole. I admit that. <laughs> no, you were just laughing your ass off, and it was kind of. <laughs> well, still <laughs> saying anything. Yeah, you? You, you had you had to you had to recompose yourself. So yeah. Mm. And I think right. me and Simon need to get some. We need to get a green screen backdrop with whiskey bottles behind us. Mm. I think Simon, oh, we're a little yeah. bit. Uh, yeah, Cliff, yeah. Cliff, Cliff, <laughs> Cliff. If in your stream, <laughs> in your stream, if you click down on the little cog, you can actually do that right now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yep. There we go. This is just a green screen. There's there's no actual whiskey behind me. This is just a picture of HBR's whiskey. Oh, I H to get up and walk to that green screen and make it move. <laughs> I think uh, no, I think Cheech said um, they were all the bottles that he's going to chug tonight. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not I drank today. quite a bit last night. <laughs> what bit. about the? I bet you did. Okay. Oh, that's not it. How about J and B? Instead of doing green screen, Cliff, change it to the yeah, image. Yeah, I know. Like your own image. I don't think my um, I'll take, I'll try it. Now look, I don't think it's going to work too well. Um, you've hmm. gone nuclear. You're you're radiating. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How do you <laughs> shift you're radiant. You've got you've got a nice glow. Yeah, oh my I love God. your aura. I'm, I'm going kryptonite. There you go. <laughs> Mine's just gonna hell. There we go. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 yeah. No effects, please. Uh, that uh, that okay. I think I've messed it up. Got there, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. So, yeah, Ken, have you poured it around? Oh, I'm about to. So somebody's trying to Mike, are you doing that yourself, buddy? H B. like the bricks. Oh, he's doing the Chrome Cam. Who is that doing native to join us? Just... I think that's HBR. Ah. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> this one's lame. Oh, shit. Uh, uh. I didn't think that worked That's too well. That's perfect for a Zoom, Zoom meeting. Hmm. I feel like I'm on that 70s show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. right. Hmm. I think that's bad. I'll fix it up. Chernobyl stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Free love, Mike. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Yep, I can hear you. Just can't mm -hmm. see your camera. I did upgrade to Pro. You we have someone else trying to log in. I tick BR. Oh, fair enough. Oh, you have some good yeah, internet service there. Okay. Oh, at least your voice. Oh, look at Mike's doll. Jesus, Mark, what is that? There you go, Mike. This is my Valentine's nice. Day background. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Is this oh, the Illuminati? Oh, Maybe. Oh, no. Hey, Jay Z's nice going to come man. get you. Freemasons. Um, For you ladies out there. I don't think my bandwidth can even handle all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, because, Greg, really quickly. Yeah, because the Simon, fastest internet Simon's connection in the world. That one didn't work. Because Simon's shit and didn't answer your question yesterday. Yeah, look, I have no problem answering your question for you. Um, look. I'm not really oh, a big fan oh, of Italian great. liqueurs, but that's because mm. I'm not really big on liqueurs in general. I love to bake with an amaretto. OBS camera? Nope, that one didn't work. It's uh, fine. Yeah, Gr Greg, Greg um, grappa. Grappa is the uh, family. Yeah. I, have, I have had really bad experiences with grappa. Yeah. Um, there you go. I haven't, but I love... I made it work. Well, we made it work. I love an ice chilled lemon chow. This is for you, HBR. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Lemon chow. Oh, my God. If you can... Like, if you yeah. have oh, honey tacos. A generational... Honey tacos. Recipe, like a generational mm. recipe of lemon chow. Oh, oh, my God. God. Honey yeah. tacos. My mum, oh my, my mum on a... Yeah, every summer she makes lemon chow. My mum. Mm. It is fucking good. Oh, my gosh, yes. Mm. This 
this 21 year old long row on the nose smells like yeah. when you get the barbecue ready to go and you've got that burning oil and it's yeah. super yeah. hot and you're just about to put that meat on there it's about to sizzle and you're in that anticipation this is what i get on the nose yeah. i hope that's a good mm. score a bit of meaty, meaty yeah that is, that is an awesome nose. Yeah. good to see you chris yeah good to see you too cheech go. good doing, to see buddy? you working hard buddy well <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I didn't know the camera had panned down that far, but yes, <laughs> per usual. <laughs> uh, the other cameras I put up when you weren't home. Gotcha. <laughs> I love that your screen froze. That's a perfect look for you, Chris. Yeah, like you. I feel like you're looking into my soul, bro. Dude, I'm like uh, I'm like children and women in the '60s. I'm better heard than seen. You know what I mean? Just. Fine. With just as I like, uh, 16, Ken. What time is it where you guys are? No, I'm so jealous. Uh, so much noon. 10 6 p.m. 11 4 p.m. Um, really? Sure here with less sugar. Uh, try them, I'm in the chat. Now. Come up. Nice. I'm peeking. I also do armor. Um, next time, uh, Greg, if you have a recipe, try adding some amaretto. You'll be surprised. Hmm. Why is my computer? Is hey, my Chris, computer are you doing your live stream tomorrow night? I am. I just need to know if I need to make a thumbnail or not for <laughs> like I had to scramble last week. Yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll be on. Already. I'll be on this week, nine to nine to midnight, and I'll be on at midnight when you're done. And four, <sighs> can't nice. wait. I should be there for all the Australians and my oh. European friends. Well, and well, my cheers. He won't be up that late. Cheers, cheers Frederick. Oh, I wish I was drinking mm. something other than Monster Energy drink. Hey, I'm gonna toast you with some burned ass Keurig coffee. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Mm. Ooh, the white can. I love it. Until yeah, about no, an hour later. Uh, just no artificial dyes. I don't do uh, artificial Kentucky. colors. Kentucky mm. spirit. Ah. It might have some. Uh... All right, one second. I'm going to refresh this because I think it's having a spack attack. Give me a second. Mm. And we'll, you should be all still in the background. I'll grab a drink of water. Are you also there? No, I can still see you. I can still see you, Mike. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> pants back on, Mike. I was going to say, hey, put your pants back on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're doing those kind of private chats. <laughs> this ain't no your only fans. Mm. What do you I see that we're on YouTube. We never went away from YouTube. Mm -hmm. All right. No, I'm like, I just closed the browser and my desktop, and that's my computer's wigging out. What the hell's going on? I'm just glad that you guys are all having the same technical difficulties I am for once. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. You always <laughs> having technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> If there's anything, frozen even though our screens are blank for like video ninja, I strongly yeah. advise you guys to be very careful about what you do because everything is still running live on YouTube on my phone. Yeah, it's on YouTube in general, not just your phone. No, no, no. Hmm. I'm just saying, like, I don't know if you guys have YouTube running in the background. <laughs> oh my god, can you not fucking mansplain for me? I know what I said, and I meant what I said. Let me let me tell you how this works. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I thought only Ken could see me doing this. What, the fingers? Yeah, I can see you. Oh. Copyright. Oh, okay. oh, copyright. Community uh -oh. strike. Think of the copyright. Yep. You can play 27 yeah, seconds of it without getting in trouble. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right. What the hell is going on here? Fair use. Well, Sorry, well, I didn't mean to mansplain. Ken, do you want us to all uh, leave and then come back? 
No, no, no. It's my end. My, I, I, my laptop screen's turned off for some mm-hmm. reason. I can't see anything on the screen. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure well, what's going on. I'm still turned on, <laughs> so count that for something. <laughs> what turn do you want exactly? Oh, Please share with the class. We want to know. When you were yelling at us, that does it every time. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have a degradation kink. Cool, good to know. I'm in. I'm in. What about when Mike was t- talking? I like when Michael talks, but it's not the same as when the Hobbit yells. Mm. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. That's all right. It's good to know. I just need to know who has praise kinks and who has degradation kinks. It's all, it's all good. Oh, okay. Ken is gone. <laughs> oh, Ken is, uh, oh, my God. Yeah, Ken is extreme close up. I'm bottom shelfing it. These are my bottom shelf. <laughs> That's hot. That's funny. What uh, Was that a Fitzgerald Prime on your bottom shelf? Yeah. $10 when I was in Kentucky. I had to buy Hell it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Seriously, how much, like like 10. Guys, how much you guys get your bottom shelves for is almost insulting to us in Australia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What the? <laughs> and the devil is back. If you choose, What's, it would be, uh... um, so if TikTok is good for anything, it's the kink side of TikTok. Fuck, it's amusing. <laughs> Never so, uh, one of the things that I think is probably as or more insulting than how expensive your bourbon is is how cheap Australian whiskey is for us. You're joking. Yeah. Oh my God. Because you, you figure, well, yeah, if I had to send my whiskey from Kentucky to Australia on a boat, it would make a lot of sense that it would cost a lot of money to do so but then i pick up star word for like 60 bucks and i'm like whoa you guys are getting raw dogged over there dude that's, that's i got a single barrel pick from star word and it was like 60 bucks and it's awesome cask strength shit it's really good oh yeah well, that's a problem with um australia as soon as you walk into that bottle shop there'll be some guy with a barrel you just <laughs> pull it up and you gotta bend over it and yeah and then hey guys, can I can yeah. I share a, a piece of of something funny to me? Yeah. So were you, you bent over a barrel? No, I was not bent over a barrel. I'm, I may be later, um, <laughs> if if the day goes right. Uh, so <laughs> my wife took the day off. Her her birthday is Sunday, and so she mm-hmm. took the day off as a mental health day pre celebration. And um, I office from the house, and I almost never jump on these streams during the day. I usually behave. But she just walked past and the doors open and she sees me with the headset and she just gave me the look of what the fuck <laughs> are you on whiskey tube in the middle of the work day it's like, it's like, well, it's coffee tube for you chris yeah it is it is coffee tube uh, for now i'm gonna i'm actually considering putting some proper 12 in this because that's the only way to drink proper 12. and it is actually what is it lunch how did that not make your shitter list because I didn't spend more than thirty dollars on it. So oh, yeah, one of yeah. one of the things that that video I didn't convey very well was that those were money pits. So I have I have lots of bad whiskey, but the saving grace of most of that bad whiskey is that it didn't cost me more than thirty bucks. All of those bottles that I bought were eighty dollars or more uh, in order to make that list. Hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think my what my worst bottle is. Probably playing. Dude, I dump them when they're the worst bottle. I've never dumped a bottle. I'll give it away. I'll just give it to somebody else. That's it. Yeah. I'd rather give it away. I'd rather keep it. I, I know what I have. And yeah. I know what I like. So if I don't like it, I'd rather keep it and be like, okay, hey, we have people coming over. Not really a fan of those people. But I feel like I'm going to be obligated to crack out whiskey. They can have the shit. <laughs> Sugar HBR is my soul brother, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking to Sugar Kitty, not the lovely Hobbit. I was like, I'm so confused where that just came from. <laughs> She's like, uh, who's he calling Sugar? It's got to be me, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know Sugar Kitty exists. So it's all good. I, I love Sugar Kitty. When I first met Sugar Kitty, I was referring to them with... Um, she her pronouns 
And they waited until like the end of the freaking stream to correct me. So I was like the biggest dick. Naughty, naughty, Julie. Hmm. I didn't know. <laughs> They're just like I think people. sugar kitty oh, identifies as go. sugar kitty. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there was just my picture was adorable, and I'm sorry, but they, you know, he types feminine. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, Jen, mm -hmm. have you ever tried the uh, Lagavulin Ron Swanson bottles, the 11 years? I've got one of the 11 year olds that JD sent me, and I've got two bottles sitting in my Florida address of the Guinness cast. Oh, Jesus. Have you guys ever seen the Corsican brothers that Sugar Kitty's referring to? I haven't. I'm about to Google it. Should I stop? Should I stop Googling it? It's, no, it's, 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 it's the best. Yeah, it's the best Cheech and Chong movie. Ah. So they're like they have to, uh, <laughs> Remember, they're going up against the eagle, evil Fouquet, the evil fucker, evil Fouquet. Yeah. <laughs> He's the villain. So good. He's like, I, evil I love their hair. He's oh, like brushing a, a horse. Movie. And he's like, oh, yeah, I, grew up, I grew up with horses. And he goes, right. <laughs> And then he pulls his arm out and he's like, where'd the brush go? <laughs> yeah. Has to go back in for it. That's a crazy movie. I wouldn't say it's good, <laughs> but it's it's funny. Yeah, it's funny, yeah. We do it was, actually uh, Teach and Chong's first foray into a non pot movie. So there's no weed in that one. That was their first legit and maybe their only legit non cannabis movie. Really, it's a hundred. It's three hundred and fifteen for the Ron Swanson. Is the eleven worth it, Ken? Okay. I see it all over the place right now, and it's got Ron Swanson's uh, face. Uh, no, I just grabbed the twelve or the sixteen. You put off just grabbing the twelve or the sixteen. Yeah, the only reason oh, between three hundred and blah 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 whatever is because the first one, it's pretty much just sold out everywhere. Yeah, I mean, if you're no, the second high, one is like the second one is Guinness again. barrel finished, right? Yes. Yep. yep. Yeah, I got two of them. I'm interested to see how that tastes, but I don't know if I'd want to own a whole bottle. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll like it. It. the mash and drum. He thought it was all right. Yeah, I want to buy two of them. I haven't got around. Say, cheers, Greg. So you know hey, what's Greg. funny? So Adam is always the one that he checks email really fast from Livewire Whiskey email. Yeah. And so you know, I miss shit. Like people will send a request, or you know, I'm trying to get you know distilleries or something to come on Livewire, and I'll, I'll miss it because it no longer shows as a new email and he like doesn't bother to fucking tell me and so i'm sending him emails now and i send it to livewire and i'm like adam's a cock be the first one to read this one dickhead <laughs> <laughs> that's like, awesome oh it's the whiskey again yeah oh, sugar kitty just man. summed it up really good i wish i could get more Anyway, uh, guys and girls, I'm going to head off because it's too yeah, take care, uh, past two o'clock. So I'm going to go to bed and uh, have a big day tomorrow. Um, take care, everyone. I'll see cheers, you around. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, yeah, it's cheers. good to see you, mate. It's yeah, been a while. You, take, care. Yeah, take it easy. See, well, take care. Care. see you around. Sleep see you well. Bye. Yeah, will do. Bye. <laughs> cheers, mate. What the what the fuck is no, that? our log of open eleven is a hundred bucks, Jim Morris. It's not three hundred. That was sixty hertz. <laughs> Better crickets. Just gotta have it at the ready. Yeah. Oh yeah. The crickets are ready. Chris, do you have any sound. crickets on your uh on your roadcaster pro? Do you have any crickets for when the when it gets quiet? That was my sad trombone. I fucked it up. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Yeah, those are my crickets. Sound more like a sad bicycle. Yeah, nice. sounds yeah. like a yeah. rusty yeah. wheel. <laughs> yeah. I like remember that stream, dude. I remember that stream so well, and everyone was oh. freaking out. Like, where the fuck is it coming from? <laughs> and I'm with you, Jim. Like, you gave away nothing. Nothing. Yeah, for a long time, and then oh, I got caught because Ken went through and. Muted everybody individually, and then I got caught with the crickets. It was a whole yeah. I deserved it. 
It was a whole. It was a whole thing. I'm like, where the fuck is? Who's doing that? <laughs> and it was like your fucking phone. <laughs> and it was perfect after the times when it randomly happened. It was perfect timing. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Hey kids, you I know, gotta I jump don't... off here. I'll catch you guys later. Okay. Take care. Okay, see you, dude. Oh. See you Cheers, tomorrow. Mate. Good to see you, mate. Look at that hair. Oh yeah. Was on his he was like doing. Aww. He was doing work yeah. stuff. I had like that the one CIA had thing. Uh, like, Were you talking to your hand, but there's no yet. phone there? Yeah, you're like. Did you say we need to bring in the choppers? Got it. <laughs> the we need the black chopper. Hey, I the gotta go soon because I'm going bourbon hunting here in a few yeah, minutes. Ooh, what are, are you looking <sighs> for? That thirteen for me there, Cheech. Uh, you know, I've already lost my uh, my spunk for going to look for that one. I had a I know, taste of oh, actually, Cheech, Cheech, I need I need you to do a pickup for me because I've got two bottles sitting in a shop that needs picking up because I've messed up the thing and <laughs> I picked. Is picked it near me? Up. I'll have to I'll have to talk to you. Yeah. 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 It's in I'll Florida. I'll be driving all over Florida the next couple of days. And Cheech, there is no cocaine in those bottles. <laughs> you can put a few more miles on that truck, Cheech. It's a wild, got a wild turkey gas just... and a Redwood Empire. <laughs> Emerald Giant. I'm not, I didn't set that off. Oh. I actually got a call. It was yeah, yeah. Cricket, so. It wasn't mine because mine, mine actually sound like real crickets because they're from BBC. Oh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Real crickets. I feel like I'm about to do my. Uh, David Attenborough impersonation. You know, Chris HBR does a David Attenborough. Oh, he does. <laughs> he does. It's good. We we need Chris back in here for some walking. Mm. That'll be yeah, I'm gonna have him do my voicemail as Christopher Walken. Oh yeah, his Christopher Walken is pretty good. Pretty good. It's got to be sung though. It's, you need to sing it. Yeah, he's got to sing it. Oh yeah, with that, do it as a, a musical number. <laughs> well, it, it'd be even better if J Pit and and they both do it. Then, <laughs> like J Pit answers the phone as Herbert the pervert, and then Walken's like, <laughs> Herbert, get off the phone. <laughs> I want J Pit to do uh, Harry Carey, the broadcaster, Cubs baseball. It, it was do that Harry one. Carey, and then and then Chris do. Uh, this walking's really good. <laughs> it is good. Oh, hey, can I just point oh, out good. Simon's been on his best behavior for over twenty minutes? Mm. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, he's passed out. He just has eyeballs <laughs> drawn on top of his eyelid. <laughs> Pretty much. I think we might be doing a Simon maneuver soon. What are you drinking, like Simon? Make uh, the ticket go up. What are you drinking, Simon? Ooh, Kentucky Spirit. Oh, Kentucky Spirit? I, I want to hear him say it. Kentucky Spirit. Okay, good. Not going to lie, though. He sounds incredibly, like, slow-paced and mellow, so I'm thinking he's, uh... Yeah, is pot yeah. legal down there? <laughs> Nope. Um, depending on the <laughs> do you have the right medical um certificates yes yes it is well yeah unless mm. you get your uh doctor to forge some of them i'm waiting for there's a i've been keeping an eye out there's a specific place um a little east of here and they're going to open soon and they specialize in edibles um so thankfully mm. because of the damage my parents beautifully bestowed upon me i have ptsd so legally i can get a prescription to have edibles to help me sleep but really? i'm so sorry for really? hours. i'm gonna actually get some sleep for once really it's overrated yeah I, you don't need to sleep <laughs> sleep is overrated not for someone who's i can't sleep under the influence of TSD. my brain is goes in hyper mode mm -hmm. it depends on the type of thc right Yes. Not nah, even yeah. even if it's a sativa or an indigo doesn't make any difference. My brain goes, oh, 
Okay, Let's for me, everything on, all at once. Yeah, for me, it depends on the concentration and how it's extracted and then baked into or baked or blended into the edible. Just uh, if it's an edible, it, yeah, then your body just turns into coma, but my brain still goes, okay. Let's let's think about everything all at once. No, see, with me, it's opposite because I have ADHD. With me, everything slows down, which is why no one ever wants to play COD with me or COD or Halo because I'm really, really, really good. <laughs> because everything slows down, so my reflexes get so much better. And I've been called a team-killing son of a bitch too many times, so I just don't play anymore. <laughs> I thought I had an edible. Last time I had an edible, I thought I was having a fucking stroke, so I don't have edibles anymore. <laughs> That makes sense. Ooh, yeah. yeah. See, I, I like. I made. I like was friend. yelling. I was yelling for my wife and from the other room. I like go to bed and I'm like, I think I might be having a stroke. And I'm like, Frankie. It's like what? I'm like never mind. And then oh, I'm like, I don't mean to laugh at that. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, maybe she thinks. Maybe she just heard me yell but didn't hear me say what I was saying. And I'm like, Frankie, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? And she's like, Yes. Why? And I'm like, Never mind. <laughs> no, my problem is edible, edibles are great. Like for me, I don't actually get hungry with edibles. I just get like mellow as fuck. Yeah. My, um, my are you talking about cancel. drugs? Pardon? Uh, no, no. Is it not. drugs um, you're talking about? Yeah, no, no. Cannabis. Marijuana. Cannabis. Yeah, we, were talking about, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about cannabis. Um, because I yeah. used to Thank use you. it to assist in my, P in my PTSD. So, and then I, you know, pretty much moved on with that stage of my life and tried different uh, meditational methods to kind of help me with that. Didn't work. Um, and then I had kids, so my house is a drug-free zone. So there's not, like, yeah, even anyone who even wants to have a cigarette, go outside, man. So, I'm all for it. Like, you do you, bro. Do it outside, man. So, put, so it's Ill illegal in your countries? Not exactly not. Very illegal in Australia. Ooh, yeah. Very illegal. Yeah. Unless, I was gonna say that. unless you um pretty much during the winter um the local pine forests. Jokes are bad. Some, okay. They okay. they do have <laughs> some um, edible mushrooms. <laughs> I was thinking that I was yeah. like drugs are bad. If you do you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Simon, did you say edible mushrooms like uh, yep, Amanita muscaria? Yep. If, if you have a uh, pine plantation Psilocybin. near you, yeah. if you have a yeah pine plantation near you, you might find some edible mushrooms. Not saying anything. I live in Florida. Okay. Just just a doctor everything everywhere. <laughs> I had mushrooms. Oh, like we were talking about before, Cheech. You go and find all the acacia trees and the... Yeah, um, exactly. grass and just exactly. grind all that shit up and yeah, you can, you can have an ayahuasca experience. You can have an yep. ayahuasca experience. Well, you're not going to have an ayahuasca experience. You're going to have a DMT. Well, DMT. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, in South Florida, you could have a full on ayahuasca. Yeah. Experience, just so you know. I like. I like have this fear of being out of control like that, and that's why I could never do like acid or ayahuasca or any of that kind of shit. Hmm. <laughs> Like, to not be able to, like, just go to sleep and fucking forget about it? Like, no. Well, I don't once, want that the, uh, if, once the board is If you do right, just the DMT, it, you're, only, you're only fucked up for, like, five, 10, 10, 10 minutes, and you, you're back yeah, to normal. Yeah, short. But that short, 10 minutes 10, is, 10, like... 10, 15 minutes. But that 10 minutes is, like... Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty much. Secrets are unlocked in those 10 minutes. Yeah, sure. yeah, like Joe Reagan says, yeah. it's um, I don't know if I want to unlock my own secrets, times man. aliens, times a million. Um, you see the I mathematics have... around you, like everything becomes an equation, but it's like a, an artistic equation, yeah. like fractals and things like that. Pretty wow. cool. In those 10 minutes, you could have killed the president. <laughs> no, you ain't moving. <laughs> no, no, you're part oh, of the well, well, that's what you think. That's what, <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> If you're, if you're on dimethyltryptamine, you're not fucking moving. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I, I, I tried mushrooms. I've only ever tried mushrooms once, and I can I can like hands down say I know what pink elephants look like, and I don't want to go through. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to yeah. do it again. Yep, I did the same thing. I, I literally know what hmm. a pink elephant on parade looks like, and I'm yeah. good. I'm good, man. Elephants on parade. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pink elephants on parade. Mm. I know exactly what a yeah. pump looks like, and I am okay to 
Never do it again. It's not okay. a podcast <laughs> that I'm interested in seeing. Is that all I know legal, someone, well, is not that all legal there, Frederick? Was it? No, as you can say, I know someone who smoked. It was called hash. I know it was called hash in English. Oh, hash. Hash. <laughs> hash. Hash. Yeah. He saw green monkeys everywhere. It was really funny. <laughs> is it legal? Is it legal there? Like everything, pot? drugs are illegal in our country. I mean, oh, said alcohol and tobacco. I mean, so uh, I know someone who did smoke. It was very funny as to re his reactions to everything. Hashish. I mean. No, we just wanted to watch. I mean, I don't like drugs personally. I don't like drugs. So you're a teacher. That's what you're supposed to say. Yeah. No, but I don't do drugs. And I mean, alcohol is classified as a drug, I guess. But alcohol and caffe caffeine is all good. Yeah, yeah but you still. can't do either if you're Mormon. I understand exactly. I understand exactly where you're coming from. Um, mushrooms for me was peer pressured, which is also another reason why I mm -hmm. kind of left a bad like vibe to me. Um. And marijuana for me, it was just like experimental surge in my life. And it helped, it did help me with my PTSD at one time. So now <clears throat> I know okay. how to utilize that as a controlled substance. So it's not being taken advantage of and it is going to be consumed yeah. in the future. When my children are older, it'll be consumed in a more, it'll be even more controlled environment because it'll all be medical grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it has to re it'll have to reach certain medical standards before they're even legally allowed to sell it. So I know <laughs> I'm not going to be getting screwed over somewhere. It's not going to be laced with something because it's an untrustworthy mm -hmm. source, and it will all be prescription. So they the my GP will then, based on when I get my prescription filled, they'll be able to monitor my intake. So they'll be mm -hmm. able to see if I am or am not abusing the product, which I think okay. is fantastic. Well, after well, October, just... I have to get a medical certificate just to get fucking nicotine juice. Okay. Oh my god, I'm freaking. Uh, I made him actually Reese, who was on here earlier. I had to drive him down to Rockingham the other day just so he can get more stuff for his vape because he was putting it in. Like it's it's the put now. He was getting it all through New Zealand, and now that's not going to happen. Yeah. Hmm. No, I just got. I just ordered some through New Zealand, but you have to get it before October. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not going to happen anymore, so. Hmm. Yep, after October 1st, you can't get it. It's fucking bullshit. Okay. Big <clears throat> but I can go buy a fucking carton of smokes and, and three cartons of piss and five mm -hmm. bowls of alcohol. and. i got to jump off, Ken. I will see, I'll see everybody Take later. care, Mike. Yeah. I miss you. I was going mm. hey, to say, have you ever been to Amsterdam? Amsterdam? My grandmother no. to Amsterdam. No, I, mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, Not Amsterdam yet. is very funny. I mean, me and my friend was there a few years ago, and I will never forget. All you heard everywhere was, sorry for saying this, was Americans saying, I'm so fucking high right now. Everywhere. <laughs> Request, you, I mean, you, just, you heard this really American accent, like, I'm so fucking high right now. <laughs> oh, there was just Americans yep. sitting everywhere and just smoking, getting high as shit, you know? Those uh, it's called taxi taxi bikes, you know, when you have a um, yeah, yeah you can sit yep. on the back, you know. There was just one guy there, he was just basically I nearly thought he was going to fall off because he was so high. He was just I'm so fucking high right now. It was like three in the night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like interesting. It's it's interesting. It's the necessity to announce everything. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean it was very interesting, you know. Mm. It just smelled pop. It's just everywhere. an American thing. It just smelled pot mm. everywhere. It's just yeah. really disgusting. But that's, that's not in a it's everywhere. I have, I have a lot of American friends, and that's they they do it. They do yeah, it all I mean, the time. I know it's here in Sweden as well. I mean, I just don't do it. But not just because I'm a teacher. It's just because I don't do it. And that's okay. I that think it's up to everyone. Fun. I think it's up to everyone. If you want to do it, then do it. I mean, it's your I'm body, your about. choice. Dang but still, animal. anyway. <laughs> But anyway, I just want to say cheers, in a way. Yeah, yeah cheers. Yep. It's fucking Friday, cheers. so... Cheers. It is. Yeah, fucking it is. Oh, it's Dang, Brad, you. Mm. Saturday, sorry. Mm. Let's have a dad joke. Somebody do a dad joke. No. Well, Mike dad Stoller. Joke. Mike Stoller is the dad joke. <sighs> Well, but the bot can do dad jokes, but yeah, they're not they're not Mike Stoll dad. We do dad jokes, okay? Yeah. You're sweet. So, as everybody was talking about drugs, I'm I'm looking at a local news story about a uh, massive drug bust for methamphetamine, cash, guns, 
just mm. said the great thing about oh, station. Not shops, close to me, but you know, not place. too far either. Just <clears throat> it's crazy. It's the wild <laughs> west here. Yeah. Yeah. Always in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That is a dad. Joke. That's not bad, actually. I'll give that was it. Bad. Pretty good speak there. Yep. Okay. Oh, that oh, bot geez. comes up with some pretty good ones. Yeah, I have found one here. I guess. Yes. Let's see here. Translation. Yeah. My wife asked me to stop singing Wonderwall to her. I said maybe. I said maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> nice. Oh, 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 oh. You know what would happen if Chris was in here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim's that, actually, that made me happy just then. Thank you. That Wonderwall yeah. joke, I liked that a lot. <laughs> it was quite like bad, one? I guess. Hey, Jim. It's a good bad joke. Come on. Yeah, it's it's a <laughs> There's even one that's even worse. There you go. Why do you why do bees have sticky hair? Anyone knows? I'm sorry, I got Why do bees I'm bees bees? Why do bees have sticky hair? I don't know. <laughs> because they use a honeycomb. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Oh my lord. No, it's a dad joke. It's alright. It's a dad joke. That's what it's meant to be. Hmm? Oh, let's put this delicious purple. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I need to get going. I need to get something to eat. I got, I got tagged in something on my friend, so I got distracted. Mm. My bad. So thanks, Frederick. Yeah. Hope you everyone has a great night, day, wherever you yep, are. You too, mate. Can I report to you? Take care. Bye. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers mate. Right. Oh. Good afternoon. Whatever. Jim, you're so dramatic. Unsubscribes, blocks channel, reports you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Over the dad jokes? Yeah. Over the dad jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not all the weed. Not all the weed and uh, psychedelics talk, but over the dad jokes. Well, that's it. Because, yes, Just even when we were talking about it, we were still talking about the legalities and the medical side of it so yeah well this person here looks like he's on some I was gonna serious, say, oh, no, <laughs> serious medicinal so yeah he's on some good shit <laughs> yeah, look, you look toasted as <laughs> if, I nope. didn't better, if i didn't know any better uh, no i didn't know any better i'm simon of I sitting in a hot comment. box and literally getting baked <laughs> because he doesn't look at me smile <laughs> Because I'm if you guys, if you guys have ever been around, see, if it's like this. Around people that have like smoked weed or anything like that, they all kind of have a different personality depending on how they've how they've smoked or ingested the drug. Love people that, who man. eat the edibles completely different compared to the people that have a joint or a smoke fire bomb. Again, completely different to people that have been in a fucking hot box and have just been inhaling the smoke from other people. And Simon is exactly what those people look like. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> going on. Yep, Are you talking it. about change? But if that's your thing, just don't get me in trouble. Exactly. <laughs> And that's fine. That's 100%. Good one, Simon. Perfect timing. <laughs> if you don't have any respect for the people that you're around and like you want to partake, then I'm sorry, mate. You, your friends deserve better. Like, don't just don't be a dick about it. If your friends don't want to be anywhere near you when you're doing it, just fuck off. Go do it also. That's it. It's not hard to be considerate of other people when it comes to something like that. So what's on your, like your pancake? Cheech? What's that? What's on your Sorry, schedule? Sorry, I was reading your stream. Mm. Schedule for my stream will be um, midnight, my time tomorrow night. So uh, noon on Sunday for you. Nice. Right after HBR. He's going to hand it over to me at midnight, I think he said. Ooh. Yep. You know, like in the last month and a half, Chris is like, giving me his time slot on Saturday night. Like, 
last week I had the 10 o'clock, two weeks before that I had the 10 o'clock. And then when we were at Shane Long's house, he gave me the 10 o'clock for that night. I was just like, well, it wasn't 10, but it wasn't, it wasn't 3 a.m. Yeah. Those have been my, my highest rated videos. I've got more views on those three than any of my other ones. It used to be my number one video was when I had uh, Ken, when I had you and Adam on. It was when I did the, the thumbnail where I had the Scotch Down Under logo and the Livewire Whiskey logo. That was my previous high view. Like, that was a while ago, too. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, just keep making videos. I just keep doing lives. So apparently people watch. I don't know why. Yep. Oh, we're drinking whiskey and hanging out. That's what it is. We're just drinking whiskey. Right, exactly. That's cheers what it's that. all about. Yeah. Having cheers whiskey and that. hanging out. Oh, yeah. I'm not having whiskey right now. I can't cheers you, but I will with my monster energy drink. Yeah. Like, you, no, you've got yeah. a beverage of some sort. It's all good. We don't care what it is. Yep. Yeah, I need to start hydrating. Like I, I was saying earlier, I was on uh, – Chris Luddick did his, his uh, big league bourbon last night. Went for like an hour and 40 minutes. And then we went to a private chat after that with about – six or eight of us and then me, me and chris just kept talking and drinking like we were on just the two of us uh you know private stream for like two and a half hours and the whole time we i was cracking new bottles it's just like we we're just hanging out i hadn't done that in a while but uh, it was fun drinking whiskey and talking about anything hell yeah i'm just checking on it's gonna straight. have pancakes for breakfast. Oh, why isn't Stream Elements posting anything? No, it's here for the fame. <laughs> Are you going? I thought that's what Adam. Adam was for the fame. Oh. Yeah, Adam's the fame, isn't it? The brains. Uh, come on and jump on, Anthony. Are you going to stream when um, the next bottle comes in from the Whiskey Club? Oh, the to Martin. Yeah, I'll read. Yeah, I'll do an episode on that one. I was going to yeah. say, cause it, yeah, like not just a, not just like a one of your reviews that you would normally just post. So when it arrives, are you going to do a stream? And I was going to say because if you're not planning to do one, I'll do one. But if you're planning to do one, um, it depends on what day it comes, but. Yeah, on my regular stream, I'll be popping the cork and having a go with it for sure. Yep, all right, sounds yep. good. I don't know when when it when it'll get here. Who fucking knows, man? Yeah, back forever. in Brisbane, it would have arrived no later than today. Yeah, I know, right? Because mm. I, I never got my any later than any later right. than the week it was shipped. So. Takes forever, yeah. Are you okay, Simon? <laughs> I, saw, I can fucking see you. <laughs> what did you do? He Nothing. I don't know. Bottle <laughs> fluidly. Oh, he's doing that again, is he? But it, it wasn't even. It wasn't even the this one. The this. <laughs> the, the, the like, like, like that. He was literally like. Oh. I I think like, he, oh my. I think he... <laughs> Do you mind, sir? Is that Wild Turkey 101? Mm. <laughs> uh, it tastes like burnt sugar. No, it's the um. Oh, the there you go. Spirit. Yeah, yours is yeah. much nicer. That's because I don't really burn. I will openly say this, okay? Like the comment I made earlier about the people that I do, I like that I've kind of avoided, are normally bourbon people. But it's because I don't like their personalities they, they, they're not giving me the information i need to better my bourbon knowledge because their personality sucks and that's okay if someone is willing to sit there and just talk me through some bourbon and what good bourbon is or what what i'm supposed to be liking about bourbon then i will happily awesome i will happily mm. sit here and fucking drink bur like 10 different bourbons i don't care yeah, I, reckon. I just don't time. have the knowledge because i haven't found anyone relatable enough or for me personally anyone that i can sit there and watch long enough to keep my attention so well, hopefully me. this uh, channel helps you yeah. 
I mean, Josie, I'm just here to see if Simon buys a new shirt ever. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Tell me what he's done. He hasn't done anything. He's just sitting there giggling yeah. like a schoolboy. Exactly. I'm just stroking the shit out yeah. of again. No, I'm just uncorking this. Beautiful, you were not, you piece of trash. <laughs> you fucking were not. Child. I was. I was just trying to do a uncork. I was just trying to get the right. Oh, actually, let, let's, <laughs> let's ask the. Um... Why is the Simon counter not up? Which one? <laughs> the one where we kick his ass. All right, but I'm going to ask the eight ball if we kick Simon into the naughty quarter for five minutes. I don't, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't want to boot him, but it's like every time Simon gets in trouble, there goes a ding, and then there's a little Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, that, that'll break the internet. Simon did something inappropriate, Counter. <laughs> Why? I yeah, was that's, just that's literally, I was literally just trying to uncork this this bottle. This, and, this. I mean, yeah. This. This yep. uh, nice, smooth yep. Yep. Kentucky wild turkey. Simon, uncork that shit off camera. <laughs> I don't need to do that either. Are you sure, Jim? I was just going to cork it for you, Jim. Oh, my God. It says I'll have to wait. I don't want to have to wait. I don't want to have to wait. I want to start. I don't want to have to wait. Time and go up. Oh, well, wait is how long's a piece of string? So I'm like now. <laughs> piece of string. <laughs> Sorry, Cheech. It's all um, Ken's and Julie's fault. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, oh, I was doing oh. work. I, I was working. Oh, and he's gone. He's Simon and Ken. apologizing for I wasn't paying attention. Julian Ken's fault, eh? He said, oh, sorry, oh, Chief. Oh, oh, Julian Ken's no, fault. Do you want to know how I can prove it's Ned, neither of yours, or my fault? Just said Sugar Kitty slaps eight ball with an empty bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect, perfect way to prove that it's neither your or my fault is quite simple. You and I had a stream earlier in the week for like four hours before someone else joined in. Right as fucking rain. Simon comes in and the stream goes to hell. <laughs> I think you're projecting. <laughs> um, Shin Kitty, that wasn't an official Simon maneuver, but I'll still pay it. I'm five foot, David says I'm five foot four. I'm always angry because I'm closer to hell. Uh, I'm working. Sorry, I'm trying to make money while I sit here and hang out. Oh, that's okay. No, I was just saying, like, uh, the healthy. Are you life. gonna be a naughty boy? Are you gonna be a good boy now? <laughs> Give hey, up. Are you gonna be a good boy? <laughs> no, I said give us a thumbs up if you're going to be a good boy, not speak. <laughs> <laughs> Kick your kennel. We don't want to hear you bark. <laughs> Are you going to be a good boy now? Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Simple instructions. <laughs> oh, God. My God, come on. <laughs> Do I have to get my adult voice on? Oh my lord. Just. Oh, I cannot even. Are you going to be a good boy? Ah, oh, he's learning. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, Jim Moore said Simon is cooked. Right I believe the right term is baked. Simon yeah, is baked. Right, yeah, the it's baked. The word is baked. When he disappears, I'm yeah. pretty sure he's getting some medicinal. <laughs> he's not even baked anymore. He's toasted. Oh, there you go. Toasted and charred. Mm. <laughs> no, but like, 
like that's a, that's the thing. Like I have been in a smoke. Oh, and he just kicked himself off. That's a Simon maneuver. You can you can that yeah, one you official. can tag that. Yeah. That I was an it. official Simon oh, maneuver. Oh, so that's it down there, is it? That's cool. That's really cool. I like it. Um. No, like I've been in, I've been in a room baked toasted sky high, Simon. I like it. Hi. Hi. Oh, it, he's, he's trying, he's trying to, to pop back in again. That that was the well, one that was Simon he because he turned his camera off, thought something was broken when I just put him in the naughty corner. <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, Are you going to be a good boy now? <laughs> okay, you can have your voice. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I've got an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> when you unmute him, he's gonna say something profound. Well, he's unmuted. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's profound that he still did not speak. Very, very profound. Yeah, that, I, I agree. Yeah, very interesting. He's a yeah. thinking man. I'll have to contemplate that. I might have to meditate on that. Yeah, mm, yeah, very interesting. I can fucking see you, you cheeky shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's like, I'm not even trying to hide it, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He's like... Which direction is it? Oh, one, of, one of them will get you one. See, if you go up, you've always got somebody if you're on the bottom room. Yeah, you've always got somebody. <laughs> He's getting awkward. Between Ken's dad voice and references to the naughty corner. <laughs> 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 don't spank don't spank me, Ken. <laughs> you gotta pay I told you to be a good boy. You'll get spanked. See, this is what I mean. You and I had a stream for like over four hours and we had none of this nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> it's all thanks to Julie. I mean we had a nice quiet stream and then Julie just popped up. <laughs> You'd think a girl would learn. <laughs> you think no. so? I've never thought that. <laughs> you can sit in the naughty corner. Uh, you missed your crickets again. You had a perfect chance to do crickets. I, I did. I was too busy pouring a dram. Good day. And I'm not doing it because I'm on Reg hey, I'm on um, Reddit. Says the clown. Hey JD. How you going, mate? Nice. Oh, you're officially on your break now. Awesome. Enjoy. How long have you got off? A week or two weeks? And uh, no, I did not say. A thorough butt clenching spanking. I did not say that. And what, what's this, Jim? What's me being the jester? I, I'm no <laughs> jester. <laughs> no, he says the clown jester of Scotch Down Under. Is that you or is that Julie? Me. Oh, Simon. It's really hard to point in a diagonal. Like, yeah. Um, kind of got to point at you just your this. on a diagonal. <laughs> you just do this. Just, Yep. Not you, Simon. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right. <laughs> yeah, cheers, JD. Why am I getting pointed at now? What did I do? <laughs> no. I didn't what do anything. Did you, what did you not do? I was do? just giving an example how you point <laughs> diagonally. Or to the side. Yeah. I'm giving you an example yeah. of how you point diagonally. That is not how you point diagonally. That's how it starts. Like that. Yeah. It's like that. If I want to point out there, I'll point out that way. You got this crazy guy over here. Yep. Oh. No. You've got um, oh, the Hobbit who drinks. The Hobbit who drinks is just like. Just pretty much messed up our stream. All this. Um, you <laughs> he just doesn't learn. <laughs> keep, keep, keep picking on me. See what happens, home slice. <laughs> Less than two days off so far. Drinking Glendronic Twelve, nice. 
Nice. And I know Random FOB just picked up a Glendronic 12 as well. Anything? Yeah, there he is. Have we not found the pattern, Simon? No, I have not. <laughs> Which pattern? You keep getting put in, you keep getting put back in your kennel right after you say something very specific. <laughs> About a very specific person. I dozed off for a few minutes and everyone's fingering each other. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Yeah, don't don't finger it. don't finger me, please. <laughs> please, Ken, don't finger me, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's um Cheech fingering him. He's sitting there. He's sitting saying stuff like that, leaning towards the side that you're on, and but this is my fault. I know, yeah. I know. So. <laughs> Seriously, someone... What time do you start drinking, Simon? <laughs> I'm you get any Four p.m. No, three, 3 p.m. 3.30 p.m. 3 p.m., oh okay. Yeah. I'm too sober for this. Cheers, 60 oh. Have a good one, mate. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Yeah, excuse um, Ken and Hobbit who drinks. <laughs> Me, Simon, oh my god. Oh my god, Ole. <laughs> hey, Simon's feeling pretty good or not feeling anything at all. That's my guess. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, he's either going to be feeling. I think feeling you're right. I think you're right. Or feeling feeling nothing, great or nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Yep. 492 subs I'm up to. Woo! Eight more to go. You're good. Oh, we'll do it by Sunday when you're on my stream. I'll be congratulating you on 500. We'll get to the 500. That'll call for yeah. a bottle chug of something. And then it accelerates to 1,000, like, easily before the end of December, you'll be at 1,000. Oh, easily. for that Mankini yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. I don't care if you are a Mankini or not. I'm just trying to get you to 1,000, buddy. <laughs> Well, I did say I was going to do it. I'm going to have to do it. I'm not. I don't get well, back on my word. Keep your word, of course. You'll have to keep it. Like yeah. I said, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it, and I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. You, you can set it up where you don't monitor yourself, and then you'll forget that you're in a mankini, and you'll just be super comfortable. And you're like, "Oh, this feels pretty good." Get a few drinks this in you. Pretty, next pretty, thing you know. pretty uh, loose and. Uh, you know, uh, invigorating, you know? Yeah, do lots of stretching while you're wearing it. You know, yeah, just... Uh, yeah, just no bad yeah, stretching. Just get out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jim Morris, don't make me do the unsubscribe bit again. <laughs> I kicked, he kicked himself off again. Yeah. Well, Julie probably hurt his feelings. Not the first time I've emasculated a man. <laughs> Seems like something you might take pride in. Again, that's why I said, let's see, and he's back for more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> We're not going to tell you. <laughs> you just haven't learnt yet. <laughs> why? If you, can't, if you can't learn on your own, then more entertainment for us. I've been practicing these man really? candy since he hit 60 subs. Yeah, well, I haven't, I haven't lost any of the old extra padding for the man candy, that's for sure. <laughs> but you want to fill it out. You don't want it to be like, you know. No, nah, that's right. You got to make sure it's. You, you don't want it right, covering yeah. anything. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. I've got this nice winter coat ready for it. <laughs> Oh yeah, JD's <laughs> talked about how Blanton's is only a 700 mil in uh, <laughs> Europe instead of it. Up in Poland. Well, that's the same thing in here in Australia. Everything's like 700. I think it's everywhere except for the US. I think US is the only place where it's 750. Pretty much. G'day, Donna Pass. How you going, mate? Oh, I haven't seen Donna Pass. Yeah, cheers, cheers, Donna. 
from Northern California. Northern California. It's warm, apparently. Yeah. Supposedly, yeah. You know, that's now now that I have that song in my head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do that to you. I'll give you an earworm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, bloody You'll be Julie thinking what I like about you for the rest of the day. Clean on the stuff. What I like about you. Clean on the stuff. Yeah. It's worse, now than got California dream. it's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Not as we know it. It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Hey, Ken, can you hey, do a screenshot of just Simon and then send it to me so I could have like a canvas print of that made out? And put it on my wall? <laughs> well, we'll we'll do this first. my wall what are you doing to me that's your everything picture. Your picture. Nah. fair enough i might get a wallet size of that made too so i can carry it around with me star <laughs> yep across the universe put the enterprise on the captain <laughs> i'm not sorry <laughs> There's Klingons on the starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. There's Klingons on the starboard bow. Shoot to kill! <laughs> oh, we've done it to poor Jim. It's now stuck in his head now. I'm not sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> The Jim Morris said Star Trek and across the universe, so I put on Space Truck in my deep purple. I'm trying to get that in his head. It's a better song, Jim. Space Truck. Just think Space Truck and Deep Purple. You'll get out of that. But it, it's worse than that. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Not as we know it. Shoot the kill. That screenshot didn't work. Yeah. I did. Computer says no. Nah. Computer says no. Why is my crickets not working? I don't know. I would love for Simon to explain to me, though, why he just flipped us off and thought that we would what? not. He didn't flip us did off. He flipped yeah. he flipped you off, Julie. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? So, I, was do I was just literally just, I was just scratching my head. And because Kevin lost his knees. Wow. <laughs> wow. I see how it is. Let's see how it is. Change can go. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> I could do one. Why do fish live in salt water? Because pepper makes them sneeze. Oh my god. <laughs> Cricket strike. Crickets are on strike, man. Mm. All right. All right. They back. Oh. <laughs> that is a good noise. Nice summer's evening with lots of crickets. Mm -hmm. Is that the music version of Ventura Highway by America?
Cheech flipping the bird and the anamorphic <laughs> white screen. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon. This camera's got a pretty good fisheye effect on it. If I, if you can see my, these are in a straight line, but they look like they kind of fall away as, as you go yeah, further out. Mm -hmm. away and, yep. Got that yeah, lovely barrel just distortion. Yeah. Just set eyes cold water so insecure. It's the camera I had. So. Oh, it's never called hot. Why is cold water so insecure because it's never called hot? Fair enough. Yeah, that wasn't very good. That was pretty ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> really? You didn't see the one change fucking gave me across the internet? No, I was, I was trying to fix my crickets. My crickets went on strike. So I had to get my cricket back. So I got my cricket oh, back the now. Finger? That wasn't for you. That was I did a wide sweeping one from horizon to horizon. Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't Sorry even say that. Got... I didn't even say yeah. that. How did you not say that? He took up like the entire freaking quarter of the screen. Yeah, but I was looking over. I've got like three screens. See, I can see that now. But I was looking over here. I wasn't even looking at this screen. I couldn't even see it. So I was looking he at did freaking... it to, Yeah, he did it to me in response because I saw Simon do it. So I called Simon out. But I used the word. No. I did use the word everyone, and Cheech was like, no, he didn't do it to everyone, he just did it to you. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I don't know. Did I nothing. think he was just scratching his head. <laughs> you did nothing. You did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> that's the screenshot I need right there. <laughs> you did nothing. In. <laughs> I I did not. <laughs> uh, small things, eh? Yep. <laughs> yeah, small things. <laughs> small things Actually, like this? Yeah, that, that sounds pretty weird. Small things. Well, you don't know that saying, small things, small minds, you know? No. Oh, Never heard I was going to say something different. Oh, sure you were. <laughs> Leave those jokes to Julie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You called Simon out? Is this a dating show? <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh, so if Jim had a camera right now, I'd tell a joke about a horse in a bar to cleanse the stream after all the bad jokes. Yeah, don't oh, say that's that. That's for another bad joke. A horse in a bar, fuck that. I don't want to. And do you just have to put like dad joke and it comes up? Yeah. Is that how it works? You know, like... Exclamation point, dad joke. <laughs> yeah, Jim, no horses. Nightbot. Now I'm waiting for the dad joke. Just said, what do you call <laughs> I was, was going to leave. Lean beef. <laughs> but if you do want to know about a, a, a cow and a... You know, you call a cow with no legs, though, right? <laughs> I don't That's, ground beef. That's ground beef. <laughs> ground <laughs> beef. Hey. <laughs> My daughter taught me that too. I love it. That's so great. Jim Morris says it's not filthy jokes. Jeez, the perverts. Well, you're letting us down. Jim. Yeah. I was going to say, I almost feel robbed. Yeah, I was like, <sighs> not special. Like Simon already lowered the bar for the caliber. What did I do? Did you read what Eight Ball said? <laughs> yeah, but I'm literally about to leave because I'm about to go whiskey hunting. So uh, I oh, no. you know, drinking, <laughs> drinking and getting in my vehicle to drive. That would be bad. But I added, but, I uh, added those ones. That's the first one I've seen in a long time when the, the, I had it added into Eight Ball. So I got rid of all the lame ones and I added like fucking oath or. Uh, shit, no, I put, yeah, nah, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
put some Aussie ones in there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hey, I've really been enjoying the uh, the Aussie man videos since you turned that on, turned me onto that. The, the oh, are they good, aren't they? That video, that guy's hilarious. Yep, mm, he is bloody just, funny. Uh, every every damn one of them are hilarious. Yep. Oh, did I black out or did the screen do that? Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's about to do a Simon maneuver. He just did one. <laughs> well, hey, no one's really? I got to get out of here. I don't want to miss no any good whiskeys at this door, so I got to hit the road. <laughs> All right, good oh, hunting. Fair enough. Yeah. We'll see you good later. Luck. I hope I found something good. I'll good let luck, you know. Yeah. yeah, cheers. Oh, yeah, let us know. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Naughty Simon. <laughs> What? Everything. Everything, Simon. <laughs> Fair enough. What do you call a death gynecologist? A lip reader. <laughs> I saw that, Simon. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I was just scratching myself, see? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Did you see that joke, Julie? I did. I shook my head. Oh, okay. I did. I, I shook my head. Looking at Simon. Yeah. He's been naughty. Because my obstetrician and gynecologist is a man, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. No. 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 <laughs> Yikes. It's like that. What time is it? Hmm? Oh, it's not even one o'clock. Yeah. It's, still it's one o'clock. Yeah. Well, it is officially early, yeah. <laughs> so what is everyone drinking? So I'm uh, drinking the Bellington. Oh, Bellington. Hmm. Oh, Bolton. Yep. No, Bellington, not Bolton. <laughs> it looks like Bolton. It mm. does not. How do you get Bolton? No, put that name on the camera. Balachin, not Bolton. That is fucking Bolton. That is Bolton. Forget well, that. Yeah, yeah, that Bolton. So fair enough. I'll give you that. <laughs> good luck to you, Ken, <laughs> with your Bolton. Hey, it's fucking good whiskey, mate. <laughs> well, so. The Bolton is good, so. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Sounds oh like God. a turkey sound. I was like, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh dear. I'm sorry. Fucking hilarious. Oh goodness. Well, as long as you enjoy your balting. Oh. <laughs> I've heard that one before. And, you know, that's 100% on her for not being better prepared. <laughs> oh, God. She's a, she was a peasant. Well, she was made to become a peasant. Okay, she has no excuse. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, the very first time, with, with the people who told me that joke, the very first time I heard it, I was within a, a group of people who, we would tell bad jokes and then we, do, we would just like nitpick them, you know, those pretentious assholes. So we just nitpicked them and I was, and I just said it flat out then and I'll say it again now. She was a peasant. <laughs> she had no excuse 
to have not like gotten a vegetable out of her garden and <laughs> mentally prepared it, like herself for that shit, and she should have been ready. <laughs> she, was, oh, been she has no one to blame but herself. <laughs> but she did I like that ball chin. <laughs> Simon, Simon, Simon. <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> you get one of those. There we go. Like you fun. don't get the other one. Mm-hmm. But does it what actually mean? taste good? The ball chin. Yeah, it's fucking good. The edge man, it's good. Yeah. It's like stream elements has gone one extreme to the oh, other, yeah. like it's not putting any bloody stuff up. It should um, be every 20 minutes. Joke. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> and actually, yes, there is, there is pregnant Bobby. She exists. Yeah, I, there's all of them, and I've I've had all the Ken jokes my whole fucking life. <laughs> hey Ken, where's Barbie? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> very fucking funny. That's the most one I've heard a million times. <laughs> I'd be rich if I had a doll for every fucking time I've heard that. <laughs> If I did have Barbie, I'd have fucking everything. I'd have houses and Porsches and fucking all that homes and, <laughs> and, all the, and all the ball chins you can drink. I did have the ball chins. Ken <laughs> <laughs> and Barbie broke the gender stereotypes really early on because Ken was her accessory. Barbie rocked the show. Barbie was the money fucking maker. She yeah, was- that's right. Ken was an afterthought. Barbie's dream house. Barbie's yacht. Barbie's fucking chariot. Barbie's horse. Barbie's everything. Ken was just there living his best mm. life being an accessory. Exactly. Oh, he was yep. just sitting there drinking his uh, ball chin and living his best life. She was on the ball chain. What are you talking about? He was just her support. Yeah, you got it wrong way around. She's got the ball chain, you twit. No, I don't know. It's 2021. Maybe he liked his ball chains. He probably did, but that's not what we're talking about here. No. Barbie was Ken's sugar mama, and no one is ever going to tell me otherwise. That fucking bloke was living his best life. Yeah, don't... Yeah, yeah, point at me when you did say that. <laughs> yeah. I reckon, Ken. Yeah, you're like, you bloody <laughs> <tight."> <laughs> <laughs> You bloody drink your ball chin, Ken. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need to get the Picard bloody face palm. <laughs> I need to make that as a pop-up. I'm not used to being on this side of the screen. I, I can fix that. Would you like me to fix that? Yes, please. Because now I just look like an idiot. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with that? My horse joke seems lame now. <laughs> there you go. What? Is that better? Yes, thank you. Sucker is still on the bottom. Fuck you. Yep. As long as, long as you're drinking your ball tin. I don't care. No, no. <laughs> you're, in, you're down the bottom with the ball, so shut up. <laughs> shut up. Sit down there with your ball, sir. At least I have something yeah. to hang on. <laughs> I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. We, we got the joke. No, no, he was like, we got it. We got it. Don't assume. Yeah. Yeah. It's 2021. Yeah. Yeah, 2021. I'm, I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> I'm slipping, help me. No, I don't want to help him. Let him go over the board. <laughs> you're, you're on your own, mate. I'm not telling you a laugh my friend. <laughs> well, I was, I was holding your ball chins. Um. <laughs> Hell not. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
I want to go and get a hoodie. And... <laughs> yeah, give me that. <laughs> Wearing that, Ken, don't go um, anywhere near a school that week. <laughs> Don't make me kick your ass. <laughs> mm, Jesus. <laughs> Behave, child. Where's Julie? She's getting a hoodie. And we are the overlords of whiskey. I think you broke her, Ken. All of your whiskey now belongs to us. <laughs> Including your ball chin. <laughs> really? I'll give you that one. Why does sweaty sugar taste better? Mm, mm. It's sweeter. What are you sipping on now? Um, same thing. Same thing? Yep. I'm still on the Belgian. <laughs> Ball chin. I think not. Be back in a second, just go to drain my lids. And change your shit. It is now me, myself, and I. Lonely. No. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I actually feel a lot more comfortable in shorts than a hoodie. Programs are finished, thought it would be time to relax, and here comes the fucking Canadian. <laughs> hey, Donald sent me. We had a little bit of that today. He, he better change his shirt. Since you put it in the ticker. We are now the overlords of whiskey. Is it okay if I have crunchy food? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now watch me not be able to get into it. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you call it cheap, oh, when you oh. call it cheap circuits, oh, a rip off. That makes me. That makes me cringe, my guy. Honestly. Ow. Oh. <laughs> It's been raining. Oh, it's, it's, been been raining. Been, it's been raining out here for a while. But I am a cat. I am not a cat because cats suck. So I'm good. Cats are cool. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, I thought you. Yeah. Cats are very cool. Not really, no. Nope. <laughs> my uh, lower parts just receded into my body. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's all good. I don't mind. Do you like my helium voice? Not really, no. <laughs> but it is what it is, and this what is your. No, it is what it is. So. Is it NXO2 or something like that? Yeah. It's uh, uh hydrogen peroxide. No, it's not hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, really? Really? <laughs> yeah, it's not hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what it is. It's the shit you know how that makes your blonde like this. Yeah, clearly not the shit that makes your hair blonde. No, that's why I said it was hydrogen peroxide. And I'm like, it's not that. <laughs> You're like, oh wait, Mer. Yep, Mer. brain not functioning, does not compute. No. So what are you eating? Huh? What are you eating? Don't ask me with the mouthful of food. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Wait until I'm done. No, the opposite of helium. Helium makes you do this. It's the other stuff that makes you do this. Okay. I can't think of it. Mm. So, you remember those um those new crackers that I was telling you about the other day? The ones oh, that I, yes, the bag of them. that I was crunching. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm eating those. Um, but I love to make a lot of my own sauces when I cook because it's just, it's, I don't know, my mother kind of, I don't, the Italian roots kind of just, just, my mother just decided to skip that shit, even though I think she really should have delved deep into that. Um, so I do, I like to make um, nitrogen, hydrogen, no, hydrogen. No, it's not those. My God, you know what hydrogen is? What? Yes, I know what hydrogen is. Not you, not you, Jim. <laughs> um, so I like to make a, a lot of my own sauces and stuff like that. And yesterday for dinner, I, um, I made my own uh, chicken parmesan sauce. And what I did was I made all of that up first and then I seared chicken thighs, put them in like a massive casserole dish, poured the um, the homemade chicken parmesan sauce all over it. And then I put in like 10, uh, 10 peeled whole cloves of garlic. So they were then like kind of covered in the sauce as well. So they would sous vide in the sauce and like the oils and natural fats coming off the chicken thighs. But to make it even more flavorful, you know how you can get those like sticks of garlic butter from like Cosmoworks? Yeah. I got one of them and I like cut it into like thin kind of squares. 
and I just like layered them all on top of the chicken thighs, and I just put it. I like mm. I put a um, the word is lid. The word I'm forgetting is lid. I put a lid yeah. on the dish, and I just fucking slow cooked it for like an hour in the oven, and this is the the sauce. Ooh. That is uh, that was left over. So Simon is getting another shirt, but he's probably like having a choke while he's at it because his hide's wearing off. So yeah, probably. I'm, I'm eating the the cheddar chippies with a homemade like cheesy parmesan sauce. That because it's cold, it's thick like a dip. Nom mm. nom 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 nom, making me hungry. That's what I was saying the other day. It's like I eat a lot at night because I barely eat during the day, and I know it's unhealthy. But I just no, it's not. I'm so no, it's food. not for your metabolism. No, you're not, not supposed to really. You're not supposed to like eat the way I eat at this hour of the evening. Who says? Nutritionalists and health specialists. Yeah, they're full of shit. Oh. Man. They're seriously full of shit. Just having kids, man, man it, it fucking changes you. It's like a game changer for your diet. There's no such thing as having three meals a day is meant to be healthy and all that bullshit. I never said that. No, no, but you're saying you're not meant to be eating now. You're meant to be eating the normal. To, yeah, you're not supposed to be breakfast eating. Breakfast time, dinner time, time, lunchtime crap. Mm -hmm. no, that's mm -hmm. bullshit. No, it's based on our circadian rhythm. No, you eat when you're hungry. Simple. <laughs> That's it. I love your logic. Eat when you're fucking hungry. That's what your body's designed to tell you. To... When you're hungry, you fucking eat. Where is Simon? Simon fucked off. And I don't know why. Yep. So that's an official Simon maneuver. Yep. Good day. Eric Thompson. Eric Thompson. This toolkit has too many wrenches. Well, how about I give you a wrench as well? Then you'll have another wrench. Dude. <laughs> How you going, Eric? Uh, in girl speaks, do you want to know what you just offered? What? <laughs> you just offered to give Eric a handy. What? That's what chicks sometimes will be like, oh, like it's code for wrenching is a hand job. I don't want it wrenched off. <laughs> That's why you just said, I'll give you a wrench. And I was like, oh my God, what? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Women Speak 101. It's a trap. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a negative ghost rider. The pattern is full. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <coughs> That's funny. Exactly. And as long as they're different sizes, and he'd got like a plumber's wrench, and he got the, the multi-size one, the adjustable wrench, and then he got the Imperials, and then he got the metrics. Shut up. <laughs> this bitch <laughs> <coughs> and we've broken Donald again that uh, sounds a bit painful to uh, <laughs> yeah. no it's not it's not painful it's um it all depends on who's handling yeah but a wrench is used for wrenching things off that's why it's called a wrench so I don't want no wrench 
Yeah, and yet the terminology is getting yourself off. It's still, it's like the fucking same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's good <laughs> 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 Mind you, we both Donald in public transport just now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> as long as they're different sizes, that was about to go <laughs> two ways and can choose to clean the route. I did. Uh, he was talking about that and I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I can keep it above board. <laughs> Simon broke us. Simon broke everything. Simon fucked this stream up so bad. This could have been good. Coulda. Coulda, but didn't. I'm a bit bummed about that, though. That was me. I'm really interested to see what it's going to be, though. <laughs> bit of coconut. Gems on me. I think it's an Aussie. I'll be interested to see what it's going to be. I'm keen. Because I'm not going to lie, a lot of your notes appeal to me. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not it's not bad. It's not unpleasant. It'll and be interesting to see its price point. It'll be interesting to see its price point. Well, that's true. Mm. I mean, if it is an Aussie, it's going to be bloody expensive. I know. <laughs> Did Simon develop a laugh attack again? No, he went off to go and do something and then he just hasn't come back. No, but earlier he had heaps of laugh attacks. Oh my God. Yeah, that's because Simon- to kick him out. Simon- <laughs> had to go to the corner. He fucked off to quickly build a house in the gutter and he moved there. Yeah, pretty much. That's his postal <laughs> address now. <laughs> like, Simon- I, I changed out of a dress into, into a hoodie because of shame. <laughs> yeah. I needed to I needed something to be able to do this. Every time Simon says something, I needed to be able to just do these ones. Well, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna drink Ardbeg. I didn't drink Ardbeg, it's trash. Remember why though. Remember why I don't drink Ardbeg, so you gotta give me a bit of a break there. I will get there. True, but you can't call it trash. For me, no, for me, right now, my thingy's gone weird again. For me, right now, I beg right now is trash. In a year's time, I might only be drinking I beg. Well, you can just say you don't like it. No, because I think it tastes repulsive right now. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like the way it smells. I don't like anything about it right now. But that's because I have such like negative emotions towards cigarette and it just tastes like I'm looking at an ashtray. Yep, I get that. That's So I'm I'm in the process of doing everything I can to work past that so that I can open up this massive range, them's not fighting words, Jim, to open up this massive range of amazing whiskey, amazing peated whiskeys that I'm missing out on. The dog house is the gutter. Uh, the dog house in the gutter. The do oh, the dog house in the gutter. Sorry, my apologies. I read what I wanted to read. My bad. <laughs> She's officially on the shit list. shit list. They're coming for you now. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> who leads the charge, though? Give me a celebrity, a male celebrity, who will lead the charge, and I will have a delightfully inappropriate retort. What? For the cult of Ardbeg. That's Pick Christina. Who you think would love Ardbeg and would lead that charge against me? Because I will have a, depending on the celebrity, I will have a delightfully inappropriate retort. Well, it's the overlord of the not cult, Christina. Who? Christina from the tribe. Celebrity. Which is a celebrity in the world of Ardbeg. She's the High Priestess. I am aware. I watched that episode. Where's my... I just had it. Oh, hang on, I do have it. I am aware. 
I'm good. <laughs> Sean Connery. <laughs> Did you have to go there? Because that's just sad. Now I just want to cry. I know, right? That's, yeah, that's just sad. That makes me so sad. Also, and he was Lefroig. Lefroig? Lefroig. What was his? Lefroig. He liked it, Lefroig. Lefroig, yeah. No, he was rumored to say. Yeah, um, I think it was Lefroig. Yeah, Lefroig. There's actually pictures of him promoting them and everything because that, that's what he preferred. No, he did it for an ad. There's photos of him off screen and stuff, and he, that's what he was drinking. A lot of that. Yeah, a lot he's of, a Scotsman. Of course, he's going to drink it. <laughs> that's a good point. You got me. Good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he likes fucking scotch. <laughs> he ain't give a fuck. Speaking of, Whiskey Tribe has just posted six new clips on their Patreon. And also uh, speaking of, if you guys haven't subscribed to the Scotch Down Unders Patreon, please do so as uh, as soon as possible if you feel so inclined to do so. If you do not feel so inclined to do so, there is a new donation function here. You can now tip and you get a snazzy ding happening on the screen. Well, what just happened? I made us bigger. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm so confused. What happened? But yeah, if you do not wish to, you know, join the Patreon, you're lost really because you are going to be losing out on extra content. You can just do a quick sneaky Thank you, Donald. Tippy tip. That's right. I remember that. It is Prince Charles's baby. Prince Charles yep. is a fucking creeper, but okay. Was. He was reported to like it. He I went there and fell in love with the place. I don't give a crap. They're a bunch of racist fucking pedophiles. And their church is just a bunch of murderers, so... Anyway. Ah. Belichin. It's not his warrant. That's... I don't drink it. No, it's not his warrant. Mm. It's way back. The Whiskey Tribe drink stream for the seventh, uh, for the ninth of the seventh, or whatever. Yeah, ninth of the seventh. Actually, it begins in about three hours. So, because you got me curious, so I just jumped on the Patreon to see what was going on. And um, yeah, the what stream? The Whiskey Tribe. Yeah, which stream? They have on um, YouTube in about three hours, they have a Whiskey Tribe drink stream happening in the other Oh, house. sorry, Donald. I'll take that back. Mm. I was thinking when they first got the warrant. No, it's his, the Prince of Wales. It is, yep. I stand corrected. Okay. I was thinking back when I was reading the history when they got the first warrant. I was trying to think back to him. And then I remembered, wait a minute. It's only warranted... For a certain amount of time and then it goes away and they have to reapply and get it again. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that I I've seen that. It's stupid. It's fucking awesome. If you say so. Your opinion. And you wish you wish you are very much entitled to. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, something I haven't had for a while. What? Lagavulin. Pardon? Lagavulin. Mm. Mm. You haven't actually. I just could decide which one I want. I might have the name. <laughs> That's why you and David need to drink together. <laughs> he loves that one. I don't mind it. He 
he loves that so much. So I ended up making sure, yeah. He's got about that much left in his first bottle. So I made sure I bought it. Yeah, I got a second. You make me want my Del Winnie. Del Winnie? I had some of that the other day. My Winter Storm. Mm, my Winter Storm. Oh, no, no, you got the 15. Yeah. Now, uh, that bottle that there that you're about to have again, we purchased that and we gifted that bottle to my obstetrician gynecologist who birthed my daughter because she was a she was like the moment she ex like came into the world she was loud and she was making everyone aware she was she existed she was good um so because she's named after a planet that essentially just kills everybody uh we and her middle name is actually from game of thrones we gifted her we gifted him that bottle with a um a card that we wrapped around it that said from Miranda hear me raw because she was so pronounced her vocal cords were so intact like perfect perfect sounding when she was born and he's like it was the, it was the best he absolutely loved it noise mm. I don't have the doll any 15. get one I've heard good things I've heard good things. I just don't have it. I think you might like it. I really like it. Stuff that you like. I think you'll yeah. like it. Darwin is really good. I have heard amazing things about it. I just haven't gotten around to getting one. Mmm, that's good. What's on my Reddit? That's good. Yeah, it's like <laughs> but that's also kind of what you expect at one thirty in the morning. True. I'm sitting back, having a dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. I figured I'm going to try. I'll, I'll, I'll bring something different to the table. So I've jumped on r slash ask Reddit because they give you like it's just random people asking them random questions. All right. So here's here's a question. And uh, hang on, hang on with this. Pictures aside, <laughs> pictures Talisker. Anyway. Is <laughs> it's so great bridge whiskey for people getting into peep. I agree. It's definitely a great bridge whiskey to do something. Talisker and Highland Park. They're big, both good entry level peeps and kill Leela. anyway what was your question yep yep <laughs> donald has seen it oh he's seen oh pictures aside <laughs> So I was like, Talisker is a good entry level whiskey. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. And that's why he emphasized <laughs> um, Pippa's aside. I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Okay. I'd completely forgotten about that until you were. Uh, uh, it took all no. this time for it to drop. <laughs> no. Mm. no mm. Um. I am a bisexual woman in a heterosexual relationship who is female leading in 2021. I live in the gutter. I just have manners. So that's what differentiates me and Simon. Hmm. Is I have manners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so. Walking so, Simon. 
I think Talisker has been ruined for several <laughs> Jim, yeah. Jim, darling, Jim, dearest, a sweet Jim, Jim. Have you seen it? Have you seen what we're talking about? I think that's what he wrote that for. <laughs> I know, but I have to double check. Jim, dear. Yeah. Have you seen what we're talking about? And I'm so sorry if people keep wondering why I'm playing with my hair. I washed my hair tonight, and because I have sensory issues, I actually don't like the feeling of like so much hair touching me, which is why my hair's up a lot. But because it's freshly washed, I have to let it like stay out, otherwise it goes weird. You actually know how to behave during a serious tasting. It was a serious tasting at one point. Yeah. Good day. K-O-H-E-N. Another Cohen! Cohen, hi. Hi! Green scratch down under. Um, no, I was actually incredibly excited about this tasting, mainly because it's relevant to me. It's incredibly relevant to me because it does have, it's got the possibility to decide whether I do or do not buy next month's whiskey. And it went, <laughs> the, the, the tasting went down the fucking train. It did. Oh. I recall seeing something involving a telescope bottle and a female. And a female? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A female what? A female what? <laughs> we don't exist based on just our gender alone. The word is woman. Don't dehumanize us. All right. So, random question. You ready? Shoot. Okay. People in the comments, it's please feel free to answer said random question. Knows. G'day, Marty. What fictional character would you slap and why? Fictional character would I slap and why? What fictional character would you slap and why? Oh, shit. So, yep, yeah, please. Uh, in the comments, please feel free. What fictional character would you slap and why? Read that. I can't stop laughing when someone comments on the briny nature of Talisker. Uh. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny because like the day after I went and had a bath, I had a bath and I was trying to pick my whiskey for like my bath whiskey. And I did pick the Game of Thrones Talisker. And um, I sent a photo of the whiskey on the bath ledge. It was really nice because, like, my bath was a galaxy bath bomb from Lush. So it was really, really, really pretty. Really beautiful photo. And I posted it on my Instagram. And I tagged Travis from um, the Whiskey Tribe in it. And I was like, can anyone else taste brain notes or is it just me? <laughs> and I put it on my Instagram because I was like, there is no way people in the whiskey community are going to either, like, they're going to miss it if they haven't seen it. And if they have seen it, anyone who laugh reacts to that photo, I know that those are my people. <laughs> yep. I was like, how do I find my whiskey people? I'm going to post that and make a sneaky, inappropriate uh, comment. You got two of them? Oh. Oh, I want one. Nice. Cheers, oh. you two crazies. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so, what character, fictional yes. character am I? Yeah, playing? so guys, so seriously, um, if you could slap a fictional character, who would it be and why? Or even just if you don't, if you don't want to give me a why, just if you could slap a fictional character, who would it be? Gal Dukat for killing Judzia Dax. Who? Gal Dukat for killing Judzia Dax. Mine would be 
the entire cast of Twilight. I'd rather produce, uh, slap the the person who made that show. Oh my God. <laughs> but that's not a fictional character. That's a real character. Yeah, I was going to say see, that's a problem. Stephanie Meyer actually exists. So fictional characters, I would slap the shit out of every single fucking Twilight character. I would. And then after that, it would probably be Sakura-chan from Naruto. Because fuck her. Never seen Naruto, so I wouldn't know who that is. And that's okay. Never seen Twilight, so I have no idea who the fuck they are. That's okay. I know. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, you actually <laughs> I'm very happy with that. You are. Huh? Don't wrong, Sakura has some amazing character development way down the track, but oh my god. Bitch needs some hard life lessons. Who else? No. Think of it. Who else, guys? Oh, I'm with you on that, Donald. Yes. Yes. I totally agree. Good series. And there's there's something I I was watching a documentary the other day, and there's something I didn't know about is when Sir Patrick Stewart was going to play when he first started playing the role of Jean Luc Picard in the Next Generation. He asked Gene Roddenberry, "You got to give me something." Mm. So. Gene Roddenberry just gave him the whole fucking book series of Horatio Hornblower. He goes, there's everything you need to know. I'm like, fuck yeah. I can see that. Mm. I know, hon. It's not very dark, I would say. Mid-coloured at best, but everything doesn't need to be saturated. I have plenty of monsters and a little bit of saturated whiskey. Mm. Okay. So what's the port like on it? I would slap Disney because they are Disney. Well, that's not fictional. We're talking fictional characters. Perhaps Disney, because they are Disney. Oh, you recently read the whole series. Oh, nice. I need to go back and uh, watch the series. I like that series. Mm. I should read the books again, too. I just don't have time, though. And when I get into a book like that, I can't put it down, so I never get anything done. <laughs> I was going to say, I had to stop myself reading at about 4.30 in the morning the other day. I was reading The Vet from Snowy River, and I was like, nope. Yep. Put it down, bitch. Put it down. It's 4.30. Go to bed. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here's one for you. All right, I want to slap the stupid road, the stupid road runner. It's just okay. real sympathy for Wild E. Cody. <laughs> you do realize though that the road runner is actually bound by a very specific set of rules and laws, right? Wild E. Cody has no one to blame but his own stupidity. And using Acme products. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Yeah, but. He's bound by his own stupidity because the Roadrunner is not allowed to leave the bitumen. Nope. It's really not that effing hard. 
there's been quite a few people that have been able to prove Wiley Coyote could have caught the Roadrunner multiple times by now. He just doesn't because he he doesn't he he overthinks everything. He overthinks everything. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Wiley Coyote gets no sympathy from me. No more time. Mickey Mouse so it's ever worked for him. I have and it's worse than what do they say? Oh, uh, are you talking about I can imagine. Are you talking about Disneyland? Like is that what he means? He worked at Disneyland? Is that what that means? Not Disneyland, yeah. but for Disney. But for Different Disney. Blog. Yeah, um my uh, fuck Star Wars and everything else. Yeah. My aunt was a Disney artist. She actually was the original creator of the design for Timon and Pumbaa. Uh, she did the design for Stitch. And they control their artists so horrendously to the point where she can't even doodle on a napkin in a cafe without just out of boredom without Disney owning it. And they can find her, they can really? sue her. So when her contract was finally up, she had to go and she had to like fight for the fr for her freedom just to get away from Disney. So like, I get it, I do get it, but that's not the artist's fault. That is corporate. Here, so, here, Frederick, here, here, fucking oath. It was funny today, oh, I was reading on, on a post thing and somebody was saying, if there was one TV series that you want to see another that doesn't air anymore that you want to see another season of and all these people like it must have been australian post because people were putting like gilmore girls and shit and i'm like are you fucking serious and then somebody put firefly and it was like ten thousand fucking likes yeah. and all these comments like yeah 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 I'm like yeah put it this way even um what the fucking hell what's his name i've literally just blanked i hate my brain so much sometimes um what's his name guys help me out disney's what? evil no 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 the guy who the actor who plays malcolm reynolds and richard castle captain hot pants um Hotpants. yes fuck what's his name nathan fillion okay yeah even nathan fillion has been petitioning. Even Nathan Fillion is has like tried going to Fox, going, I will fund this. I will fund the next season. But they refuse to relinquish the rights to it. Fox is the ones who are to blame, guys. And they won't relinquish the rights. So Cohen, was was it hell being a river as in in the costume or working for the working crew on, and shit? I hated working on Firefly. It was hell being a river. <laughs> what? confused yeah no legit legit what legit he was a reaver who is this person he's done heaps of stuff i'm so confused his person i've never i've never interacted with this human being before so i need like you've got to give me something okay so Co cohen has done a whole bunch of stuff so yeah, is he, he like was, an extra? Is he an extra? Okay. Yeah. Both, and I worked on the movie, but not the show. Okay, my daughter's mm -hmm. name is Miranda. So was it suck just being a reaver, or was it sucky as in the whole crew and? directors and all them mm. yeah Cohen's done heaps of shit okay this is the first time i've interacted with this person before ah mm. Cohen, julie julie Cohen. I normally am like a lot more feminine than this. I'm I am actually appearing incredibly masculine today. Well, this morning, but that's because Del Vecchio wouldn't stop flipping me off and being inappropriate. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna hide in my hoodie now, you little bitch. 
and guess who's passed out. <laughs> yeah, we think he fell asleep. Like, I was even wearing a dress and I looked cute and shit, and now I just don't care. <laughs> Fucking Simon. It's all good. Okay. So, here's one for you. Here's another one. You wake up tomorrow and realize the Earth's population has suddenly disappeared. What is the first thing you do? As in last man on earth gonna deal? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Or it can be like a Noah's Ark kind of deal. If you can't bear the concept of not having, like, cause it's just, it's just figuratively. But if you can't bear creating like that moment in your mind for just a second where your children aren't involved, like your wife and your kids aren't there, then yeah, sure. Like go, go the Noah concept, but no, I like the last man on earth. So, okay. So I wake up and cause there is the movie. What is it? Um, I'm trying and to move them. Right and it and it was summer, summer, right the production was cheap and a half ass. Oh, that's a shame. I can imagine. I can imagine. Hmm. That would have been nasty. That is one thing, actually. Now, I, I do remember um, Nathan Fillion was actually pushing for Fox to do Don't Even Get Me Started on Disney. It's all good, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, run, st run Stark Bullet. Stark Bullet naked through the streets blasting Black Sabbath. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Don, <laughs> your existence makes me so happy. <laughs> I would go to the nearest camping store slash weapon store and get all the ammunition and weapons and a big fucking truck and lots of fucking supplies of food and water and stuff like that. Okay. But you're the last person on earth, so it's not like you have to hoard it. You can just go out whenever you feel like it because it's not like anyone's going to take your stuff. Yeah, but I don't know that. I have no idea what's coming, what there is. If there's anyone left, I just know that the, everything's fucking gone. No one's around. Okay, okay. So point, I'm getting some point. shit in case some shit happens. Oh and besides, at least I'll have some shit. Yep. So, yeah. And then I'll try and get some communications, like shortwave, and try and see if there's a signal, set up a bunker somewhere. And then get more supplies and make sure I've got my resources intact and yeah. Okay. And try and find out what the fuck's going on. Well, what put it this way, one person fifteen minutes ago commented, Wait, are my immediate family and pets okay? And OP was like, No. That's what I said. No. <laughs> so this person's no. like, Don't fuck with my puppy, goddammit. <laughs> what kind of stupid world is this? Who did this? I'm gonna find you. <laughs> and then everyone's like, dude, I think we just found John Wick. <laughs> ah, cool. Japanese yeah, productions are the best and they treat people civil, not like the Holly Wits. Yeah, I can imagine. That's it. See, here's the thing. For OP, OP, OP's question also includes the whole, yeah, no, there's like no pets and wildlife or anything like that. It's just you are the only like living pe being. And I was like, then the entire world is fucked. It, it's well, there's no animals. Yeah, no animals, like I guess, because that's kind of what they've implied. No animals. And I'm like, well, the whole world is fucked anyway. Because when you think about it... Um, is that... What? So there's no flora and fauna, everything's dead. I don't know. It hasn't been implied. It's just like kind of like your basic pets and basic basic animals, I guess. It's it's there's a lot of loopholes in this question that you can really like poke up. But my issue is Well it should be you wake up, there's no humans. End of story. Wake up and no humans, yeah, cool. That I'll accept. I'll run with that. Happily, I'll run with that. Because if you then yeah. have to wake up and there's no animals or anything, I'm like, well, the ecosystem is fucked. The entire biosphere is fucked. Because there's no bees. Well, if there's no animals, are you talking fucking um, the whole biome in your body? Because they'll you would fucking instantly die. Loopholes, my bro. Loopholes. Well, you can't have any fucking loopholes. It's just no, no fucking humans. That. That's it. 
That's it. Are we talking? Are we talking? Okay, there's still single cell cell organisms, but no, then we're animals, so we can't survive. Do you see why I love this subreddit r slash ask reddit? <laughs> it's like if you're going to simulate a theory, I mean a, a hypothetical situation. Yeah. Do it so it makes fucking sense and there's no fucking stupid, like, you can't have animals. Like, well, you got to define that. That's such a vague fucking, yeah. I love, I love Donald's answer to my question. I want to build the world's biggest bonfire of Johnny Walker Red. I love it. Oh my God, I'm stuck. <gasps> Mistakes were made. Oh my God. Ow. Fuck. Ow. I changed out of my dress. My and white walker fur. I changed out of my ankle length dress, and I put shorts on, and I didn't sit back on my comfy cushion. Aren't you cold? No. Huh. No, not really. What? I'm from the tropics. Like. I know, but it's like cool. Yeah, it's actually not that cold tonight for some reason. It's only eleven degrees. Well, it's because it's been pissing down with fucking rain, so the humidity is to the roof. That's true. Oh. <laughs> I'm sitting on a lacquered wooden chair and I'm an idiot and I didn't think this through. Now my ass is stuck to the chair. Oh, yeah. No, that's no fun. I'm fucking terrified. You have to peel it off. <laughs> Does anyone have a spatula? <laughs> no, you just got to lean over and peel it off side by side. You can't oh, twist because yeah. you make half of your flesh with it. <laughs> So can I, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna yeet myself off the chair. <laughs> gonna yeet yourself off. I'm so. I've read that saying in a while. Yeet. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Oh, I got one guy. Actually, the cockroaches wouldn't survive that long. One guy's answer. The very he's just said the very first thing I would do is check to see if I still had internet. Well, I would be. That'd be the first thing I'd be doing. Oh, well, have you seen that series? There was a series. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was all about what would happen to the Earth if humans disappeared overnight. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. It's awesome. It is amazing. 2pm, the odd time you're debating a drink or a lunch. Got to love Fridays. Also true, yeah. 2 p.m. The odd time you're debating a drink or lunch. Well, that's when you asked eight ball. Do you say eight ball? I'm gonna. Well, everyone's distracted. I'm gonna <gasps> have a drink. The second thing Ken would do is start a live stream and pour a dram. <laughs> If I still had internet. <laughs> if you still had internet. Oh, that's probably the stupidest thing I've done today. <laughs> what does eight ball come up with? <laughs> Have you tried smashing your whiskey bottle over a table? <laughs> Fucking Simon. <laughs> Are you still stuck to that chair? I don't know. I'm half off. I have one leg to go and I'm cringing so bad. <laughs> Jim's like face palm. I need to get that fucking Picard face palm. You really do, yeah. I need to have that as a pop up. Ow, fuck! It is certain. I guess either or Ow. isn't the eight ball thing. No, it's only a yes or no kind of fucking answer. Ow, 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 ow. There's no if or and. Ah, so I had the Brook Lady 25 year old and the Long Row 21 year old earlier, Dustin. Fuck yeah. That Brook Lady 25 is pretty fucking tasty. Heaps of tobacco and leather. Mm -hmm. It's good.
Guess we'll ask, should I drink? Red apple. Ask and answer. Very nice. I literally only got up so I could put on the kettle. Because it. Oh, I'm about to do that. I was about to do it again. Explanation point. Eight ball. For the one G, it better be. Yeah. Yeah, I need. I only had a sample that Frederick sent me. Very much thankful for that sample. He both got a bunch of it at the border shop in Deutschland. Spring Bank eight. Isn't that what I had? All the nine. Spring Bank eight. On the long road twenty one, it was fucking delicious, Frederick. No, it was good. You did ask when we were in the stream, but yeah. No, it's fucking delicious. I need to explore it a bit bit more. No, very tasty. I, I like the, the, the funk that's on it. And the, the long row the yeah, it wasn't overpowering with the funk, it wasn't too musty or anything like that, but it was nicely balanced. Definitely tasty. I need to go back and have another go at it. Yeah, that's spring bait, ain't? Eh? That's fucking delicious. There's only yeah, a couple little sips of the long row. So, what would you do? Me? Julie, if you wake up and all the humans disappeared. Check your phone. <laughs> I check for news articles. <sighs> yeah, well, that's what I'd be going. I'd be checking the phone to see if there's still their connectivity. Well, there'd be no, news, there'd be the no news articles because there'd be no one to publish them. Well, if something happened. But, yeah, but, no yeah, but if the... Okay, but okay. if you just woke right. up, like, if you were unconscious and then you woke up, no humans, then, okay, yeah, okay. there probably oh, wouldn't be any. So if article. there was a time lapse, if there was a time lapse, I'm sure there would be news articles or something that could help me. Kind of like Alice. Like Alice from Resident Evil. Like, that, that sort of time lapse. So, like, that, I get that. That I get. But if it was more of a, I, like, something happened, I hit my head, and there was, like, a, like a Thanos moment. No fucking clue what yeah. happens to everybody because no one's there to report it. Yeah, but when you're unconscious and you wake up and you come back into consciousness, then, yeah, there's no humans. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, but if it was a Thanos moment and there was no one, like, because everyone vanishes in an instant, there's no one there to report what had happened anyway, so I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't know what had happened. No. Nah. So there's so that. Cars would be What's smashing all the... Oh, think of all the cars. Damn. If all the humans just disappeared, all the cars would be smashed and burning and planes falling out of the sky and shit. It's going to be some crazy shit. R slash ask Reddit. <laughs> It'll fucking make you <laughs> That's um, why I said I'd, 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 I want my bunker with my supplies. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to like, I'll do, I should do this as a stream. I might do this as a stream like next week or something. I'll go through R slash ask Reddit and I'll I'll write down a list of like the the most interesting questions I find and I'll ask everyone. I'll be like, okay, I'll like, you know, hey guys, we're gonna do we're gonna do an, an asking sort of a ha have a dram with me while I ask you ask you the audience the weirdest hypothetical questions. drinks. Hypothetical Pardon? drinks, you call it hypothetical drinks, that's what you call it. Hypothetical drinks is something I could I could do that, I could do that next week. I might do that next Friday. Oh no, because you're on on Fridays. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I've got, to, I've got I RSL to, next Friday, so. See, that's the thing. I don't want to be on when other people are going to be on. No, well, I don't think I'll be on. Well, if I'm not. Well, if I am, you come on this one. And if I'm not, then I'll go on yours. If I go on 
Well, yeah. yeah. We can do that. Because I won't be starting until 8 30, 9 o'clock next I Friday. I won't start until 8 30, 9 o'clock anyway because of the kids. Yeah, well, I'm the same. So. Yep. Okay, so either or. Either or. Yeah. You'll have to show me how to do all of this, by the way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there's a little bit involved. <laughs> I fucking figured. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit involved. Yeah, I figured that We can work through it. I don't know. It's so much... It depends how much time time and effort you want to spend on fucking around with it all. Really, it's more along the lines of what do I do where I'm not going to get fucking done for copyright and shit like that, or am I just going to have to freaking sit here and dick around and design my own shit? And... What do you mean for copyright? I don't want I don't want whatever color schemes and whatever I use to get flagged. And uh, well, it's you're not going to get flagged for that. You'll be surprised. Some people are petty. No, they're just bitching and complaining if there's something similar. But if you're using your own colors and your own logo and you just can't use copyright materials in music and images and sound. Yeah. Also true. But, um, yeah, no, there's definitely something I want to do, so. <sighs> I don't know. How much for the 21 long row, Cohen? Joyride and McLaren. Oh yeah, go to your nearest fucking dealer and grab the Ooh, Ferraris, Lambos, oh Porsche okay. and shit. Okay, that'd definitely be on my list. Bay wrong. Oh, you'd have to do that. Nope. Yeah. I, I, if I don't, if I don't joyride at an airport. I mean, I did the, He did that. I think he did that in the movie. In that movie, but the problem is, you're gonna have so much shit on the fucking roads. That's why I was saying I would find a Veyron and I would go to my nearest airport. Yeah, but the airport's going to be... Oh, uh, okay. You're going to be more likely to find a clear strip on an airport, like at an airport, True. than anywhere else. Your chances are higher. She will soon. Does She's only got one episode. One ep um, yeah, I do. I, yeah, I do. Um... But I've been so freaking busy because we've ever because we moved state and we moved over here a few months ago, and I've just been so busy, um, just kind of trying to establish like my kids into programs and do all that sort of stuff. So I haven't had time to really sit down and worry about my own sort of stuff, I guess. So I um, I had a mate send me a mystery box of treats from America, and. I did a, uh, an unboxing of that. So I did that live. So that's there. And any lives, I do have to go back. I do have to go back for any of the lives of yours that I've been in. So I can put them in my list, in my um, playlist. And if you go onto my channel and go to my playlist, you'll actually see a playlist like called Feature oh, Guest. Um, you'll see a playlist called Feature Guest. And those are any of the live streams that I've been on. I've been on a few. I just haven't uploaded, like updated them all yet. I'm still, I'm still getting to it. I'm sorry. I, I do try not to be this shit, but it just kind of accidentally happens. It's a lot of fucking work. <laughs> That's it. And my kids are incredibly um, reliant on me because of their age bracket. So. Yep. Yeah. We don't have snow plows here, Donald, but we can definitely get a fucking couple of trucks, tractors, caterpillars, slash oh, shit, yeah. we just vehicles to push some shit off the fucking road. We literally just <laughs> well, you can build a fucking, up. you can build a fucking big snow plow type thing to push all the fucking cars off the road. <laughs> uh, I definitely uh, have a tank to run around in. Okay, that's a question I'm going to ask. All right, I'm going to save this one. I should actually just like, get a notepad because I just found a question I'm going to ask next week. And yes, it is. Hobbit Who Drinks is the name of the channel. Yeah. The Hobbit Who Drinks is my channel. Oh, hello, by the way. I don't to... think I've interacted with you before. I'm going to get the link. Where is Hobbit Who Drinks from? Hobbit Who Drinks is originally from the East Coast. Uh, the reason why I don't sound very Australian is because I'm first generation born here. My mother is, is Sicilian and um, 
my grandparents put me through a incredibly expensive um incredibly expensive school when i was around four, 14 through to essentially my graduating years so um it was a it was a grammar school of only and in my class it was only about like 20 something children and there was 13 different nationalities and because i have adhd and I have PTSD, my brain is wired a little differently. I subconsciously mirror accents and I don't realize I do it. It's apparently that's an incredibly ADHD common trait. It's part of our, um, part of our brain's way of helping us to survive and to get us to, to fit into the society that we're interacting with at the time. So I don't sound very Australian. I'm not from Canada. No matter how many times people ask, I was born here. I was born in Sydney, in um, in Cogra, actually. But right now, I live, I live in Western Australia. I moved over here in January. I live about four hours south of Ken, actually. Yep. Yes. I'm in the sticks. Yeah, you in the boondocks. However, though you do have the, you do have like access to some of the best landscapes to photograph. Bullshit. The only reason you say I disagree. The only reason you say bullshit, bullshit. is because you look at that shit every day. To me, that red dirt, nah. that red dirt is nah. stunning for me. Nah, get me down, get me back down south. Pass. I'm gonna go north. Well. It- I'm in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. If I go up north to the Karajini, then there, I've got some epic shit. And I go down south, I've got some epic shit. Where yeah. I am, this fuck all. Fair it enough. sucks balls. That's fair enough. It really does. I mean, I'm a photographer. <laughs> it sucks. It really does. So good. Um, let's see. Where was it? Scrolling, 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 keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I think um, you should have some more subs now. <laughs> so, Drenna, or Drenna, depending on how you want to pronounce it, you're supposed to roll your R's, but it, uh, um, from earlier, Drenna. she's also from the East Coast. She's one of mine. Uh, she's also from the East Coast, and she does photography. She's going. Yeah, to, I get that when she did the comment. Yeah, she's, she's going to come and yeah. visit at some point, so I'll um I'll probably bring her up. Hell yeah! So, yep, we go shooting. Yeah, so um What's I she will, shoot? like obviously, so no one is, is she a people shooter. Pardon? Is she weddings people? Is she portraits people? Or landscape, or... She's in the middle. She's just starting her PhD in uh, creative arts and design, and photography is her main medium. And she's doing her... um, She's doing her final piece on what is called... I'm trying to think... I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's it's essentially, like, the movement of life. Um, And her studies are just based on documentation of the fleeting moments in life. So what you capture in photo that is all that is it okay she's that, mo- that oh. moment can never be recreated again that moment itself in that one photograph is art in and of itself there's one video going of the there are no videos the whole unboxing shit. of american candy yeah so i do yeah i do have one um but you should also be able to see my playlists and i've been in um some of the whiskey trek videos and everything as well because we have a star trek related uh thing we do every second saturday tim yep, Horton's that's actually that's what i was saying i couldn't okay i was gonna say that about donald when he mentioned run, like running stalkers uh, i was gonna say that's exactly where he's going but i could not remember the name tim hortons to save my life my cousins frodo and bilbo on the show <laughs> 
Frodo's my bitch. What of it? <laughs> okay. Uh, just to give you a quick little rundown, because again, first interactions and everything. The reason why I'm called the Hobbit who drinks is because I went to Hobbiton in New Zealand. I was the shortest member of our tour party at the time. And the tour guide used me as the perfect example. She took my measurement and used, my, used me as a perfect example and put me against the, the doorway for the largest Hobbit house uh, or Hobbit hole, whatever you wish to call it, um, in Hobbiton. And the extra, we were informed that the extra, the actors and actresses who were extras in the film, the tallest they could be was 164 centimeters, which is five foot four. I am exactly 164 centimeters. So I was told by the woman running the uh, Hobbiton Shire tour that I am a hobbit. So ever since then, I have been known as the Hobbit Who Drinks. If you look on Instagram and you search the hashtag Hobbit Who Drinks, I am the only content creator who actually uses that hashtag. I also use Hobbit Who Gardens and I think Hobbit Who Cooks or Bakes or something roller. So yeah, I'm the only one who uses it. Yeah, because I'm a short ass. Yeah, I'm a short ass too. Hmm. I'm not as pussy as Bilbo in the first movie, but I'm also definitely not as bitchy as Elijah Wood. In... So it's... <laughs> yeah. I'm more like... And I'm a little bit more obnoxious than Pippin. So. Alright, we got 10 minutes till 0 two thirty, and then I'm kicking it in the guts and get some Z's. Sounds good. Yeah, all right, we'll do that, we'll do that next week then. Yep, so it's now Saturday. All right. So next week, yeah, so I've got to edit a video for next Friday Good day. and DJ do Star Trek. Kibble! Exactly. Good. Two things come in small packages. Yeah, I've been called. I haven't, um, even, taken, I haven't even taken the fucking... The files off the cameras yet for <laughs> the episodes we filmed. <laughs> yeah, I've been called like I've been called fun size, I've been called snack size, um, all of that sort of stuff. So Well, Carly, my missus has got a shirt with um Elmo on it. I'm not small, I'm fun size. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your missus is shorter than me, isn't she? No, no, she's taller than me. She's like that much taller than me. Who is it that's shorter than me? She's a couple of inches taller than me. Yeah, I'm trying to remember who it was. It was some someone was on <laughs> someone was on stream recently, and their missus was like five foot nothing. I don't remember. Um. Oh, Adriana. Yeah. Yeah, Adriana's real short. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I think that's who it was. I need to get my hair redone because it's like it's it's too long already. It's already irritating me. Bite size. Oh, I need to get it faded because she just did a one point five blade. And I'm like because it was it was like taking all of this, all of my length I had to come off. So she was like, just go for the one point five blade and see how you go. And now Can like, I have some? <laughs> you're, I don't have any. Seriously, like, it doesn't, dude, it doesn't end. Like, this is why it's so fluffy. And the only reason I've had to leave it out tonight is because so it could properly dry so I can go to bed at some point. I do that and I've got the cling on forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love it so much. Okay, I definitely, definitely have a really good. I, I'm gonna. That's, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Hypothetical whiskey, or hypothetical drinking. Five foot four is not short. Yeah. Okay. Eric Grande is not even five foot. Yeah, she's tall. I mean, and that's short. cool. Five foot short. Five foot four here is short. 
five foot four yeah. is, is short in relevance to the conversation I just had in relation to hobbits. So to me, I am short. Adriana is adorable. She's not even short. I wonder if she got an ex. She's not short. I wonder if she got an experiment to it. Yeah, she's just adorable. There's no way to talk about her height without sounding patronizing. <laughs> it's not, it's not she'll, she'll chop you to pieces. <laughs> There's no way to talk about her height without sounding patronizing in one way, shape, or form. Let it be known, though, like, she'd kick my ass if she wanted to. Yep. Adriana the machete wielding. <laughs> Definitely don't want to do anything to piss her off. Um, but yeah, so like a fire. That's, where the, like a that's where the hobbit comment comes in. So mm. bite size. Yeah, I've been called bite size before. Mm. Yeah. He's still alive. Fucking internet. <laughs> it's funny because we're leaving. We're leaving in seven minutes anyway. Yeah, well, the same thing happened this morning. Well, yesterday morning. <laughs> the days <dice> disappeared. <laughs> he came in for the last ten minutes. <laughs> no, yeah, my internet it just fucking broke down. Storms? Storms and shitty weather? Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yep. See? See? Our, our, our last, like, hour and a bit of stream has just been Good day. fantastic. And now let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Six minutes. Yeah, Adam, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get stabbed. <laughs> Uh, so how tall do you stand over Adriana, Adam? That was the world telling you to go to bed. What that yawn that I just had? Yeah, like we both just yawned. Like, well, that's just it though. It's, it's almost two thirty. Well, I got, I got five minutes. I can't even. Say, I can't even do the normal five minutes. I had to go straight into the fucking Vulcans. <laughs> I've had four different things tonight, including a cup of coffee. So to recap, okay, there we go. We'll do a quick recap of the evening. Good day. Bower Ben. Ooh. <laughs> G'day, Ben. Robert is so oh, typical. Adam comes in, Ben comes in, and we're just about to call it quits. <laughs> no. God damn it. I'm four inches taller. How do you get five foot and five foot four is seven inches difference? How does that happen? I don't know. I'm, I'm, really, I'm only four inches taller than her. Uh, okay, so to recap my evening, I enjoyed a couple of drams of my 15 year Glenfiddich Solera. I barely, barely made it halfway through that stupid Glen Marnock. That's <laughs> disgusting. Um, yeah. I did enjoy a dram of my Malt Master Singleton because I really do like it. No matter what anyone <laughs> says, I will fight you. And I did not finish a drink of Wild Turkey 101. Yeah, fair enough. I mixed, I mixed the Glen Marnock and the 101, and this is what I've got. Because I just poured Maybe. it and I was like, fuck off. So that's my evening recapped. Bad math. <laughs> yeah, bad math. Bower Ben. Bad math. Just said so. Has the real issue been tackled? What? Where does the Hobbit stand on Quokka loving? Quokka has. Okay. Um, uh, Quokka loving is really, really, really tricky uh, because they're cliche adorable. They're, they're, so deceptive 
because they're all, look at me, look at me, I'm adorable, feed me, feed me, feed me. I will give you the cutest smile on the effing planet. But the mother, the female clocker, if she feels threatened, she will take her baby out of her pouch, throw it at the predator, and fucking run away. Really? <laughs> yes. Mm. Yes, that is exactly wow. what they do. That is their first self-defense mechanism. Not attack and protect or just run. It is remove the baby, sacrifice the baby, run. Fuck. I have yeah, I zero, zero respect and a lot of fear from any living being that does this. Like, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> oh, shit. And that is where I stand. That is where I stand on Kawakas. I love spiders. I love snakes. All right. Kawakas are fucking awesome. terrifying because you have to be soulless <laughs> to do that. Fucking Kawakas. Quokka smile all the time unless Ben is around. <laughs> and then they throw the baby and run. <laughs> <laughs> Think of is rather decent. Yeah, well, DJ, where the fucking hell were you when I was trying to defend it earlier? Like, honestly. <laughs> Quit yawning. I can't. It's too yeah. funny. It's tired. Mm. But yeah, so that's where I stand. So, yeah, it's in the morning. Ken, before you leave, before we, it's almost 2 30, yep. So, before we leave, recap your evening. Uh, had some drinks, hanged out with some cool people. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Did this uh, tasting of this, which is kind of meh. Kind of meh. Underwhelming. Underwhelming, yeah. Pretty yeah, much. Okay, he uh, means it tastes like shit. <laughs> no, it doesn't taste like shit. It's just a bit underwhelming. Like a lot of the no a lot of what he was saying and a lot of a lot of the, the tasting and the nosing and everything, it actually meets my preferred profiles for what I what I enjoy in a whiskey. So when we find out what you'd, it's you'd actually probably like it, yeah. Yeah, that's you'd what I was thinking. Like when we find out what it's actually going to be, yes, Simon Giggles like a twelve year old boy. We're aware. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I may actually end up buying this one depending on what it is. So we'll have to wait and see. Um well, if it's going to be their normal monthly release, it's not going to be that mm. expensive because they want to yeah. try and keep it below 150 ish. So. That is true. That is really, really, yeah. really true. Yeah. So, yeah, it might not be an expensive Aussie one. Um, but yeah. I mean, it could um, only be a flight. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't cool. well, we were actually just discussing, yeah, we were discussing that earlier. Um, just because I've been so busy, I haven't had time to upload any of my content because I'm also a horticultural, a trade certified horticulturalist and a landscaper. So I do have plant or like plant and propagation and care related content. I just haven't had time to sit and edit it and fuck around with it because the nights that I do have free and I'm not tired and I do want to do something productive, I end up in here. So. Huh? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, because he asked earlier when most, like, when I'm putting videos on my channel. And I'm oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. The nights that I do have where I could be editing and I could be actually uploading content, I'm here instead. So it's... Mm -hmm. And I, like, I yeah, don't, I don't mean, mean the regrets about I, that. I could, be, I could be working and editing and stuff and I'm, I'm, I'm streaming, but mm -hmm. this is fun. It is. That's exactly right. I would yeah. prefer to do this, to be honest. Like, I'll get to, I'll get yeah. to my, I'll get to my existing content whenever I get to it. It's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So no, right. yeah. So she be right. Um, so I'll get, I'll get through this. Right, but we were just discussing uh, next Friday if Ken is not going to be, if Ken's not going to have a live on his channel, I'll have a live on mine. 
But either way, we'll um, we'll have a live next Friday, and we'll do what? We'll, what did you say we should call it? Uh, hypothetical whiskey. Hypothetical, hypothetical whiskey. whiskey. Hypothetical whiskey. What the fuck are you laughing about now, Simon? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just listening to you guys. Make him go away. Fuck it, Simon. Got to run time for Mum's weekly visit. Yeah. Oh shit! Excuse me. Uh, New South Wales is what is that? New South Wales is over what? Cheers, Kenny. Cheers, mate. Mouse plague in New South Wales is over. Read about it a while back. It sounds gross. No, the mouse plague is not over. It is still a massive, massive no, problem fuck no. over in the eastern mm-hmm. states. So mm-hmm. it is not over yet, and um, they're working on Fucking it. Masses. Yeah. I'm gonna have some unc- unfiltered. Nice. Um, <laughs> hashtag boot Simon. <laughs> uh, uh, whistle pick. So mm-hmm. next Friday we'll do a t- whistle pick. Nice. We'll do hypothetical hypothetical whiskey, where I'll um I'll spend I'll spend the week writing up a list of questions, uh, like interactive questions to ask everyone. Um. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a nice we'll have a nice chat, have some drams, and ha- have a good chat about just absolutely anything and everything. So, oh, I hate when you do that. It's so creepy, by the way. You do the neck thing. It's like I'm so terrified of people who do their own chiropractic work. <laughs> I'm, I'm always I'm always anticipating someone goes and cracks their neck, and I'm like I'm waiting for them to collapse because they've just snapped their freaking neck. They're just going. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's just it's a it's a genuine thing. You see enough of those sci-fi horror films, and you're just like, you're ready for anything. It's actually really because of my martial arts background. It's actually really really difficult to break somebody's neck. I have been told, I have been told, but it still doesn't kind of like take away. Because the, the problem is, it's the spinal column from head to toe. It's it's a twisty thing, so you actually have to hold the person. Twist them the opposite direction while you twist the head the and other direction. Part, you also have to do some weird like degree of lift as well. But you yeah, because you really, want to separate like, the vertebrae really, as you do it. Yeah, exactly. yeah, because yeah. you've got to be really careful because you not only have to um, disconnect the vertebrae, you also have to do a weird twist and pull because you have to sever internal you've got to sever like the veins and the arteries no. internally we uh-huh. end up, like decapitating it's, 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 a, it's a whole thing hollywood has fucked it it is it's actually difficult it's yeah. a whole thing but it, because of because of cinema and film i still yeah, know they just got and they just go and it's like no it doesn't work like that you've actually got to turn the other way and then rapidly turn the other way while stopping the body from counter turning Ask again later. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll definitely be live again next Friday. Fuck that able. I'm having a poor then <laughs> finishing my work. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll definitely be live next Friday. And um, I was live the other day on the Munted Pub. Oh, when, was it Wednesday? Is it what? No, when was I? When was I here? I was in the Manta Pub. When was that? Earlier in the week. Oh, it was Monday for JD's unboxing. Monday for JD's unboxing. Yes, I was like, because I didn't. I don't think I came on on the Wednesday stream. No. No, I wasn't. No. And then I was streaming. And then I was streaming last night. And I wasn't. There, no. As well. Okay, so I was on on Monday for the unboxing, and also because it was my birthday, so I wanted to jump on and say hi to everybody. Um. Yes. Yeah. And I'm on tonight. So, because there was a very relevant tasting involved. So, I don't normally bombard Ken's channel. It's uh, it's more of a, we'll talk in advance, and if it's relevant, I'll jump in. So, You're always welcome. I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm aware, but si- Simon likes to have his bromance time, and I feel like sometimes no. I'm, I'm invading. You're nope. not, never, no one's yeah. ever invading the month of nope. pub. It's up. Never. The doors always open. When the lights are on, the doors are open. Exactly. Everyone is welcome. 
We will not actually like, like more people. Yeah. Not welcome. I know. Just the yeah. Gemini's rule. Gemini's rule. Oh, can we not get? What? That's that's not. You're not, are you? We're not talking about this again, are we? Gemini's rule. <laughs> no, no. Gemini's have nothing to do with July. No, he's talking. He's, like, and he's talking not, because of all the birthdays. So. <sighs> I don't think she gets what we mean by quokka loving. No, <laughs> that's an inside joke. Clearly, I. That's why I've got the quokka because Ben says Aussies are mm. quokka fuckers. Exactly. But we're not. I've never heard that, and I've lived here my whole life. <laughs> I know, but he googled it on the stream. <laughs> he reckons there's cases of things been happening to. I know, right? Oh God, Fucking humans. <laughs> Australians have done weirder and worse shit than that. I know. And that's what you focus on? Not talking about me. No. Like, oh, Aussies aren't just just me. Uh, oh, God, just it was meant to be Simon as well. It's not not <laughs> only just me, Simon as well. I don't. Okay. I don't touch those things. Oh. Fucking quackers. That's why I was like, I am. I've never so even seen one. I've never been there. I've never been to. Oh Rodney. really? Yeah. Nah, I've never been to Rodder. Let to go. Just never got around to it. I mean, when you pat them, they're pretty smooth. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Simon. <laughs> oh, God. What did, no, I I said... what did I say the moment he got back here? What did I say? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Man, I get a fucking cookie. <laughs> you do. I get a cookie for being right. There's all the emojis. <laughs> Fully, the bot doesn't kick in. <laughs> because there is not enough of the of an identical emoji in line. The most of the same. I don't know. Well, speaking form. of fucking the bot, it never put any fucking. Mm. Oh, I there's one. one has to once, but back at two thirty. There's one back at two thirty. Yawn. Cream of Kentucky, 12.3 years, single cast. Can been to Rotto, but genuinely can't remember it. Yeah, I've never been there. Simon's so slipping me off again. What? Did he? Slipping me Did off I? Again. I bet. Really? Can't catch a break with this bit. Yeah. Go in the naughty corner. <laughs> be a good boy. Slipping me, bitch. I'll be your look, look, look. That was that wasn't a flip. Mm. Oh. That was. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I didn't see it. Simon, because I was like, I wanted to put on a hoodie because when I, have, I had that moment earlier and I was like, I gotta put on a hoodie, I feel meh. Um, I did that bit. Well, that sucks. Easily the worst buying whiskey when the single barrels aren't better than the single barrels aren't better than the batches. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I put shorts on. I don't on know well. about that, Justin. You're funny. Mm. You're a comedian. No, he's at it again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Justin's turning insane. Hey, Simon. Um, <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> there we go. Simon, I put shorts on, put shorts on earlier. Hey, Cubal. You're a shit. <laughs> you only got one, though. Cubal had three. Cubal. I don't want to know where he's going to get the third from, Ken. Nope. 
Yes, I yes, Cohen. I know. Make it a double. They just put up the Del Winnie fifteen. That was their latest episode. They just put up. Right. Um. They're over in Sydney. Right. Yeah. Husband and wife team. They bring. They put out an episode once a month. Yes, that I actually am aware of. Yeah. Um, and then whiskey yep. and wine as well. Yep. And I've been in contact with. Have some good content. I've been so in contact with in Make It A Double. Whoa. We're going to try and do a collab. What's that? Oh. DJ, don't make me come in there. <laughs> yeah, don't make me come in there. <laughs> um, yeah, but you missed it earlier, Simon, because I put shorts on. My, the, the comfy pillow that I've been sitting on, it had fallen mm-hmm. down. And I sat back down and I was sitting down for a good like 45 minutes to an hour before I had to shift. And um, next minute, I've gone to move, and I got stuck. <laughs> and I had to rip, rip myself off my chair. And I, and I had a moment oh in my head, I was, like, I was like, thank fuck he's not actually in here to see this and make fun of me. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to yeah, move yeah. myself across the room just to get off the chair. Mistakes were made. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome yep. to the Munted Pub. <laughs> Welcome to the Munted Pub where the only chick is an idiot and got stuck to the chair. That is fair enough. We've all done it. Mistakes mm-hmm. were made. But yeah, so I'll um I'll spend the next uh, spend the next few days writing down some um, really cool questions. If you think of anything that might be really 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 cool to ask the public that we, we think might get some kick-ass answers or some controversial answers that would be would be amusing um shoot me a text and let me know are you ever going to have everything whiskey on the show seems like nice Aussie kids what I was actually thinking that today yeah. I was watching the episode they did the top five cheap whiskeys and I was thinking about it, but it's the same problem there on the Eastern States as well. Mm. So we just need to sort it out with the times and mm-hmm. make it happen. Yeah. But yeah, they've never done any live streams or anything, so I'd have to talk to them about doing lives and something. That would be pretty cool to sit down with them and have a, have some drinks because they've got some decent stuff. Yeah. All right. A couple of young lads, they get right into it. He's a child, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I am. He's like that petulant. Oh, yeah. He's that <laughs> petulant teenager. <laughs> like, who do I pick up first, mum or dad? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we're like mum and dad, and he's the fucking upstart <laughs> little teenager. It's going to be that moment. It's like you have to go fucking go to your room, but if you lock the door, I'm taking the door. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it's going to be like, eh? Sit in the corner, yeah, pretty much. don't touch anything. <laughs> Sit in the corner and be good. <laughs> Think about your actions. Yeah, fair enough. Well, that's it. Oh, All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. It was lovely to meet some of you. Well, yeah. it, was, it was lovely to meet all of you who I have not yet to meet. I can't English. Yep, we know what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you who I have Growing not old is inevitable. Yeah. Growing up is optional. Yep. Oh, I totally agree, Cubal. Yep. Exactly. Inevitable growing up. That is true, actually. That is very true. Yep. Mm. Yes, I'm definitely a child trapped in an old fart body. <laughs> At least you're not an old fart trapped in a child's body. True. Yes. Yes, but, I did just make an inappropriate <laughs> priest joke. No, I wasn't going that way. I was going, well, no, no, if no. I had the brain I that I have now in a young girl's body. Okay. I know where you were going and that's okay. Simon's yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, I see, I kept it a, a, a highbrow, you know? <laughs> yeah. Time to call it a night. Thanks for entertaining me at work. Looking forward to your Hobbit videos when you have time to do content. Oh, no, like I said, I have the content. I just have to do all of the editing and I still have to get my banner and everything done and it's just been it's finding the time I can help you with that shit yeah yeah I'll help you with that shit pardon 
I'll help you with that shit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers, you three. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I've met Joe before. Yeah. Mm. Joe's a legend. Yeah. Like, he stayed up for the whole 24-hour stream. That's why I was like, nice to meet you, Julie. I've met you before, Joe. We've interacted quite a few times. Wow. <laughs> Joe has been on Whiskey Trek. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, come on, old man. Come on. I'm an old man with a childish mind. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. I'm an old man with a childish mind. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah, that, that is true. That is true. Crying, laughing face. Crying, laughing face. Oh, my goodness. For all of them. Four crying laughing babies. <laughs> Have a lovely evening, everyone, and we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> yep. Cheerio, everybody. Hello. Thanks for dropping in, and yeah, I might stream yeah. a bit tomorrow night as well. <laughs> All right, ciao. Ciao. Catches. <laughs> Lancha, Prost, Skull, and all that. Salute. Salute. Mm -hmm. Salute. Cheers.